Uh, perfect. All right. Well, thank you, Adelia Sunshine, for the uh, follow. I'm not sure who whose community they're from, but <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, yeah, everybody should have their everything open, right? Roll 20, their character sheets. Pretty much good to go. Black Roses with the host. That was quick as hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Live for 20 Thank seconds. A task with the host. Holy crap. I should turn the alerts down in my own fucking ear. Um, <laughs> holy. Do you hear those? <laughs> so, um, well, we we must have at least uh, at least one viewer then, right? How's it going, Black Roses? Mark with the host. Holy Jesus. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is the uh, the inaugural session. This is, uh, you know, going to be full of, uh, you know, dungeons, dragons, and troubleshooting. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, manatees are my spirit animal. Welcome on in. Um, <laughs> I love that name. Oh my That's God. fantastic. Yeah. Sigamigs. Oh, man. It's amazing oh, yeah. seeing all these people who I know from all these communities dropping in. Just Literary shoes, Atelia Sunshine. Doesn't... What's that? Just because senators here doesn't mean this is horny jail, okay? Hey, anywhere's horny jail if you're if you're horny enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta be brave. <laughs> gotta be brave. Um. All right. Well, it's welcome. Over 9, welcome in. I've got. Uh, I've got automatic. Uh. You know, sound clips that play for a lot of people when they first chat. So there's a lot going on in my ear right now. Um. Welcome on in, y'all. Um, Jay Butts with the host. Um, yeah, I figured it out. Oh, I was yeah. like, what? I wonder how to. How to oh, host, stream like, title, stream title, and category. My God, it's like I've never done this before. <laughs> Constant. That's okay. I did a roll twenty. Uh, what do you call it? And I completely have forgotten how to use it. So, so this is actually not a uh, Sonnet Stream Takeover, nor is this <laughs> Skyrim. Yeah, Skyrim. Uh, Skyrim of sorts. <laughs> yeah, are we going to Tamriel? I mean, I could really use All right, that. there we go. Thank you. Thank you for the heads up. I had a dollar for every time I forgot to update my Rocks! go live notification when I was going live. Uh, <laughs> How's it going, Max? I'm going to actually delete this tweet and fix it and fix it. And all you guys, what's your, uh, okay, your uh, rocks in my dryer? Last time I checked. And Very frequently, well, I have to ask ask the question like, wait, were there numbers at the end of this person? Because yeah, who yeah. Is, uh, who else is on Twitter? Give me your handles here. Um, I am at plays vitriol. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, yeah. So those of you uh, who are here, you know, absolutely. Uh, uh, by the way, this right here, if you if you have my chat open, those of you who are currently part of the campaign as well, that's that's everyone's streams. Um, uh, you know, uh, just in case you're not all following each other, you know, big, big group hug. Um, and for those in chat, um, <laughs> click on each of those streams and click the follow button individually, one at a time. We'll wait. ADHD Unicorn <laughs> yeah. TV. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, Tass, uh, if you're looking for Twitter handles, Tass doesn't have one as well. Oh, no. I do not Twitter. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, you and me both. Oh. Mm, no, no. Oh, hi. Okay, never mind. Um, I find me on Facebook at... No, I'm kidding. I also don't use that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Welcome in, y'all. Who's DM? That is a good question. Yeah, I should have maybe had um, in the name tags uh, our roles in the campaign as well. That might have been smart. Nah. That'll be fine. Keep them guessing. <laughs> <laughs> we actually roll the dice, and that's how we'll pick the DM. <laughs> you know what? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> well, That'd be a good mechanic. Short you know. of not being prepared. Everyone yeah. keeps prepared except for Jimmy. And like everyone but one person gets disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me know, by the way, uh, those in chat, uh, tell me if uh, there's somebody who you can't quite hear. Um, you know, if somebody's uh, audio is a little lower. Uh, they are all, you know, on the audio mixer, everyone's voices should be peaking at about the same point, but some people's voices are higher or lower and they won't necessarily show up as well in the mix. So, um, yeah, we're, yeah, we're troubleshooting I, as we I go. Switch, I, I had to switch microphones since last time. Just FYI, my microphone broke, so. Oh, geez. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm so, pretty mad about it. This is my backup microphone, which is still like a decent microphone. Senator and I are a little bit quiet. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Pass, I can barely ear you. All right. Well, let's fix that then. Um, Give you a moment. And Senator as well? Uh, that yeah. like that. All right, I'll turn them up a little bit. How's that? Oh my god, hydrate. Does that mean everyone has to hydrate? What are, what are the rules on uh, on several streamers? Oh. I'll take a sip of coffee. Really I think we should all do it. Hydrate? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Man, really getting your channel points worth there, literary. <laughs> are we uh, are we more audible now? Is literary shoes here? Hey. Yeah. That's a lot of water. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uni uni has the most water. What is, was it like a, just a <laughs> gallon jug or something? Yeah, it is a gallon. It just favorite. palms it. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Sky with the great oh, stream oh, titles: yes. Strawed out of Compton or Death Strotting. Both, both pretty great. <laughs> Strawed out of Compton. That's that's good. That's really good. <laughs> I like it. Um. So, uh, I mean, should we should we hang with chat for a bit? Should we kick off? What do you guys think? Flexible. <laughs> Up to you. Well, yeah. uh, why don't we begin um, at the beginning? Uh, oh my gosh, gift and subs and stuff. Come Thank on, you, Black yeah, Roses. If Aww. There's some, no. if there's some, if uh, so if chat wants to chat for a minute, I'm not I know. Work. I'm I'm loving this this oh, uh, this blending of communities. <laughs> um, I apologize, by the way, today I am going to be paying less attention than ever to chat uh, because I have so much uh, on my plate. If we were doing the Kermit reward, does oh, that mean no. every single one of them has to do the voice? Well, yeah, only I become much, Kermit, off, everyone right. else can do what they like. <laughs> no pressure. You have to be silent for a little bit. Oh, boy. I have a Kermit helmet. <laughs> do you? Oh, yes, that. yes, you do. I, that's right. Oh, yeah, my God. Because, because of rocks, I had to do a whole stream and as... Kermit in a maid outfit. I remember that. In a maid no. outfit? I am <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> Uni. That is... <laughs> so, oh my. Gotta... Yeah, it looks like, um, looks like back-to-back -back, uh, Kermit redemptions there. Uh, perfect. Oh no. <laughs> we're all we're Kermit be for all Maybe you. we're all cute. I love all it. Alright. You begin in a tavern. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh. It's, this is the way. <laughs> this is like the way. <laughs> so, um, All right, Taz, okay. you want to be Statler or Waldorf? I'll, I'll take the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't actually do their voices, but uh, I love the sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> what is this nonsense? Well, don't quit your day job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, looks like the, um, back-to-back -back Kermit Redemptions might actually, um, break something, too, so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I think Sky's died. Uh, yeah, the back-to-back, -back, uh, identical ones. That's fine, that's fine. We'll fix things on the go. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so. Um, I'll, uh. Oh, I've got this little, little countdown for when redemptions happen, too. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pop that over, uh, so that I know when they're gonna end. <laughs> okay. Um, so, does everybody want to introduce, uh, I guess, themselves? <laughs> to the How community? Much do give away? Like, ourselves or our characters? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. Like, okay. We want to give a quick background, so... Well, I'm. I was in a cult. I was raised in a cult. And uh, wait, is this your, your character? character, or is this you? Uh, this is me. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then my DM became a a banana. Yeah, not a cult. No, it was actually a cult. No, it was actually a cult. And and this cult worshipped Asmodeus. The DM, help me out here. <laughs> Lord of the Nine Hells. <laughs> uh, the, uh, oh Lord my of God. the Nine Hells. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I was in like the center part of the cult, like the uh, whatever. And uh, Asmodia, so I needed to get out of the cult because I don't like being told what to do <laughs> by nobody. Nobody can tell me what to do. You're not my real dad. So, uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> I got real mad because people are telling me what to do. 
So I made a pact with an angel, um, and now I have to do good works. Which is going to be really awesome, and I'm super looking forward to it. I, I didn't occur to me that I was going to have webcam filters on just all fucking yeah. stream long. Yeah. <laughs> oh all God. right. I can't, I can't, I can't with you right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, process so uh, version. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Kim, with the, uh, with the help of... Uh, of an angel, you have been sprung from the cult in which you were raised, um, and uh, jumping from there, uh, Uni, what? Uh, who are you? What's your background? Uh, I'm a monk from a monastery, but I got disillusioned with the whole way of life. Things were starting to be weird, so I set out to the world to find my own way. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, do I have a name? Yeah, wait, should I give my name? Oh, my yeah. name is Faraday. Sorry. And I'm Laszlo. <laughs> yes. Um, then uh, we've got uh, Tass. What about, uh, where, do you, where do you fit in? So I was a soldier, um, sort of washed out because I wasn't that great. And uh, due to some traumatic <laughs> battlefield experience, uh, I uh, became somewhat phobic or uh, nauseated at the sight of blood. But that's okay because I retired to a uh, sort of serve as a guard at a monastery where certainly I wouldn't encounter anything that was particularly problematic blood wise until uh, it turns out that uh, the, 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 the monastery that I was uh, serving as a guard at was secretly a cult of Asmodeus. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so after uh, yeah, a few more traumatic incidences, uh, I obviously bailed on that life, and here I am, uh, washed up and <laughs> broken as a uh, as a former soldier, um, and I'm a fighter, so I wield a shield and uh, warhammer because the sight of blood will still nauseate me to this day. Indeed, you got to use blunt objects, you know, reduce yeah. the amount of blood splatter. As long as those <laughs> blunt objects are not your fellow party members. Um, and uh, <laughs> what about Senator? <laughs> What's your uh, your origin? Well, I uh, uh, grew up uh, spending an awful lot of time in the Feywild, uh, but uh, I was born an Asimar, um, and uh, I had, uh, ass. had a unicorn ass. <laughs> nice. Asimar is uh, an Asimar is a uh, a, a, a kind of human, but really they look human, but they are uh, of celestial descent. They uh, they're they're usually good or you know they can you can have fallen ones and stuff like that but uh they're uh they are have extra planar origins um and uh another thing that has uh celestial origins is a, is a unicorn i had a unicorn buddy that was like oh yeah yeah i go to i go to the feywild all the time yeah unicorn buddy where, wherever you are on the screen <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um but they go to the feywild a lot so i just i i, I hitched a couple rides and, and spent a little bit too much time there um, and, uh, but, uh, I worship, I came back and I, uh, started worshiping Lathander, the god of the dawn, and, uh, ended up becoming a cleric. And then I, I, I think what we ended up saying is that, um, oh, somebody's got to get out of this cult. Well, <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as some, as a goody little two shoes, uh, I am, I am happy to help, uh, <laughs> So uh, that kind of ties into the rest of these backstories. And yeah. Ourselves. And I believe that that's where uh, Vitriol uh, comes in. Yes, that's where I come in. I am playing Robin Ashenoak, who is an elven merchant who works with lots of different customers, including the cult. <laughs> so I'm going to be smuggling people out of the cult so as I, you know, have one hand that's working with them, selling the things that they want and desire, uh, the other hand, um, taking their precious um, people from them and liberating them. So that's that's where we're headed. Uh, a rogue with a heart of gold. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Mirror universe quirk. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, in summation... Oh. 
Um, we have uh, many folks who were uh, raised in or tricked into being part of a cult, who were then sprung by a couple of our other members. Um, and now, uh, skipping ahead a little, they're on the lamb. Uh, yeah, was what's up? The, was the monastery nah. associated with the cult? Is that why yes. you left? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cool. the, the sort okay, of... Uh, I wasn't sure. I know that we talked about that, but I was not certain. Yeah. Is that yeah, why Yeah, they need to train up, uh, you know, uh, yeah. warrior monks, you know, people who don't, you know, aren't reliant on spell slots. You know, you need, you need yourself some people to, uh, to defend your, uh, your <laughs> compound. Uh, and then yeah, of course you need nice. some guards for the entrance. So, you know, you've got, you've got a, you get a couple people with pikes out front who, uh, you know, now have, have given up the pike. I have not seen this webcam redemption yet. This is, this is, <laughs> this is eerie. This is some uncanny valley stuff going on. I don't like it. It's scary. This, uh, this is scarier than the other one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're all very off putting. So, um, <laughs> you have a beautiful smile, by the way. It's fantastic. We, um, I don't find the banana one to be particularly off putting. <laughs> uh, you sure? I mean, it's got my snaggle teeth and everything. Um, so, yeah, we have now um, uh, uh, are on the lamb from a cult, and um, so you find yourselves, uh, you know, just sort of uh, in uh, in a little, you know, pretty quiet little dull tavern, you know, somewhere that's not going to stand out too much. Um, uh, and you find yourselves, you know, looking for a bit of. Uh, well, you need cash, and a uh, good way to get that is uh, adventuring. So, you know, a tavern's usually a good place for that kind of a lead. Um, outside the tavern, a fog lies over the town this evening. The damp, cobbled pavement glistens as the lights of street lanterns dance across the slick stones. Uh, but inside the tavern, uh, the food is hearty, the ale is warm and frothy, a fire blazes in the hearth, and uh, the tavern's alive with the tumbling voices of country folk. Uh, suddenly, almost hear him. the tavern door swings open and a hush falls over the room. Framed by the lamp-lit fog, a form strides through the doorway. His heavy booted footfalls and the jingle of his coins shatter the silence. His brightly colored clothes are draped in loose folds about him and his hat hangs askew, hiding his eyes in shadows. Without hesitation, he walks up to your table and stands proudly in a wide stance with folded arms. In an accented voice, he says, I've been sent to you to deliver this message. If you be creatures of honor, you will come to my master's aid at first light. It is not advisable to travel the Svalish woods at night. He pulls from his tunic a sealed letter in beautiful flowing script addressed to five names. Altan, Faraday, Laszlo, Robin, and Tobias. He drops the letter on the table. That's, Take... that's me. <laughs> yeah, among others. <laughs> my name, guys. Uh, take the west road from here, some five hours march down to the Svalich woods. There you will find my master, in Borovia. Uh, amid the silent stairs of the patronage, uh, the man strides to the bar and says to the wary barkeep, Fill the glasses, one and all. Their throats are obviously parched. He drops a purse heavy with gold on the bar, and with that, he leaves. The babble of tavern voices resumes, although somewhat subdued. The letters lying before you. The seal is in the shape of a crest you don't recognize. Who's that freaking rando? Who was that? What? <laughs> I don't know, yeah, but I think we found uh, work. Well, I let's. I, I mean, readily open the envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank, thank you, Tobias. That was uh, about sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't think the I know our names, like we just got out. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's creepy. Very recently. So sort of creepy. So let's make uh, sure that this is not the cult trying to get us, guys. Yeah, that's oh, a good guy. <laughs> So, so I, let's uh, I uh to get out of there. Can we roll like perception it. checks to see if we can recognize like how wealthy he was? Was he armed? Like can we can we suss up this guy? Uh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, perception, insight, investigation, um you can make any rolls that you feel uh would be uh sort of pertinent. Um I am going to Switch over nice. to our mm -hmm. game overlay and uh, just uh, let everyone's webcams freeze for a moment whilst I, <laughs> I sort of uh, frame it a little. Uh, that is the one downside of our current setup. 
Wow, we are um, very perceptive. Jeez. <laughs> Holy cow. I was pointed out before, everything. but uh, but uh, Vitriol's character is the uh, intellectual powerhouse of <laughs> it, a, a formidable 12 intelligence. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why are the... Oh my god, yes. <laughs> This is the uh, the crest that's shown to everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Spooky. And it's, it's very it's very uh, I wanna I wanna go to this band's metal show, you know. <laughs> 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 um so, uh, with, um, now I'm realizing, um, the roles that people make aren't going to be, uh, visible on stream. Okay. Um, maybe that is something that we should have. Hmm. Hmm. I put that. Um, and I believe that is, that's totally doable. Here's what we're going to do. We're going okay. to, uh... I believe. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Boom. Done. <clears throat> um. So, uh, yeah, some very high uh, perception rolls. <laughs> um. Damn, vitriol uh, and uni with very high perception rolls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Kim rolling persuasion a few <laughs> times. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to figure out. It's all good. No, I, I figured. Also, um, Sorry. In, the, in the right Where do our panel, roles show up? In the right panel, if you click on the uh, dialogue boxes at the very top, there's a little um, toolbar. Oh, okay, okay. I'm and make sure you I scroll to the bottom. Was. That's right. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. It's fine. <laughs> I'm... You, have, you have your character sheet open? Yes. Great. And I just click on that and it... Click I on just... perception. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. It's fine. Uh, yeah, there, there'll be a couple of uh, growing pains with Roll20 wow. with folks who aren't, <laughs> aren't quite familiar with it yet. Yeah. I can't even see my note. I'm like, like what, what's going on? Huh? So yeah, high perception checks. So uh, this fellow is, uh, you know, he's dressed in very sort of bright uh, clothes and stuff. Uh, you can kind of um, overhear uh, other, other folks in the tavern. Um, talking, uh, you know, um, about the fact that he's a, a Vistani, which is um, not a term that any of you are familiar with. Um, he, uh, you know, uh, people are kind of muttering and, and chatting with one another about uh, the fact that, you know, they're like, oh, yes, you know, they're, they're, they're friendly folk, you know, they travel in covered wagons, they usually keep to themselves. Um, they so are, is, is uh, a... you know, essentially the D&D analog of, like, Romani travelers. Ah, that was what, um, exactly what I was going to ask. Yeah. 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 Um, and um, yeah, they. Uh, that's about all. I mean, you don't uh, you don't know of the Vistani. I don't think any of you. Um, you know, you're not from around here. Um, but to be fair, uh, I don't think I know much about from where I am. Around. Pardon me. <laughs> I don't think I know much from where I am. Uh, <laughs> about where I am from. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, with prepositions is something up with which we will not put. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't uh, I don't understand a sentence that ends in a preposition. Sorry. You you have to repeat it differently. It's like jeopardy. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, so I am going to deliberately end all yeah. of my sentences with a preposition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to add random <laughs> prepositions. <laughs> Two. <laughs> so, uh, but this is a. Uh, uh, so, you know, it looks like uh, uh, Kim and I both have. I had a twelve perception, and Kim had a two. So we're perceiving that. But he said. He said, "Fill our drinks, right?" I'm like that's. Yeah, what oh, yeah. Paying let's, let's get some oh, booze, yeah. Bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh drinks. Uh, yeah. So y'all, y'all get a you know fresh round of drinks uh, on uh, on the the traveler. So and yeah, um, same, yeah same you've got this this little letter got, sitting in front of you. He's got some coin on it. I mean, I heard you you were talking about he's got he's got jingly jangles, and uh, and things like that. So like yeah, this, there's yeah. there's money here. There's money. Here. Mm -hmm. like, we can we can we need. Cash. I think we can trust this guy. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't know if we can trust him, but if <laughs> uh, you guys are so fucking trusting, I swear to God. Well, let's I, read yeah. the letter. We didn't even read the letter yet. 
Sure. Uh, yeah. Uh, look, I have, set up that, that, and there's our, our towering intellect has made more sense than all of us combined. <laughs> so. I'll, uh, I'll show you the letter, um, but I'll, I'll also read it so you can, uh, you can read along with me if you like. Oh, I'm hand it to someone else. Uh, hail to thee of might and valor. I, a lowly servant of Barovia, send honor to thee. We plead for thee so desperate for thy des so desperately needed assistance. Third tries a charm. The love of my life, Irina Kolyana, has been afflicted by an evil so deadly that even the good people of our village cannot protect her. She languishes from her wound, and I would have her saved from this menace. There is much wealth in this community. I offer all that might be had to thee and thy fellows if thou shalt but answer my desperate plea. Come quickly, for her time is at hand. All that I have shall be thine. Kolyan Indirovich, Burgomaster. Guys, you, uh, Aren't we, you have good at we have to help. We have to help. I assume I that mean, I'm supposed to, yeah. Yeah, Fine. look, even yeah. even even uh, even the most wretched among us can be redeemed, in the in the eyes of Lathan. Oh my God! Right, okay, go. yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Thanks. <sighs> but it does yeah, there's sound a... like a noble task. If someone is Super afflicted noble. by evil, we need to help them. We're running from evil. We gotta go. Also, we get paid. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it for that reason. <laughs> Interesting that they chose us. And that is, I hadn't even thought about that. But Nowhere. yeah, what, is is there any possibility this is a trap? <laughs> Potentially. Well, nobody rolled insight, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Just assume that everything is a trap. I would but never. Where do we? Where do we go? The nature of man is evil. Ugh. What? Yeah. Where did he? Where did he say to go? Does anybody remember? It's uh, down the western road. But we sh uh, uh, we shouldn't. We should probably stay the night here. He said the. the it is know. late, and uh, he did say that it was a, a five-hour uh, trip through the woods. Yeah, let's stay here. Can we afford it? We can afford it, right? Uh, yeah, I think with that bag of gold, everyone's sort of uh, room oh, and board okay. is taken care of for the. Oh, okay. oh, okay. okay. Even yeah, if, okay. even if it weren't, I have some savings left. <laughs> or we could just take the gold run? No. Okay. No, no, the angel won't let me no. do that. No! You're not going to take the money and run? Hmm. Can I ask around and see if people know Kolyan Indirovich in the inn? Like, is he a trustworthy fellow? Is he wealthy? Um, You guys could roll uh, history checks if you like. I would see not. if you know anything about uh, sort of anything that he's mentioned. The Svalich Woods, Barovia, Kolyan and Dirovich. I barely remember my own history. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. I don't know much history. <laughs> With our super high intelligence. <laughs> yeah, there's no wizard of the party. Yeah. And I think the highest intelligence anyone has is uh, 10? 12. 12. 12, maybe? It's a 12. Okay. They gave a 12. Yeah, if a 12 yeah. is a 12. Like a towering intellect of the party. But even if we don't know anything, do the locals know anything? Oh, yeah, that would like, be like investigation or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would say that would, that would be uh, uh, either a persuasion check uh, or a uh, an investigation check check using charisma rather than intelligence uh which unfortunately isn't rollable um but uh, it yeah. would be basically uh an in uh, a charisma check and then adding your proficiency bonus if you are proficient in the investigation skill okay for me um that's the same as my persuasion so i could just roll that <clears throat> that would do the trick oh oof, that was bad Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, you go pop over to another table, schmooze a little bit. Um, and, uh, wow. yeah, they don't seem to know anything. Uh, they, they don't, they're not, no one's familiar with Kolyan and Dirovich. Um, they, uh, they're like, uh, they mentioned that, you know, they're, they're familiar with the, you know, they, they basically tell you about what they know about the Vistani, um, which is about what you've already overheard. You know, colorful clothing, travelers, at all you know we, just, we okay. can go to bed i'm okay with going to bed 
Drink our drinks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of late. I'm getting a little too racked right now. So, I mean, so we've, uh, we've got a big day tomorrow. We've got a we've got a five hour journey. You know, yeah, Unless absolutely. Unless you want to stick around in the bar. So a uh, a nice you know filling uh, dinner, um, a restful sleep, and uh, you know even a, a breakfast in the morning is all taken care of by the uh, sack of gold that was uh, given to the to the innkeep. Hmm. <laughs> Who's hungover? <laughs> I, I drank a lot of water during during last night, so I'm fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll roll There's for levels of exhaustion. Lathander <laughs> hydrates all. Exactly. Well, I had to be uh, I had to be up way early so I could do my morning like greet the, greet the sun and stuff Prudent. like that. So, oh, Rox, um, Mandy's let me know that um, myself and Uni are quiet relative to uh, to everyone else. Still okay. Oops. Test test test. <laughs> Just noticed your lovely iron helmet. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. That's not a euphemism. That's it really... turns into Skyrim again. <laughs> <laughs> I've turned to meet you up five percent in the mix. Uh, l- let me know if any uh, if awesome. anyone's still a little on the quiet side. Is that better, manatees? Okay. Meanwhile. Um. Uh, huge thank you, by the way, for uh, for the the um, resub, uh, Daisha. I, I I did notice, but uh, was a little little distracted there. <laughs> Appreciate all the uh, you know all the <laughs> webcam redemptions and uh, you know contributions uh, to the to the stream. Um, um, I I don't think people can see it well enough. Yeah, thanks, chat. Just go full screen. Just go full screen. Just you and your uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, yeah, basically, uh, in the morning, you guys, uh, you know, gather up your things, throw on your backpacks. Um, uh, each of you, I think, have different uh, traveling packs. You know, some of you have, uh, you know, pots and pans on them. Others, uh, you know, have a pack full of uh, religious imagery and and candles and whatnot. Uh, vitriol with the thousand ball bearings in there. You know, the, the classic uh, rogue uh, <laughs> rogue outfit. And um, that's awesome. <laughs> and you oh, depart nice. uh, down the road. Uh, it t- takes about uh, five hours traveling along. Um, the uh, the road is um, it looks pretty well traveled. You know there are uh, two deep grooves in the uh, in the road uh, left by you know carts and or wagons. Um. And after several hours, you know, the forest gets a little heavier, a little thicker. Uh, you know, the the fog and mist are still still heavy in the air. Uh, and eventually, um, you arrive at... Uh, well, the fog sort of spills out of the forest and swallows up the road behind you as you travel. Um, and ahead... Jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses that loom gray in the fog. Mm. Uh, huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Uh, two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. Ooh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Huge. Prong oh wow! Dunk. And the gate lies open. Um, the uh, as you approach from a distance, you see the the gates are currently uh closed. However, as you approach, uh, they they sort of screech loudly and slowly, ponderously open. Um, well, that's convenient. Hello. Mm. Yeah. This couldn't go any better. Yeah, this definitely isn't a trap, you guys. This is gonna go real well. We got, Thank we, you I, for opening the gates. It. We we gotta we gotta save this girl, okay? Oh my or, god. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's it? What was her name again? It was um. Irina. 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 Irina is Could desperate for our down? aid. <laughs> what kind of person I, I opens the gates note. but doesn't say you're welcome? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me. what happened? It's just well, common he said courtesy. thank you. Yeah, he said thank you for opening the gates, but I, do we see anybody? Nope. 
No one seems to be around. It All right. Like the gates open themselves. They're well, magical gates. This is this is clearly evil. Why? <laughs> yeah, can go. we detect evil? Or I just continue marching ahead. Can any of us tell if things are evil? Do we have like a detect evil? remember how that works uh i think uh you might have the detect evil spell actually um oh i have a spell okay is it a cantrip uh no no it would be a first level spell um mm. uh, the senator may also uh have detect yeah. evil i'm not sure um detect, well detect magic might be uh, oh wait no 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 it's something it's, relevant but it's so oh real quick uh Technical mm -hmm. question. Uh, the uh, uh, the spells that I have, I mean, I clearly there's lots of cleric spells, but uh, the ones that are red are the one, like have a red dot next to them. Those are the ones that I currently have loaded up. Box. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to envision it. Yeah, yeah. The little red dots next to the spells are the ones that you currently have memorized. I have prepared. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Prepared for the day. The two that are at the top of the list are always prepared, no matter what, for you. Uh, just yeah, by nature of stuff. your. Yeah. Uh, your your domain and oh, then domain, i also right. checked off a few that i thought you might be interested in although feel free to rearrange them you have four that you can mix and match as you like um at the start of every day okay. two, 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 two. all right well i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it like now like the like it is for right now and then we can mess with that later on because we've already we've already departed i've already prepared the spells so <laughs> uh, cool. i do not have detect evil or good so <laughs> I didn't think to to, to do that. Uh, what about magic? Detect magic. I do have detect magic. I'll uh, yeah, I'll throw some. Uh, I mean, uh, if there's nobody there, I'm. That's no, I'm too dumb to know that. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and cast detect magic on that. Sure. Uh, would you like to yeah. do so uh, over the course of ten minutes as a as a ritual? You know, draw a little uh, little circle of chalk on the ground, or are you gonna expend one of your spell slots for the day? Oh, Does that's that, right. That's a good Doesn't idea. We're not ritual rushed, casting right? require material components. Uh, uh, ritual casting to oh it requires so the same components like as for that okay okay all right where's the that. info what's what's detect magic material components um doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, probably uh, nothing consequential it, it would be a free spell um there are some that i thought yeah. the, the ritual cast had like a small monetary component that like disincentivized it but uh allowed you to do it without expending a slot most well, material yeah, components you can simply use a uh, a symbol for as well, uh, oh, you know, some right. sort yeah, of uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, some sort of focus, uh, unless the spell components have a cost associated with them. Yeah, like a like I got to grind up a diamond or something. Indeed, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For example, yeah, greater restoration. You know, if you want to get rid of a level yeah. of exhaustion, you got to crush a diamond and just, and uh, that's how you you know get energy for the day. How they go again? <laughs> <laughs> uh so so you're you're gonna cast uh detect magic then yeah i'll i'll hang i'm uh, guys let me uh let me let me give me about 10 minutes i need to say some prayers and we'll we'll figure out if this thing is is magical or not i can't tell if it's good or evil but you know, yeah sounds good so you uh yeah you start drawing a a circle on the ground you're Where, pulling candles out of just, your bag grabbing the flint to steel you know just Striking yeah, just yourself. Uh... Okay. I'm going to sort of wander around it and poke around to see while well, well, this goes on because I'm not going to sit still. <laughs> nah, nah. You don't need to be around. Unless you'd like to hear the, the good word. I mean, I'm happy. Uh, no, just yeah. cast your no, damn spell. Oh my God. <laughs> just offering. It's okay. Oh my God. So, uh... no, it's my God. <laughs> Yeah, you begin, uh, uh, yeah, laying out your ritual. Uh, you can hear um, like crows or ravens, kind of in the distance in the woods. Um, there's sort of a, a windy, ominous kind of uh, silence uh, that is uh, that is kind of imposing. Uh, but eventually, you finish this spell and. Um, yeah, you, you can sense uh, some faint, old uh, kind of uh, magic surrounding the gates. You know, they obviously have some sort of effect that is able to open them without a person being present. Generally speaking, that kind of thing is done with magic uh, or a very complex system of pressure plates and pulleys. Uh, in this case, it's the former. Okay. Well, everybody, uh, uh, I've 
it they're definitely magical uh it's not it's not some weird i don't know some some artificer didn't come in here and do this this is definitely <laughs> you know uh there's some magic here so i'm i'm still all for going in but uh of course yeah we've, we've come this far yeah might yeah as well. i mean what and, else are we gonna do uh sounds good um <laughs> While we're in between having maps uh, open, why don't we uh, why don't we make make y'all big again? Uh, so uh, yeah, you you travel through the gates, um, and shortly thereafter, uh, you hear that same sort of screeching sound as they ponderously close behind you with a loud sort of clunk uh, at the again. end. Um, Finality. And this is gonna be uh, awesome. <laughs> So you start moving through. At this point, the woods are much uh, more sort of ominous. Uh, the uh, you know the the trees themselves, the giant trees, loom on both sides of you. You know the branches sort of clawing at the mist. Um, they block out all but a death gray light. Uh, the tree trunks are unnaturally close to one another, and the woods have the silence of a forgotten grave. Yet exude the feeling of an unvoiced scream. Uh, as you travel, uh, maybe just a few minutes, maybe five, ten minutes uh, past beyond the gates, uh, uh, Laszlo, uh, Uni, um, you catch the scent of death on the air. Uh, and it smells like nearby. Seems like something died near here. I've, I've got a, a grim feeling of death. Just the smell of death. Are you are you guys sensing this? Um, <laughs> Alton, uh, played by the senator, also uh, smells something. Absolutely, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's definitely something rotting around here. Uh, That's or... not a good sign. Yeah, no, it's not. Um, I think what died I, is my enthusiasm for this place. <laughs> Do I have yeah. any idea? Like, am I like, oh, it smells like home? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Um, no, but like this, this whole environment. I, we, I'm, I'm, I'm confident we're on the right, the right path because if anybody needs Lysander's light, it's this place. Mm. This is, this is. No, no, we got, we got, we're, we're gonna take care of this. This is gonna be all right. Well, let's um, tread carefully. Yeah. Oh, Can I um light there. up a torch just to have some more warmth and light? In, even though it's technically daylight. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, it is very uh, sort of dim and gray, uh, despite being, uh, you know, sort of the late morning light. Um, yeah, you you strike yourself a, a torch. Um, while you're you're lighting your torch, uh, your um, uh, Laszlo and Altan, uh, both sort of waiting for that to happen, start sort of sussing out that the uh, the sort of smell of death seems to be uh, coming from uh, just over uh, down the road a little bit and and in the bushes. I'm, so now that we uh, know where the death is coming from, do we go that way or do we go? Did everybody get muted? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. No. Did I get muted? Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, no. no he no. just, just cut off. Weird. Okay. Stop speaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Perhaps we should um, investigate if uh, Irina has fallen ill. Maybe other things in the area are also falling ill. I think we should investigate. This yeah. is why we keep you around. You are very smart. And yeah, I, you're yes. the only smart person <laughs> in the party. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. Gonna, I'm. I am gung ho. I'm headed that way. Let's, let's yes, go, go, let's go you, you go forth and investigate the bushes of death. Okay. Seems like Sounds a good, good. Idea. I do. Well, the I foul scent leads you to a human corpse half buried in the underbrush about 15 feet from the road. Uh, the young man appears to be a commoner. Uh, his muddy clothes are torn and raked with claw marks. Crows have been at the body, which is surrounded by paw prints. The man's obviously been dead for several days, and he holds a crumpled envelope in one hand. Oh, oh no. Yoink. Is it have like I the envelope any, that you got? Have I seen someone die like this before? H have you, is you're saying? Yeah. Um, in this particular manner, no. Okay. I, 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 without thinking, just grab the envelope. 
Uh, yeah, so the envelope has a, uh, a large B set into its wax seal. Uh, the parchment is worn and flimsy. <clears throat> Pardon me. A B. Looks like the work of bears. Um, why don't you make a, a, a medicine, a survival, or nature check? And I can tell you whether that is... A, oh, uh, yeah, I'll do a medicine. Uh, an accurate assessment. Eldritch? I'm not uh, meaningfully trained in any of those skills. So <laughs> My goodness, goodness. natural 20. <laughs> um, oh, it looks yeah, like yeah. <laughs> he has succumbed yeah. to wounds uh, from a wolf attack, uh, but ah. they look like big wolves. Like these are, uh, yeah, these are these are much, much larger than, uh, than yeah. an average wolf. Uh, bears. bears are just big wolves, right? No, that's not, <laughs> no, really, I, 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 I am very confident. Uh, uh, Tobias, not, not to, you know, you're, you're, you're close, but I'm re I've, I've seen this before. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, these are definitely like wolves, but, but like, yes, as far as you're concerned, bears are just big wolves. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Um, but we, we don't looks, have any ticks. It looks like, <laughs> like a pack sort of situation as opposed to an individual. Uh, yeah, so, uh, sure Tass, you are confident packs that bears things. hunt in packs, so what he's saying oh, yeah. is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go find these bears, guys. Wait, Yo, thank you, Chaotic. Letter? Yeah, can we read the letter? <laughs> <That's okay>. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's dead. What could he possibly have known that would be relevant? <laughs> uh, the letter. The letter reads... Fine. Um... Hail thee of might and valor. I, oh, the no. Burgomaster of Barovia, send you honor with despair. My adopted daughter, the fair Irina Kolyana, has been these past nights bitten by a vampire. For over 400 years, this creature has drained the lifeblood of my people. Now, my dear Irina languishes and dies from an unholy wound caused by this vile beast. He has become too powerful to conquer. So I say to you, Give us up for dead and encircle this land with the symbols of good. Let holy men call upon their power that the devil may be contained within the walls of weeping Barovia. Leave our sorrows to our graves and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we are all departed for a better life. I heard well. I'm cool with that. <laughs> the sound of wolves picks up Whoa. as you stand around reading the letter. Uh, okay, I'm... I'm actively okay, looking around for wolves like no no yeah don't draw, don't worry draw. about these wolves because what did this was bears so yes <laughs> <laughs> we're fine. yeah but i'm 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 pull, i'm pulling my crossbow just in case sounds just good having it i mean having I, it. I will uh grip my shield a little tighter but uh <laughs> i take out my spear and i hold it does anybody have a way of negotiating with wolves <laughs> no we don't, have, we don't have a druid no <laughs> no that would be nice. Um, who's a but, good boy? Okay, so this is a different letter than we got, but it kind of. I mean, it stands out to me that he identified Irina Kuliana as the love of his life in our letter. And, um, um, his adopted daughter in the other, which isn't necessarily mutually exclusive, but it's a little <laughs> peculiar. Uh, yeah. But I, I didn't put those together. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> let, me just, let me just say. <laughs> <clears throat> uh so but like one of them the the one that we just found like they said give us up for dead just like is that was that the walls that we just had to deal with the the doors opening and everything uh, like we... i don't think so because huh. they seem very old and this letter is new uh the letter is dated uh seven days ago yeah so i mean the the walls are like ancient hmm Oh, so the, oh, not not our letter, but this letter, the one that we just found, is dated just seven days ago. Correct. Yeah, I think seven days is too short to build a wall. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I've seen I, some I people work very fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, like you suspect that uh, he was probably going to. Uh, to go and like place this letter on the gates um, before uh, he was attacked and uh, and torn asunder. Okay. Okay. 
I like the way that sounds. But go on. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you uh, sort of stand in the, you know, in the woods, uh, over the body, uh, checking out the letter, uh, the sound of wolves begins to, uh, to pick up. And, right, let's uh... let's keep moving. Maybe we can avoid Yeah, that. let's get back, let's get back to the road, guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still... Sounds good. Still oh, wait, hold on. Back to the road. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Too, we, we went off a little bit to go search yeah, for the okay. stench of death. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Sorry. All right, yeah, let's... I, you mean like still inside of the um of the gates? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay, we're headed. Okay. I just yeah, so sure. like we're yeah, continuing yeah. our journey, but with a little okay. more caution because yeah, we're... let's kind of try to avo avoid these wolves. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, interested. as you continue down the road, uh, the sound of the wolves recedes a little bit back, sort of into the woods. Um, and uh, traveling oh, down the road, you. Here, uh, or you, you see, uh, the, uh, the woods come to, they, they begin to sort of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Unthicken? Um, thin. 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 <laughs> the yeah, woods yeah. begin to thin somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up very shortly before we went live. Um, and you see a, a river uh, that uh, off to the side, like uh, a ways away uh, that, that runs um, uh, through the valley. Um, you can't see very far ahead of you. <clears throat> Um, so you're not quite sure sort of what the lay of the land is. Um, but, uh, as you, uh, as you continue, um, eventually, uh, the gravel road leads to a village. Uh, it's tall houses as dark as tombstones. Um, nestled among these solemn dwellings are a handful of closed up shops. Even the tavern is shut tight. Um, and, I'll, uh, sort uh, of entering... Walk up to the tavern and sort of pound on the door to see if we get any response. So the tavern is sort of way up ahead. You just, okay. you can see that I'm it's, uh, you know, the door is, is closed. There's no light coming from the windows. Uh, as you, you begin to walk toward it, a soft whimpering draws your eye toward a pair of children standing in the middle of, uh, the otherwise lifeless street. Oh, right to them. Right to them. Creepy yeah, children or yeah. like regular children? How creepy are these children? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going right to them. Gotta, gotta go comfort the, uh, comfort the youth. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as you, as you go, uh, and approach, um, the, uh, you see that there's, uh, a girl, probably about 10 years old, and, uh, and a boy that's obviously a few years younger. Uh, the boy is, is weeping and clutching a little stuffed doll, and, um, and his, uh, his sister, uh, as soon as she notices you, she, she starts trying to, to, to shush the, the boy, um, and then, uh, yeah, as you approach, you, you sort of, you know, exude this real warmth. And, and so after, after shushing the, the boy, the girl uh, turns to you and, and says, there's a monster in our house. And she points to a tall brick row house that's seen better days. Uh, its windows are dark. It, it has a gated portico on the ground floor. Uh, the rusty gate is slightly ajar. Um, the houses on either side are abandoned. Their windows and doors boarded up. Mm, mm. Oh, child! Well, monsters don't like villages. Why don't you just go back inside? No. I'm sure it's fine. No, Tobias, no. <laughs> <laughs> she she shakes her don't head. She's she, 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 it's obvious that she's not willing to go in. The little boy seems. Uh, uh, really don't yeah, no, this we're not. Way. We are absolutely going to take care. <laughs> we'll of it. show Are you. We there's no monsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take take care of it. And and you know, like, let's get you to safety real quick. Do I have any like food? Do you guys, you guys, are, do you need any food or anything like that? Do, do I have some? I got some rations. I, I, I have some rations. I'll I'll spare one as well. Okay. Well, I let's, have let's get them off. <laughs> I'm sorry, these are mine. <laughs> yeah, these are mine. I'm good. Uh sure, no. yeah. You offer her some of your rations, you know, some some hard tack, some jerky, some nuts. Um yeah, I love hard tack. But I'm, yeah. I'm gonna get, <laughs> I'm gonna get them off of this. Get them she she sort of shakes her head uh when you when you offer her food. She uh 
Um, you know, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't seem like she's hungry. Uh, and, uh, yeah, she sort of, um, keeps sort of glancing over toward the house and, and wincing a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get them, or I'm going to try to say, okay, let's get you farther away from that house. Let's, let's go over here where you'll, where you'll be more safe. No, let's go over by the wolves. Are you even... <laughs> Because yeah. the box is a little ways down the road. Why don't you guys wait? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. What um, kind of monster is in the house? Um, See, that's... because I, I don't know what it looks like, but I've heard it's terrible howls. But our our, our parents keep the monster trapped in the basement. Oh, we'll your see. Parents? Then it's your fine. Parents? Where are your parents? Trapped, then it can't hurt. Where are your parents? She she sort of shrugs. Because I, I don't know. Maybe it's the best. How the, how why are you here? Like how did you end up here? So we we ran outside when the when the, the the howls of the monster got got so loud. I'm gonna walk over to the uh, to the house. Wait, I thought I'll, you said that I'll the monster was that like, always fine. in your basement. So the monster is always in your basement, right? Is it still in the basement? Um, yeah. She so nods. so I'm, I'm walking over to the house. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm getting the kids are like across I'm the street. I'm just being like, a dick to children. A little bit, I, I a little like bit like, you know, somewhere <laughs> farther away from the house than than they were. You know, they're in the middle of the street. They can't they can't be there. I gotta get them over here and make sure they're okay. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Kid is saying that there's always a monster in the basement, but then it was loud and then they ran out. Yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You know, right. I'll, I'll make sure they're okay, and then I'm. My friend Tobias is already at the at the door. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm confidently striding in, into the house. Knocking <laughs> Sounds on good. The, uh, the door frame, we'll assuming sure the door's okay. ajar. And then... We could uh, investigate the house, when you, but... When you say. <laughs> I think we should be careful. Uh, it, it's fine. These are children. Children do this all the time. <laughs> children do what all the time? Stand on the side of the road and look sort of pathetic? I mean, I can see that. <laughs> We shouldn't uh, interfere with their family affairs. Yeah, although Tass has yeah, basically uh, never in his yeah. life interacted with a child, he is confident about uh, their behavior. Oh, yeah. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, here I, let me just I've interacted uh... with dogs. They're basically the same, right? Uh, I'm just dropping uh, your tokens onto a spot where you can uh, uh -oh. see the house. Oh, oh, good. There you go. Okay. This is just for perspective, right? Oh, no. Tokens? That's 100%. Mm. Um, Wait, I don't see the tokens. Well, if Should I don't we? put your tokens on there, then you won't uh, be able... You won't have any vision. I got you. Aha. Uh -huh. So you populating tokens and then sharing them out. Yes. Yeah, now the map is shared. Oh, there it is. Bottom left. Yes. So, I have to uh, so you guys, uh, webcams are going to freeze oh. for a second while I go and uh, drag yeah. this over. Um, there we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, so you... Uh, 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 Tobias goes and approaches the um, portico, uh, which is a word that I definitely knew before I ran this campaign. Is it a small portcullis? <laughs> no, it's a covered covered patio. And oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. The way it was rendered on the map made it look like it oh, may yeah. have been bars. <laughs> Who bars? So their it's house? a it's a wrought iron gate with hinges on one gate. side and a lock oh, on the yeah. other that fills the archway of a of a stone uh, of a stone portico. Um, the gate's unlocked. I got you. Uh, and uh, ah. its rusty hinges sort of shriek when you open the gate. Nice. Um, oil lamps hang from the portico ceiling uh, by chains. Uh, Lit. which flank a set of oaken doors that open into a grand foyer. Uh, you Are you still holding a torch? Um, I, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, so that gives off uh, boop, this much light. Yes. And I just confidently stride up to the door and, <laughs> and knock. And it's not a jar, right? The, no, door. the door itself? <laughs> um, That's my job. 
<laughs> uh, so there's a, a, a set of oaken doors, um, and uh, they um, they aren't uh, like ajar, um, but uh, they're sealed. Um, yeah, they're 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 closed at the moment. Yeah. So so okay so so but like I'll I'll sort of like pound on it loud enough to both act as a knock but also possibly push it open a bit. Uh sure yeah Accident yeah accidentally. Um, yeah the the door the door sort of opens at your your needlessly harsh knock and uh <laughs> and we just bloop. no, no and response. any howls um you kids have a very nice house. <laughs> It's very, very spacious. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, you enter. Um, hanging on the uh, south wall of the foyer uh, is a uh, a shield emblazoned with a coat of arms uh, that's flanked by framed portraits of stony faced aristocrats. Um, and there are mahogany framed double doors uh, that lead. Uh, through to the east, set with uh, panes of stained glass. Um, the map, by the way, is sort of turned on its side, uh, annoyingly. Hmm. I'm having trouble with. Things. So there's there's one door that leaves uh, the the room that we're that I'm in. Here, I'll um I'll, I'll give you guys a little compass that that will oh. allow you to better uh, navigate. Yeah, I see east south. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, so, so so I'm in like a foyer, and there's one set leaving, leaving this room. Is that right? Yep, yep. There's another set of doors that you should be able to see on the uh, east wall, which is, you know, kind of oriented to what, what we would normally call north. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, uh, barring anything happening in the meantime, I, I'd walk straight towards towards those doors and sort of like push it open, sticking my head, shouting, hello! <laughs> Sounds good. Um. Uh, so there's a, a wide hall that um, seems to run the width of the house um, with a black marble fireplace at one end and uh, a sweeping red marble staircase at the other. Um, is there any wood in the fireplace? Uh, there is not. Hmm. A shame. Stick Tobias. my torch in there and provide a little more light. Sure. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, when you when different. you uh, sort of go in and check in out the fireplace, you see that uh, mounted on the wall above the fireplace, there's a long sword. Um, the uh, the wood paneled walls are ornately sculpted with images of vines, flowers, nymphs, and satyrs. This is a really nice house. Uh, the decorative paneling follows the staircase as it circles upward. Um, cool. And uh, yeah, presumably you can see uh, on the map uh, there are also several doors that lead off of this sort of main hall. Cool. So Bob, Time to get see lit. Anything or anyone? <laughs> nope, it's all dead. I mean, quiet. Can can I make a make an int check real quick? <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that allowed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what I what do you want to do to deduce or figure out? I I want to see if if uh, uh, if if Atlan will will try to sneak through here or just like trot on it. <laughs> uh, well, Tobias is just kind of wandering in, I'm, holding a I'm torch, loud. kind of shouting yeah. "Hello!" So you suspect that any uh, attempts at stealth would probably be um, <laughs> cool. you know for not. Then I'll it's well, well, like if, if, if there were something here, should uh, consult somebody who can. Maybe detect traps? No? You guys Who would are trap their own traps? house? Is it's that... fine. <laughs> I mean, I mean Kevin there. McAllister? Yeah. <laughs> Look, the kids were we home keep, alone. If we keep, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you have kids, there's probably then, not like random traps just hanging out like in the, the living room. You the know? children do sound I like mean, they have been home alone. the kids are evil, which I just assume that they are, because have you met children? That is not <laughs> the case. That is, no. So, uh, so I'm just going to go to this first door here and just Pop it open. Hello. Sure. Where are these kids' I... parents? This is oh, there's 
Sorry. Uh, the centerpiece of this wood paneled dining room is a carved mahogany table surrounded by eight high backed chairs with sculpted armrests and cushioned seats. A crystal chandelier hangs above the table, which is covered with resplendent silverware and crystalware polished to a dazzling shine. Uh, mounted above the marble fireplace is a mahogany framed painting of an alpine veil. Hmm. I, For some I reason, there's a voice in my head telling me not to steal anything, and it's really annoying. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the goodness inside you coming That's from. not the goodness inside <laughs> you. That's the angel in my head, and it's yeah. really annoying. Um, well, do you guys want to, I mean, he's already just in there messing around. Should we go in? I, I think, um, considering that there's might be a monster, it might not be safe to let him in there alone, lest we want to have a body on our hands. All right, that go ahead, everybody, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So those of you without, uh, dark vision or, uh, a light source in your hand will probably find that you're in the dark essentially um let me know if you can't really see anything and would like to light a light source or uh you've if you're into just trying to sort of keep close to your um to your allies wait isn't it daytime uh it's it is house. but the inside of the house is dark you, you mentioned the presence of like some oil lamps and stuff are they filled <clears throat> oh, with oil and thus could just be lit uh yeah there I is a like uh, the door, I think. in in the foyer is a uh um uh are a couple of oil lamps that that hang uh by chance I, I have light as a cantrip so i got dark vision so would you like to cast light um wait do i have dark vi wait 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 i'm a i'm a half elf do i have dark vision half well look at your token can you currently see i have no idea what you uh the on the map I'm looking at me on the map. Oh, can I see? Yeah. Like I, I can see the map. That means that I can see. Yeah, yeah. You've you've got dark oh, vision. So you you sorry. can you can see your surroundings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're, I'm fine. You're yeah. If you move your token around as well, you'll be able to like you know you'll where you see will change. Uh, it'll oh, sweet. Okay. adapt as you move. It seems like we can check this closet. Sees. I'm sorry. I'm confused. I I just yeah. yeah. Yeah, for, for me, me, a lot of the areas are, are shrouded in darkness when uh, when I haven't uh, walked there yet. Um, and, uh, so you open the door to a little cloakroom that has uh, several black cloaks hanging from hooks on the walls, and uh, a top hat sits on a high shelf. A top hat? Mm-hmm. I'm yanking it. I mean, I'm not stealing it. I'm just, like, <clears throat> looking, picking it up and looking at it. <laughs> Weird. Uh, and the, the others can the see the webcam redeems machine. Yeah. <laughs> can i just ask a quick question because right now i see what everyone sees like i see a combination like when someone moves i see their view appear is that normal mm -hmm. or am i supposed to just see the view of my token um are you able to see the other tokens as well or yeah, it, it, yeah we have we have party vision yeah oh, uh that's vision. fine okay. yeah I'm, I'm i'm comfortable with that um that is basically that functioning that way uh because that's what works for allowing um like people watching the stream to see what's going on. I'm just going to tab over to the uh, to the screen again to make sure that you guys can sort of. Uh, there we go. I am a banana. <laughs> I am a banana. Banana. <laughs> B a n a n a. Okay, so um, you um. Uh, yeah, yeah, you guys are all basically in the house, uh, <laughs> Faraday is hanging back a little wary, uh, yeah, as is Robin. Oh, I'm sorry, I yeah, to, uh... I was kind of hanging out by Robin back here, I don't know. Yeah, we should keep in mind we are trespassing. Well, we're well the children, uh, have basically, like, petitioned your, your help to, uh, uh, to deal yeah. with this monster that they hear in the basement. And I knocked very loudly. There was no answer, which is very rude if the parents are here. All right, what if the monsters, hear me out, what if the monsters are the parents? Or the um, children? I keep freaking saying. The children were speaking in metaphor? Perhaps. Or maybe <laughs> the parents are literal monsters now. I mean, that goes without saying, but... um, For the record, I do have the crossbow out. 
you know. <laughs> They're going to say kids. <laughs> I just don't Sounds want good. To find monsters. Murder Generally, the monsters, when I enter someone's find foyer, out the monsters were the parents. Yeah. I mean, I basically always have my staff with me. So, like, if I. It doesn't take much to be like. Yeah. Shout, so. Hello, while I open this door. I hope that's exactly I'll, what your I'll magic sounds and, like. I'll come and try to catch up with you all. Have we found the basement? You're, you're asking oh, that of the party or of the DM? Of the party. <laughs> no. We've seen no. no basement yet? No basement yet, no. Probably just made it up. No. Uh, Tobias, you're opening that door? Yeah. So cool. let me... You believe that there are monsters, but you think the kids made up that there is a basement? <laughs> <laughs> no, this... Uh, this oak paneled room looks like a hunter's den. Uh, mounted above the fireplace is a stag's head, and positioned around the outskirts of the room are three stuffed wolves. Two padded chairs draped in animal furs face the hearth with an oak table between them, uh, supporting a cask of wine, two carved wooden goblets, a pipe rack, and a candelabrum. Um, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Uh, a chandelier hangs above a cloth covered table surrounded by four chairs. Uh, two cabinets stand against the walls. Um, one uh, sports a lock, and uh, the other uh, doesn't uh, have a lock on it. Is this place nice, or is it like covered in Seems dust? Or uh, like yeah, yeah, it's nice. Uh, it's uh, it's you know, it's there's no fire lit. It's not warm per se. Uh, it's right, warmer right. than outside where the, the no, chill I mean, and like the mist not, kind of grips at you. It's not a peasant's cottage. Yeah. Has it, has it like fallen that, yeah. into disrepair? Yeah. Nope. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay. it's, uh, it looks, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, I don't know if having Upper a hunter's den is necessarily in. your thing, you know, you know, if you consider that a little gauche, but it is, uh, <laughs> it is nice by, uh, you yeah. know. I question the taste, but not the, uh, the purse strings. Exactly. Um, yeah, that's one. That's yeah. Okay. So there's another door over here. Yes. Are uh, you you're opening that the one? Looks like a like a book or a note or something. Can I look around that room for? Um. Yeah. Sorry. Which room? Um. The oh, I'll go in after Senator, and kind of look around and see if I can. Okay. Hold on. Maybe I have to go into this room first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The the walls then, are actually. Uh. Oh, yeah. You won't be able to move your token else. through walls. Oh, heck. That way you won't stumble into rooms that you uh, haven't yet opened a door to enter. Okay, you should, you okay. should be able to drag yourself um, through yeah. where the door is, but only, only... Yeah, I didn't realize that I wasn't through that door already. Yeah, I wanted to... I'd like to like look around this room and see if there's any possibly relevant information. Like that the parents... You know, parents probably knew something about what was going on with some... And I mean, while I just in their basement, like, barge like into to... the next room. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, looking around the, the, the sort of um, hunter's den, uh, like I say, you know, some, some chairs, uh, you know, pipe rack, uh, cask of wine. You know, it looks comfortable. Uh, there's a couple cabinets uh, that, are, that are closed. As I say, one of them's locked, so you haven't opened either of those. Um, Tobias opens a uh, door into another room. Uh, which ah. is, uh, it looks to be a kitchen. Uh, it's tidy. Say, it looks There's like a toilet, uh, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... <laughs> that is a, uh, a stone I, I dome-shaped oven. Um, mm. It's got like a bent iron stovepipe that connects to a hole in the ceiling. Uh, the room's tidy. There's dishware, cookware, utensils neatly placed on shelves. A work table has a cutting board and, and rolling pin atop it. Any, any, um, any prepared food out? Oh, wow, I'm not there. Never mind. Um, um, Robin, do you think you need to open this real quick? Just the cabinet. Yeah, the sure. one with lock. Sure. Okay. So, um, meanwhile, there's another door here, and I just uh, roll I'm a not paying uh, much attention to the objects. I'm just trying to look for people. Roll a thieves' tools uh, check, uh, Vitriol. And while you're doing that, uh, Tobias opens another I door. See, do I see that going on? By the way, I mean, I'm in the room. Do I? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, you see her fiddling with the lock. Um, hey. Hey, are you sure? I mean... We, you want to find out what's going on with the kids or what? Like, how much do you care about these children? Because you won't shut up about an the awful kids. Maybe there's a secret door to the basement in the cabinet. Uh, um, okay. uh, Tobias, you see a, uh, right a well-stocked pantry. Um, all kinds of uh, food, uh, meat spreads, um, all kinds of baking supplies. Um, oh, Robin, you, you crack the lock um, yeah. easily. 
it, it's um you know this is this is the kind of luck that that you you just buy from a general store right this is this is what you practice on the combination um, is something an idiot would have on his luggage you know <laughs> one two three four. <laughs> Uh, inside, <coughs> pardon me, <clears throat> there's a, a heavy crossbow, a light crossbow, a hand crossbow, uh, and bolts for each of those weapons. I hope um, that's not broken because they need to secure these weapons. From pardon me? That's what I, the said, I hope the lock's not yeah. broken because they need to secure oh, these not. weapons from the kids. No, no, no. <laughs> Cracking a lock, no, you, you leave it in, in good nick. Are, um, they, are the bolts tipped with anything, like suspiciously, like silver or something like that? Uh, no, they seem to be just the standard bolts that you'd buy, like f fairly cheap, inexpensive, you know, the kind of shit that just gets, just gets uh, you know, you just make a bunch of them. They're all, you know, uh, close to uniform uh, shape and size, but, you know, there's there's little variances here and there. They're not, they're not delicately made by any means. Uh, there's about 20 bolts for each of the three crossbows. And this spiral staircase goes upstairs, right? Or is it down? It's up. Uh, it goes up. So there's no basement. See, I told you they made up the basement. Wait maybe this minute. is the basement. Well, maybe there's an external entry to the basement. Are you guys having problems finding a basement? Uh, um, I am. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to. I'm gonna go talk. As to As if the that's kids. like a common thing that you know how to solve. Oh no, well, no basement. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to fix. Well, no, like. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna start if, pulling if, on. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Someone can walk around the house to see if there's an. Yeah, it's completely no, go, logical that the there's an external entrance to the basement. I don't know. Kids just make stuff up, so. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. But I, I know you think that, but I'm going to go check with the kids. <laughs> well, All right. okay, that's a good idea. Uh, sure, you know, so you... Uh, I'll come, I'll come, come with you because I think that's not a bad idea. So you had okay. to go back outside. You open up the back, uh, the front door. Um, but before stepping out, you see um, oh, the wow. children don't seem to be there. Um, and the, the mist oh, that... Uh, sort of has been lying low everywhere. The mist seems to have like closed in and sort of like swallowed up the rest of the village. Um, you, uh, you know, as when you go to step outside, uh, you, the, the mist seems to be like freezing cold. You feel like if you were to, to be in it for any length of time, it would, you'd, uh, it would, it would start like affecting you it would be bad it would be bad yeah yeah this you. is not I... something you want to stand in it, it feels terrible chilling it cloys to your bone uh super unpleasant i told i told you you were like let's trust these little kids look no, now this you see what you've clearly cl no no what we've gotten into is a fantastic of opportunity to dispel evil okay i told you and there was no is... monster <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so so there's no there's Demon no going children. out and like going around the building or anything like that. Is that correct? Um, you you could probably pop out and try and look around the sides of the house, uh, but like, um, I would I would require a saving throw if you were to spend any more than a few seconds in the mist. Nah, I'm good. Okay, so I pop out for a second out. and then go right back in. I'm like, nah. Yeah. Okay, okay, it is something's dangerously up here. cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You you yeah, pop out. You take a look around the side of the house. You don't see any. Uh, any like uh, obvious um, uh, what are those called storm uh... yeah cellar doors yeah yeah cellar doors cellar yeah door. we don't we don't have these here we're uh, at sea level so so uh, meanwhile I'm, I'm heading up the stairs but uh, we can handle that once sure sure so um, you uh, pop up the stairs hope those kids are okay. And yeah. Um, really? <laughs> unlit oil lamps are mounted on the walls of this elegant hall. Hanging can above I, uh, the mantelpiece is a, a wood framed portrait of a family. Um, you recognize the two smiling children. Um, cradled in the father's arms is a swaddled baby, uh, which you notice the mother seems to regard with like a hint of scorn. Um, standing suits of. Uh, yeah, whose baby is it? <laughs> standing suits of armor flank wooden doors in the east and west walls. Each suit of armor clutches a spear and has a visored helm shaped like a wolf's head. Nice. Um, yeah, I'll just walk straight up to this door and uh, sort of knock slash push it open. <laughs> okay. 
Um, oh, uh, on uh, uh, while that's going on, I'm going through and 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 with uh, um, with Faraday, mm -hmm. like, hey, telling telling everybody there's something weird going on outside. You know, weird. What weird? Like, uh, sorry to interrupt. I was just yeah. If we if you want to finish that up, then I can I can wait. But like this, but coming back through. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, what what is everyone else doing? You sort of like chilling in the main hall. Tobias clumps I up the stairs. To look into this room, this little room that I'm in front of. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's a little cloak room. Uh, there's uh, a bunch of um, like black cloaks and uh, and a little top hat up on a shelf. Mm, right. Wait, hold on. Are all the wind? Sorry, go ahead. Can I take a cloak and put it on? Uh, yeah. I yep, you that. do so. Yeah, yeah, where's, it's a big black Tobias cloak. It reaches Canada's. almost to the floor, um, Ooh, and uh, it's got a hood on it. Pardon? Can I get one of those? I want one yep. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It uh, it it triggers uh, you know a, a little flashback to your to your days uh, trying to summon uh, demons in the in the basement with uh, with your surrogate family. Nice. Glorious. Memories. <laughs> Um, let's go upstairs with Tobias. <clears throat> okay, yeah, because we got to tell right. him what's going on outside. Guys, it's really, really cold outside. The mist is closed in. I, I can't see the kids. I hope they're okay. Yeah. But... The mist, mist doesn't they're just not close in. It's... Oh, totally but meanwhile, rush. Rocks! You never seen so, demon kids before? Come on. I have seen demon kids before, but like they're pretty easy to spot. And yeah, I'm. I'm the kids, <laughs> the kids are probably just playing in the mist. Let's go. They're freezing to death out there. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Well, if since I know something's weird, I'm not. I'm not going up to the top yet. Um, are you not going uh, upstairs? I'm. Gonna, I'm no, You're no, gonna no, no, hang no, out no. by yourself. Okay. Wait, no, no. Wait. I'm grabbing. I'm grabbing the crossbows. And okay. The cool. Would you like to grab the uh, light, heavy, or hand crossbow, or yeah, all three, I or whatever? Have a, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna grab the stuff and 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 go up because clearly Wait, something I... is Good. wrong sure. here. And if anybody else needs the, the weapons, I that's that's something. Um, and, and a cloak, there but I'm go. not going to put it on yet. I'm just going to throw it in the pack. Okay. Why are you stealing all their cloaks? This is not... <laughs> we're not stealing anymore. Like, this is, this is something wrong. Better this survival is, mode. I need a cloak. Yeah. I need a crossbow. Nothing's yeah. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say stealing was okay now? As soon as okay your own now. survival is relevant, it's like, you know what? These more... This moral code does not matter right now. No, no, no. We when gotta, the house yeah, is abandoned, survive. it's not stealing, it's scavenging. Yeah, this is totally here. fine. Totally yeah. fine. And also, uh, like, there is clearly evil being done. We got to go. So, Sorry, Tobias, I stole your cloak. I heard you open the door uh, to the room, which you guys <laughs> stride into, obviously. Um, red velvet drapes cover the windows of this room. An exquisite mahogany desk and a matching high back chair face the entrance and the fireplace, above which hangs a framed picture of a, wind, a, a windmill perched atop a rocky crag. Situated in corners of the room are two overstuffed chairs. Uh, Floor-to-ceiling bookshelves line the south wall. A rolling wooden ladder makes one uh, allows one uh, to more easily reach the high shelves. Does do people who live in pastoral environments tend to have bits of pastoral scenes? Just wonder. <laughs> tend to have which? Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. So Wait, I'm what? gonna head to uh, uh, yeah. this last room then. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, yeah. um, sounds good. Um, Laszlo, by the way, yeah. um, you, uh, you're in the room, kind of, you said you wanted to check out uh, the desk? The, yeah, see what's on it, maybe see if there's drawers. So stuff. the desk has uh, several items atop it, uh, an oil lamp, a jar of ink, a quill pen, a tinder box, uh, a letter kit containing a red wax candle, uh, some parchment, a wooden seal uh, with a, a family insignia on it. It appears to be a windmill. Um, the desk drawer, uh, has, uh, it's empty except for, uh, an iron key. Uh, I take the key. Sounds good. And I, I want to look around. Are there a book? Well. Can I hold sorry. it? Is there a, sorry. No, yeah. Good. Sorry. Yep. You can, you can hold the oil lamp. lamp. Absolutely. Um, cool. yeah. It's, uh, an oil lamp sheds uh, a good amount of light. Um, I believe uh, it's 30 or 40 feet of bright light and then as much dim light uh, after that. Uh, I'd have to double check that. What's up, Laszlo? How you doing? 
Doing good. I found a found a lamp. Might be able to see better now. Yeah, yeah. That's always good. I'm just in the dark here. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, yeah. That's that's good. Well, I mean, if you ever need help with the dark, just you know, hold my hand. I got you. Uh, are you gonna <laughs> light the uh, the lamp then? Yeah, I lamp. I light the lamp. Cool. We'll say we'll say it sheds uh, forty and forty. Do you rub it first? <laughs> um, just in case. Lighting the lamp, the, the leave, room gets... Leave my, person, leave my personal life out of it, buddy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the room gets uh, brightly illuminated. And, um, uh, yeah, you glance around uh, a little bit. Um, you see the uh, the stacks of bookshelves sort of go uh, go around um, and into the, into the corner. This would be a really cool place if I could read. <laughs> um, Altan uh, and approaching the room, it just brightens. Yeah. Approaching the uh, the bookshelves, uh, mm -hmm. you see there are like hundreds of tomes uh, covering you know all kinds of different topics. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, when you sort of enter into the little rows, um, you spot what looks like little uh, sort of scrapes and uh, and and drag marks uh, on the the floor at the far side of the um, of the uh, the bookshelf stacks. Okay, I'm like down down here at this uh, at this end. Where Correct. I, where I yeah, on the southmost wall, which is on the right when you're looking at the map, because again the compass is yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. sideways. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna uh, like hmm, that looks like does it look like like this is a bookshelf that maybe like it looks like uh, the the thing has opened secret passage secret, secret yeah passage, investigating secret it a little bit yeah. more with your your 15 passive perception uh you're like yeah this it looks like uh something gets dragged uh quite a bit and uh and so you're thinking yeah that may very well be uh some sort okay. of okay secret I'm, door i'm gonna chalk that up to wisdom as opposed to intelligence all right very <laughs> much so absolutely yeah <laughs> um but uh, uh but yeah so so i'm gonna start i'm gonna start monkeying around see if there's uh anything anything on this wall or, or or in in the immediate vicinity that might be a trigger sure yeah like yeah the, so the bookcase uh, itself you know you kind of look a little bit uh you know kind of messing with it uh, you know you you like sort of rattle the bookshelf a little bit and it does have sort of a a, a little bit of um you know it's got some some jiggle to it you can hear a latch okay. Um, and, uh, you know, quickly assessing so I, the shelf, I, you see I there's one out. book that has a blank spine. It's like a red covered book with a blank spine. And so, uh, you know, you monkey with that a little bit. And, um, and when you, when you pull on the, uh, fake book, the, um, a little door opens up into guys, a secret guys, room. Guys, So I, I call, I, I yelled, you know, I found a secret room. Uh, oh, this ooh. little room contains bookshelves that are packed with, uh, tomes that all have, um, you know, some of them are, like, leather-bound. They're all black. They have images of pentagrams and stuff like that on them. Oh, hell uh, no. There's a, a heavy... Like, this this is great. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I have no. a library this just is... like this at home. Uh, no. <laughs> really cool. Oh, my God, I remember this book. There's a, a heavy wooden chest with clawed iron feet uh, that stands against the south wall. It's lid half closed. Sticking out of the chest is uh, a skeleton in leather armor. Thank you, sweetie. Okay. What? Since we've got a lot oh, of people you're the best. Here, uh, All right, if you're worried about traps, this is the room to worry about traps. Can you... Ow. <laughs> how much that, okay how much do i recognize like and anybody else who's had to deal with like occult stuff like i would imagine yeah, like I can do is a... this sort of the yeah. kind of is it the kind of stuff that i grew up with like uh make a uh them? religion or history check if you like and you get advantage just due to the, your background okay um at the top of your character sheet you can click the little advantage button and it'll toggle on advantage okay well, well, you're that thinking on, about right? that. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, does anybody? Does anybody want one of these crossbows? I'm gonna keep the heavy one, just in case. <laughs> the heavy crossbow is, is uh, does um, it's a martial weapon, which I don't think you're proficient oh, I with. Have, yeah, because I've, I've got a light already. Yeah, but, the light crossbow you are proficient with. The heavy crossbow would be something that was usable by uh, Tass. Um, I think uh, only Tass, okay. in fact. Um, okay. And it does a. And, and it, it wouldn't. <laughs> Can I do What's that? Instead? No, not not for you. Not a dex guy. Okay. Eh? 
It's gonna cause some bleeding if I use that. Oh, come yeah, on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I then just I have can't. Uh, the, the light crossbow. Does I anybody? Does does any, I've got an extra light crossbow now. Does anybody need a, a crossbow? It might come in really handy. It's a, a simple weapon. Does a D8 damage. Range of 80, 320, I believe. Um, yeah. I'd it's say, I'd say hang, hang on to the heavy crossbow. Um, yeah, I would love it if you had a crossbow. Be, I'm not I might be able though. to be convinced to use it in the event that we absolutely need to, but in no way would I preemptive willing to well, the use blood, it. The good thing about a crossbow, dude, is that the blood is like way over there. Okay. This is like when this time it happens. <laughs> you can see me visibly getting. Well, so, so, yeah. I, I come back when we're. You can see me visibly getting nauseated at, <laughs> at the thought, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll hand, I'll hand I that. I mean, and... a lot of us already have crossbows. Is it different than, like, I already have a light crossbow. Is it oh, okay. different than? I, I'm built with it's the no same. ranged weapons whatsoever. Same. I have a short bow. I could take the crossbow um, if you don't want it. I've got two, I've got two lights right now. Uh, and uh, two okay. lights. Yeah, I would take okay. one. You'll take one? Okay, good deal. So light, light crossbow to uh to robin and uh laszlo do you need do you need anything you, you got a sure. range weapon no i, I got i've never actually fought with a range weapon i'd be trying to do okay well i've got a yeah oh cool well i've got this never hand ever? crossbow it's these are super great you know they're they're very easy just point and shoot just point and click. are we just gonna are we gonna have to give all these things back if the uh the residents return of course. I just imagine them walking in with their I mean, children. We're, we're in the, I we're mean, in the this middle. might yeah. be one of them, and I point at the skeleton. <laughs> yes, this is, well, that's been dead for a long time. It's clearly not the children. According to the painting, that's not one of their kids. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, we don't even know if those kids that we saw out there were even alive at this point. So They could be ghosts. Yeah. Can I check for traps in ghosts. this room? Because I'm, I'm a little nervous. So um, I would love it if you did that, actually, because I didn't even think that there could be traps. I forgot what traps were. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, Can Kim, you look at check the books out again. Um, yeah, you, well. you check out the books, um, I'm and you're like, I don't recognize any room. of these. I'm not sure what's up. Now, anyone else can make an Arcana check about the books if they like. Um, you, uh, uh, Robin, uh, looks around for for traps. Um, and uh yeah closely inspecting the chest with the skeleton kind of half hanging out um you can see that the um the skeleton obviously belongs to a human who triggered like a poison dart trap there's uh three darts that are stuck in his armor and rib cage um but then when you do check out the chest uh you can tell the dart firing mechanism inside the chest doesn't doesn't no longer functions okay great so um the clutched traps in have been triggered Pardon me? It, the traps it, blew, it blew its, yeah. its load already. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, we're clutched we're in clear. the skeleton's uh, left hand is uh, a letter. Um, Another letter. And uh, immediately, just at a, at a glance, you can see that it, it bears um, the seal of the letter which was given to you in the tavern by the, uh, by the Vistana. By that sassy-ass mother saucer. This is definitely a trap. Like, wait, is that, do we, uh, the, 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 the chest is a trap or like, No, the letters, the letters are a trap. The chest the is clear. Are so okay, we can, okay, okay, okay. We I'm... can investigate the chest. Can, We're good there. Can you okay. disarm the letter? <laughs> I'm confused <laughs> about how that works. I'm confused. The letters are a... Meta trap. Uh, yes, yeah, like a big picture trap. It's a trap. High concept. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? Um, is this the sort of... Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Also, it's I'm a trap. I'm curious good, so. about. All right, let's see what's in the chest. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, you investigate the contents of the chest. Uh, there are three blank books with black leather covers. Um, they look like spell books, but they're not. They're not used. Um, the spell books are, you know, they they cost like twenty five gold. Uh, you know, Kim's familiar with with uh, the. It's spell a trap. She's worked with a lot of wizards. There are three scrolls. Um, all of which are things which, um, uh, the senator is, uh, like, able to parse. Um, you're able to tell that they are, the spells, uh, bless, protection from poison, and spiritual weapon. They're all things that you would be able to cast from the spells. Um, nice. at least one of those okay. is a higher level than you would normally have access to at the moment. And so it would require, like, um... Uh, a skill check in order to cast from this scroll, but you you can cast higher level spells than you have access to with a successful skill check. Um, 
Okay. Using a scroll. scroll. I said use, like, use magic item or whatever. What uh, there's also some paperwork. You can see there's a, a deed to the house. Um, there's a deed to a windmill. And there's a, a signed will. <clears throat> uh, the will is signed by Gustav and Elizabeth Durst. And, pardon me. And it bequeaths the uh, the house, the windmill, and all other family so property bread, right. to uh, Rosavalda <laughs> and Thornbolt Durst. Um in the event of their parents' deaths, which you presume mm. must be the the names of those uh, children whose names you didn't ask. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> there was another child, though, a baby. Oh, Who yeah. Who the mom didn't like. <laughs> uh, yeah. You were the one who was trying to make friends with the kids. I'm just... Yeah, and I was just trying to keep them safe and then deal with the monster. <laughs> I, uh, the I baby is not mentioned for, in the uh, paperwork. Okay, well, it could just be that the trap. paperwork was made prior to the baby. Can we read oh, the true. notes? Mm -hmm. Letter? Absolutely. Oh, did I take possession of those those scrolls? Did anybody else, can anybody else cast any of these? I mean... Mm -mm. Um, okay. There's a chance... I would have to check to see whether they're on um, Kim's spell list. She does have mm -hmm. access to a couple of spells that um, aren't... that are that are normally, like, sort of cleric it's spells. It's a trap! <laughs> um, here is the letter. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> nice. My most pathetic servant. <laughs> uh, yeah, do it up. You read that, and I'm going to pack oh, okay. the rest of this burrito into my body. My most pathetic <laughs> servant, I am not a messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. I have not come to lead you on a path of immortality. However many souls you have bled in your hidden altar. However many visitors you have tortured in your dungeon know that you are not the ones who brought me to this beautiful land. You are but worms writhing in my earth. You say that you are cursed, your fortune spent. You abandoned love for madness, took solace in the bosom of another woman and sired a stillborn son. Cursed by the darkness of that, I have no doubt. Save you from your wretchedness. I think not. I much prefer you as you are. Your dread lord and master, Strahd von Zarovich. I did not get Strahd's cool. voice. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Different accent, but wow. Okay. <laughs> didn't realize that. <this. laughs> That's all good. Yeah, you uh, you don't know what he sounds like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My most pathetic servant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not the messiah sent to you by the dark powers of this land. <laughs> Like Very a interesting. Girl. A burrito of holding. Jesus Christ, dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the idea. <laughs> so wow, okay, I've not come to lead you on a path of mortality. This guy, okay, so who's Strahd? And this is apparently a hidden. And how do I get this, his number? The... Yeah. <laughs> is He's, this um, is this the altar? Somebody's dread lord and master. <laughs> Um, you he don't see cool an altar in here. There's a yeah. treasure chest. There's a bunch of books. Um, oh, I, uh, I was checking out those books earlier, by the way, and rolled them out. Uh, yeah, by the way, yeah, you got a natural 20 on your arcana. So looking through yeah, these books... Yeah, yeah. Um, negative one. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon That's me. two nat 20s already for me, by the way. I'm killing it. <laughs> so the, the books are packed with, um, like... They describe fiend summoning rituals and the necromantic rituals of a cult called the Priests of Ozibus. Um... And looking through them, you're like, these are these rituals are bogus. They're like not these oh. wouldn't do anything. These are obviously like are... not like actual practitioners of any kind of magic. Oh, okay. So they're they're basically working with these guys thought they were they're doing amateurs. great stuff, but they're working with beat Ouija boards and yes. um, playing light as a feather, stiff as a board and stuff like that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> Bloody Mary in the yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I relate that information. Like this is bullshit. Much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh come on. I'm I worship a god. This I know what a god the cult of Amadeus. Like. Amadeus. <laughs> Man, I oh, wish oh, these people oh, were Amadeus. here. I would teach them a ritual or two, let me tell ya. <laughs> yeah, the cult of Ozzy Osbourne, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm fighting heads off of bats. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that bad, really. That's a pretty legit, you know, ritual. Biting uh, bats' heads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, that's, yeah. you have a material component that is consumed. 
<laughs> yeah, once you do it three or four times, you really kind of get the you kind of get the just it's not like, bad. Become second oh, nature, Christ. Yeah, I mean like I, whatever. Y'all have fucking weak stomachs, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, but uh, okay, so that who actually had that letter? That was who was who was in front of the. I I relay the information about the uh, uh the bogus ass rituals. To... I'd say Faraday has that letter. I think she read okay. it. Makes sense. Um, let's go check out the rest of the house. There's so still barge there's into the next room. Yeah, idea. do it up. Um, <laughs> I love right, your your uh, your approach. Um, by the way, are you guys taking any of those things? Let me know. Uh, you know, add to your inventory yeah. if you're taking uh, the uh, the spell tomes that are each worth twenty five gold. Um, uh, Someone should grab those. I'll take the scrolls. Whatever. They're bless protection from poison I'm, and spiritual weapon. Them. Add those to your inventory if you're taking them. Uh, um, there's the paperwork. Do? Oh, you're gonna take all of them? Yeah, I don't think anybody <laughs> else can, take can, any? can cast yeah. them. I mean, can uh, I? I don't think either anybody else can cast them. You or yeah, either you or I can cast them. What were they? If again? anybody wants to take it upon themselves uh, to um, like keep a loot list, uh, I I have one. Okay. I didn't write down cool. the spells though, but I wrote down the other things. Hold on, I'll take the. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll there you write go. down whatever. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll yeah, just copy paste exactly. directly from the fucking if I'm stuff. Take it. <laughs> Bless protection for poison, uh, Tobias, weapon. okay. You yes. you wander in. Uh, it looks like a, a conservatory. Uh, gossamer there... drapes cover the windows of this elegantly appointed hall, which has a bl brass plated chandelier hanging from the ceiling. Uh, upholstered chairs line the walls, and stained glass wall hangings depict beautiful, <laughs> beautiful uh, men, women, and children singing and playing instruments. <laughs> Oh my do god! The, the oh, classic annoying again. thing that many people do when they see a piano, which is keys. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. A, a harpsichord with a bench rests in the northwest corner. Uh, near the fireplace is a large standing harp, and alabaster figurines of well-dressed dancers adorn the mantelpiece. <laughs> I I go through the harps like zoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, yeah. I'm, where are you guys? I'm confused. Hold on. You guys are to the, the south. You went to a different room. Sorry. Yes, they've all uh, they've all left the tiny room that you're you're uh, not tucked into there. Yeah, sorry about that. I meant to follow you guys. Uh, yeah. You uh, you briefly uh, strum the harp. Um, it's out of tune. So I guess there's um only one left. Uh, one one door left that we haven't explored. Right. So while people are checking out that room, <coughs> brazenly oh walk the last one. I had a bunch of hot sauce in that burrito, so I'm I'm gonna be uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be just just weeping. Um, there you go. Uh, oh, I ask uh, everybody coming out of that room. I ask everybody coming out of the room if like anything interesting in there or um, just, just instruments. Ah. Just instruments. Oh, okay. Uh, the room that you barge into, Tobias, is, uh, it, it seems to be just an undecorated bedroom. Uh, it contains a pair of beds with straw-stuffed mattresses. Uh, at the foot of each bed is an empty footlocker. And so this must be the closet. Where the yeah. heck did Tobias just go? Oh, it is indeed. Okay. Tidy servants' uniforms hang from hooks in the closet. Uh, you can see down, uh, you know, in the corner, uh, just like in the kitchen, there's a tiny little uh, dumb waiter door. Can I grab one of the um, wolf head helms? Uh, Check it out and possibly plop plop it on if it's uh, an option. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, you're uh, you're you're a normal sized individual, right? You're you're a human. Uh, yeah. So you no misshapen you... head or anything. <laughs> uh, no more than usual. Uh, yeah, you grab one of these helms that's sort of uh, shaped like a wolf. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's it's like hey, a... look, I'm a bear. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what a callback! I thought that was a wolf. I don't understand. Yeah, what a... Look at him; he's big. He's, he's, a, he's a bear. A bear wolf. I look just, I'm just gonna I'm gonna humor the hell out of him. Yeah, you're, you're a bear. Nice looking bear head. You're a, you're a big scary bear, my little buddy. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so we found no basement. Just oh, there's stairs going up. Oh, that's the stairs going down. Oh, we can go up, up more. Yeah. Yep. Oh. 
Uh, sorry, is that where Uni is heading right now? They're full of it anyway, yeah. so... Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to come. I mean, I think those kids were evil and full of crap, but I, I thought that from the very beginning. They Wait were a second, not how did you evil. get into that bedroom? Oh, there's ah, a door. So, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. scroll up if you don't see the map already. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to need to... Uh, once you drop a token on the stairs, don't don't move it around or it'll it'll yeah. mess things up. Just just, uh, just so you know. Just yep. leave it there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna and I'll, I'll slowly but surely move you guys up. I don't see anything cool. Uh, there's basically nothing in there, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's why I suspected. All right, and the senator just, just is also moving due diligence. Oh, oh due diligence. shit, hang on. Don't don't move your token. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, okay, so, uh, I, I yeah, Tobias, you uh, you head on into the room. There we go. Um, and... Uh, I'm sort of behind people, but... <laughs> And it's hard to convey through that, but I want so to kind of creep in behind you. You come up to a dusty balcony uh, with a suit of black plate armor standing against one wall draped in cobwebs. Um, and uh, Tobias wandering in, um, the suit of armor swings at you. What? Whoa, the suit oh. of armor just fell. Wait. <laughs> Did not just fall over. Um, sure. Give me it. Yeah, so, uh, let me, uh, roll an attack against you. Uh, and, uh, you're pretty surprised by it, so I'm gonna give, go ahead and yeah. give this advantage. Who just stands around in armor? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it strikes you for, uh, four bludgeoning damage. Uh, so this thing just like reaches out and just clocks you, um, and um, it really rang my bell. <laughs> indeed, it did. Um, yeah, you guys all are sort of piled up here. Um, if you like, we uh, we can now roll initiative. Oh, so, so here we go. As a reminder, click on your character go. on the yeah. map, and then click on your roll character initiative. token exactly. Oh my Which god, is... I finally did a decent roll in this game. <laughs> Do we know anything about this? Does anybody know anything about this enemy? The person uh, yeah, you armor? guys may each roll uh, an uh, arcana check if you like. Ooh. I know exactly what is. <laughs> Get that and roll hard. <laughs> I know what that fucking thing is. I don't know what magic is. I don't Wait, know okay. what magic is at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, Kim, Uni, Vitriol, you all are like, this is magically animated armor. That's, you know, it's, uh, uh. there's definitely no one in it. Um, you can, you can tell it's like, there's no face. Um, it's, uh, so the, the armor itself, uh, seems to be animated, um, which, you know, it's like a higher level magic than any of you have access to, but it's not like, you know, on par with like granting wishes. Sir, you are too short to wear that set of armor. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone in that armor. <laughs> well, the head is just a little bit too low. Do I know how it'll respond to being blasted with my magic? Like, um, like I'm... Yeah, you you have no reason to think that the your uh, that eldritch. like uh, yeah your your eldritch blast is um, force damage and that pretty much fucks up anything. There's almost nothing that uh, that's resistant to it. So yeah, I was um, gonna say like <laughs> I'm gonna eldritch blast the fuck out of it. As well. <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. Well, the uh, initiative has been rolled. Uh, Faraday, you are first up. Um, so you Sorry, guys are actually, it was, it was um, that. I accidentally, Sorry. I'm going to Go place ahead. you guys all back on mm -hmm. the stairs yeah. because it was Tobias who came up the stairs and was moment. He was like five feet away from it. It, uh, it smacked cool. him. And yeah. so, uh, Kim, you're still on the staircase. Uh, however, you are in view of it. Um, and you are capable of, uh, rolling an attack if you like. Oh, did somebody else, but somebody else rolled before me or. Hold on. So the no, armor did, person, um, but you have jacked initiative. You you rolled really well, yeah. and you get to uh, oh, okay. you get to attack first. Yeah, you're you're like okay, on it. I'll do it for real this time. Yeah, this thing time. swings at Tobias, and you are like, holy shit! And you uh, you roll. Uh, you'll probably want to toggle off initiative uh, or, or uh, advantage. Yeah. I mean to say. Advantage. Um, Sorry. And Normal. so that first roll there of a thirteen 
is uh just glances off it like uh you know you 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 basically uh hit it but it's not like a damaging blow um this thing's armor is uh is quite protective um the the senator uh altan you're up wait that means i got disadvantage oh wait, oh the map isn't not... moved so you guys can see it oh my god i'm sorry hold on one second is that one day i'll learn how to fucking do my this. first roll shouldn't i try again since I accidentally... So oh, uh, so if you if you roll with advantage well. or with disadvantage accidentally, the leftmost number is the first one rolled, and so that's the column that um, that I, I take. <laughs> so, like, you, you could just leave <laughs> advantage on all the time if you want, and I'll just use the leftmost column um, okay. when it's pertinent. Oh, yeah. um, or you can toggle it off and on when, when, you know, whatever's easier for you. But that that is also a valid thing to do, is just always have advantage toggle on, and then uh, when it comes up, it's there. I'm just saying, you can't blame me for trying, right? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Alton, uh, you're you're sort of at the bottom of the stairs, but... Um, I, do I have a uh, line of sight? Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say you could kind of like uh, back up a little here, and then uh, you can you can just see the thing sort of through the banister. Okay. Uh, I'm, well, if, uh, let's see. So, okay, wait, how does this... So you can move... No, well, I can't move through friendly squares, right? That's, that's like... You can. Oh, yeah. you can? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, then I'm going to go uh, up until I've got, till there's no, like, cover for the thing. And then, because I've already got the crossbow in hand and just plink it. Uh, yeah, you're good. You you can you can fire uh, at it from uh, from where you're at. Um, okay, cool. You're all yeah, kind yeah, of packed on the stairs and, and jostling around, but that's fine. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I'll... Yeah, I can kind of get yeah. out of the way. Still you don't need to take fire. a super wide stance to fire your crossbow. Um, roll mm -hmm. it. Okay, good. Did you just click on my yeah. crossbow, right? Okay. Yep, so you exactly. You can your allies, but you have to specify who goes on. So, uh, you roll a 17 to hit, which is great. However, once again, it, ping, bounces off of the, uh, the shoulder of this thing's armor. Damn. You suspect no. that right. basically being a giant animated suit of plate armor, this thing will probably have about the armor class of someone wearing plate armor. Uh, yeah, which is yeah, high. yeah. Okay. So, uh, if I, so I took the, took the shot, that was like a regular action. Mm -hmm. And then I can, then I'm, uh, well, uh, like, like it, it, putting the crossbow away is not a super, like, how long does that take? I'm sorry. I'm uh, just, I'm stowing an eight. item uh, is basically like a free interaction. Yeah, you already had it out, uh, so you didn't have okay. to draw it. So yeah, you can, you can stow it uh, for free if you like. Gotcha. Stowing it for free and because uh, I'm going to, I don't really have anything to do until next time, which will be cast. Mm-hmm. That's later. Okay. Uh, and then um, Robin is up. Okay. We're all kind of getting out of the way as we're attacking, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you're all just like on the stairs and like shooting stuff at this thing. You're just like, oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. something's attacking. And just pew, pew, pew. You know, it's, uh, you're going off. Um, I'm not going to grant it any cover just because it's such close, tight quarters. It's kind of annoying mm -hmm. to, yeah. to deal with. Uh, and so, um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about you guys firing through allies or through the banister or whatever for this particular combat. This will be, this will be, uh, this, for some of you, the first time doing combat in Roll20. So this is, uh, you know, sort of a nice little um, keeping it simple trial combat. Yeah. I'm digging it. Okay. Do I have enough room to use my short bow? I mean, I don't know that that's yep. going to be effective anyway, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, clothes. you totally do. I mean, you're okay. you're confident that uh, you know a well wielded short bow will be able to pierce through uh, armor for sure. Um, okay. And I believe that you have sneak attack uh, if you have an ally who's adjacent to the enemy, regardless of whether you're attacking at range or not. Um, so you can toggle on your sneak attack uh, checkbox if you like before firing. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, you hit the wall behind the armor. Natural. <laughs> it's like me playing Mass Effect. <laughs> Just like <laughs> into the wall. Um, uh, Laszlo, unless you have anything else you'd like to do on your turn, uh, Vitriol? Nope. Um, nope. Uh, Laszlo is up. Okay, so um, I move next to the armor and I attack it with my spear. Since I was holding also the light, I'm going to use it one handed. Sounds perfect, yeah. Uh, hey. oh. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> the thing, uh, yeah, you, you, you grab your spear, you're holding the light with your, with your dominant hand, and so you're, you're kind of having a hard time jabbing at this thing. Um, would you like to take a bonus action as well? Um, I believe at first yeah. level you have oh. martial arts and are able to, able to yes. make like an unarmed attack. Uh, oh. 
<laughs> is when you attack, it's not. It doesn't have to land. Okay. So mm -hmm. I miss. I miss it. So then I'm just like, okay, I try to punch it with the hand that I have my. <laughs> <laughs> The other uh, go for it. Did we add an unarmed attack to your character sheet? No, but I just added it. But... Okay, okay, awesome. Right, right, yeah, you, you're familiar with roll 20, perfect. Saves me a, the hassle. I might not be proficient with spears, but I'm proficient with fist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you cast oh. fist. Um, you cast strike punch. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, click, uh, click your, your yeah. damage. Awesome, so you do... Uh, Five damage to this thing. Yeah, so yeah, you you sort of come at it with your uh, with your offhand out, and <laughs> miss it entirely. But then uh, yeah, you just sort of like smuck it uh, along the side of the head with the lamp. Um, and fortunately, it hurts the armor more than the lamp. Uh, <laughs> Tobias, um, you finally kind of clue into what's going on. You're yeah. like, oh oh, this thing's yeah yeah oh it's attacking. Cool. You're like ooh shiny. Wait a second. So <laughs> ooh, I'm piece gonna surround it. Yep. So moving over here. Yep. Uh, I'm uh, flanking it, and I will make sure. Boop. Swing my warhammer. Boop. Do it up. Yeah. Yeah. You smoke nice. this thing with your warhammer. Oh fuck yeah! Look at that. Um. So yeah. to roll the oh, wait, damage. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah. What do I do for damage? Uh, yeah. Click in the chat log on the word warhammer just below your your oh, gotcha. uh, roll. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah. And so you leave this not... huge dent in the breastplate. So I can also also use a bonus action to knock it over with my shield, a shove. Uh, uh yeah. Uh, you do shield master. Go for it. Uh, take the attack wanna, action on your turn. You can use a bonus action to try to shove. Do you do you want to click the 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 little uh uh on the shield master? Uh yeah yeah. Just pop that in the chat. Perfect. And then uh, roll it up. I just want to read it while you're doing that because I'm I'm yeah, not no super problem. familiar with it. So uh so that's the rules for shield master, <laughs> the first bullet point and. Just in preparation, I also prepared shoving a creature. Mm -hmm. um, and I can make a strength athletics contested by their athletics or acrobatics Oop. to uh, knock it prone in this case. Uh, yeah, go for it. Absolutely. Um, so this is an opposed uh, uh, check by its athletics or acrobatics, whichever is higher. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you, uh, yeah, you shove this thing with your shield after just smoking it with, you already get it off balance with your, uh, with your your warhammer, and the thing uh, sort of clatters to the ground, um, and uh, it still is is sort of held together by this magic, so it, none of it comes apart. Um, but it does sort of collapse onto uh, onto its back, and um, uh, unfortunately, you're the last to act right before its turn. So on its turn, it climbs up, and nobody gets to take advantage of the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, advantage <laughs> and uh, yeah it seems right zeroed in on you um, and it uh, attacks you um, and uh, you know one of its arms sort of like smashes against your your big old shield and so does the other both of the, it, it like slams twice against this big uh, shield that you're holding um, and, uh, and you render its attacks ineffective with your expert use of your shield um, Faraday uh you're over on the stairs, and uh, and you see that it's sort of back is turned a little bit. Yeah, is there any way I can like attack? Like, okay, I I know this might sound weird, but like attack the attack the magic. <laughs> I know that I told you it was gonna sound weird. Give me a um, fucking second. <laughs> think of the concept like, of so if can... you had uh, a spell like dispel magic. That's something that oh, you okay. might be able to take a crack at. Um, however, okay. uh, you are not really a powerful enough practitioner. Um, okay, so, okay. yeah, your memorized okay. spells are more. Dispel magic would be. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like, because I feel like just like hitting something that's. Like, can I hit it in the joints or something? You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, I want to like shoot it. I want to like do another Eldritch Blast, but I want to do it somewhere like where the joints are together because i feel like just like hitting it and the like brass plate or whatever doesn't really make any sense yeah we're gonna put like a dent in the armor but is that 
Yeah, definitely. Like um, and in yeah. fact, you you sort of know enough about uh, animated things that like basically um, that is exactly like yeah that that is how you destroy them. Uh, you know, doing damage to them uh it helps uh but eventually you want to do enough damage that it's going to start breaking the thing apart uh yeah, so that's that's, that's what, what you're i was thinking yeah, yeah. yeah. there are okay. there are some special spells that will cause its magic to unravel but you, you likely don't have them yet indeed no, so have. yeah if you'd like to throw another eldritch blast at it you can uh if you have yeah. other like uh you know you you have one spell slot for like an actual leveled spell uh if you like um i believe that your uh is uh, it I'm looking trying to remember. like it's like it's really how's it looking? Uh it's looking right beat the fuck up. Um yeah, it's okay. already not I, in I just use spectacular condition, uh but yeah, now you guys have been like beating it with uh lamps and and warhammers, so <laughs> <laughs> the lamps. The lamps really do it. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna like attack it at like the joints or I guess. Oh yeah, smoke those joints. <laughs> it's like whatever the magical equivalent of the is, that's what we shoot at. <laughs> okay. Uh, awesome. So this time you get it in a spot that's uh, that's like important with your Eldritch Blast. Uh, in order to roll your damage in that chat log where you have that 18 rolled, uh, click on the word Eldritch Blast, um, which is its own link. There you go. And you do seven force damage to it. Awesome. Um, so... Uh, yeah, you you smoke this thing, uh, and uh, you sort of hit where its face would be, uh, and so it like strikes the helmet, and the the the, the helmet kind of like tilts strangely, uh, and uh, and the thing seems seems sort of hampered by it. Um, Altan, you uh, down at the bottom of the stairs there, having now strode, stowed your crossbow, get the opportunity to act again. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Don't. Okay, hang on. There's not a lot I can do. Uh, but what I'm gonna, what I, okay. So here's what I'll do. I am going to go and uh, um, I'm gonna get closer to here. I'm gonna see now. I'm gonna move. Now, when you say the word here, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Have, <laughs> um, you can drive, also. But... Uh, just so all of you know, I just realized this is probably something a lot of you don't know, uh, not having your usual 20, you can long click if you left click on a place and just hold it for a moment, it'll create that little, that little ping. Um, each of you has mm -hmm. your own unique color, uh, which you can change down at the bottom of the screen. Um, and so that's, you know, a way that we'll be able to tell, uh, you know, like Uni, for example, is doing the, uh, sort of turquoise pings. Uh, my pings are apparently this sort of shade of green. And so that's a way that you can kind of say here or here or whatever. Um, gotcha. If you like, okay. yeah. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna post up uh, and 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 hit him with the dagger. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, you uh, much like a, any cleric does, would you you pull your dagger from your fucking little scabbard. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you come at it. Uh, roll your attack. All right. The holy knife of stabbing. Absolutely. Gone are the days when you it. can only wield uh, a mace. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bludgeoning, exactly. bludgeoning yeah, weapons yeah, yeah. were the only <laughs> thing that the clerics used to be able to use. I can't, but I can't even, I can't even use that. So they were yeah. forbidden from drawing blood, so it had to be. No, we, we've we've got ourselves a, a, a dex cleric, which is really yeah. only possible, uh, you know, we in these newer right editions. There. Oh my god! Yeah, you you get yeah. that dagger uh, yeah. in there. The Absolutely. Fuck out of that guy. Yeah, <laughs> right in the armpit. Dagger yeah, you're like let's. Of yours. <laughs> Let's open this can. Let's do it. Uh, roll, uh, roll your damage. Hey, hey, not bad at all. Uh, so your uh, your extra crit damage was an extra one damage, which isn't bad at all. Um, yeah, you uh, <laughs> you just cram your dagger in in the, in the point that's already been kind of bent inward. You you get your dagger in and you just start cutting through the uh, the the metal of this thing. Um, cool. And uh, <laughs> while that's happening, uh, Robin, you're um, you're looking on from the stairs. What are you thinking? Okay, I am gonna have to move forward because I feel like I would not have a clear shot, and I don't want to shoot any of my friends. It's I'm getting a little them. cluttered up there. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to move forward, um, and I can use my rapier. We've got some space. We've got some space, but not oh, enough yeah. for bow. Getting so. in there. 
Yeah. So yeah, you just kind of like drop your bow onto the stairs, you know, clatters down a couple steps uh, so that you can, uh, you know, dash up the stairs and, and get your, uh, your, your weapon out in time. Your rapier, is it? Yep. Um, oh, however, uh, yeah, you, you sort of clang it against the armor and, um, and you just sort of underestimate just how hard the thing still is, even after being softened by your allies. Um, uh, Laszlo. Uh, yeah, so I just keep on uh, hitting it with the spear. I'm not um, going to drop the lantern so that the place doesn't catch fire. So I'll keep are, we, one are, we, are we using uh, the flanking optional rule? And does he have advantage on these attacks as a result? Um, I, I don't really use the flanking rule. I think it's a okay. little bit too potent. Um, no problem. But... Uh, okay. A regular roll. Yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, the spear, once again, just being in your offhand, it's, it feels a little unwieldy. Uh, but, um, yeah, if you want to get that lantern involved again, uh, go for yeah, it. Yeah, of course. The, the, the lantern's better than a spear anyways. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. yeah <laughs> well, absolutely. Your dominant hand is putting in the, the work. Is this, this, is a, this is some Jackie Chan stuff. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you... Uh, you take this lantern, and, uh, with the thing's <laughs> helm turned, you're able to jam your lantern kind of into the, the sort of open, uh, you know, where the face would be of the thing, uh, and you, uh, you, you go to just sort of, like, you know, hit this thing with the lantern, and you end up knocking the helmet off. There's, like, a lot of resistance, but the thing fly, you know, falls backward, uh, and, uh, and the entire suit of armor just collapses to the ground, uh, as if it were just being held up by a string that was just cut. See? I knew this lantern would come in handy. I <laughs> you need to hang on to that thing for the rest of this campaign, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Ditch the spear. Everything a, is lantern. I will What's bless the lantern? hell out of that lantern, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Um, yeah, so, you, uh, destroy this sort of animated suit of armor. Uh, yeah, there's something about, uh, since you went up the steps to this floor, uh, everything seems like it's a lot more sort of disrepair. Um, you know, there's, uh, oil lamps are mounted on the oak paneled walls, which are carved with woodland scenes of trees, falling leaves, and tiny critters. Um... Uh, but there's something about them that seems, I don't know, mildly off-putting out of the corner of your eye. That suit of oh, armor is really at... dangerous. I hope those kids are... Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, those little demon kids are fine. Fucking demon kids. All right, I'm going to go get my uh, bow. And yeah, kids okay, absolutely. Grew up talk in about this that. house or <laughs> they got something wrong with them. So I just uh, open the door that's straight, straight below me. Hello! I push it open. <laughs> I'm gonna you go up and open nothing. that door. Can we cure? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Can we make sure that people are cured here? Like, yeah. I, I can actually. Yeah. Does anybody? Does anybody need some? Uh, anybody? Everybody yeah. okay? Uh, the I mean, only wounded person is just throwing doors open. So I think uh, he, yeah. he seems fine. Hold on for a goddamn second. Sorry. Fine. Fine. We're what okay. is? Okay. It's just just a flesh wound. Just a flesh wound. Okay. Okay. And he's very certain that is the case. Okay. We're not. Um, He's fine? Are you sure? Yeah, eight of 12 hit points. No, so, so I took a little bit okay. of damage. If you have, you have a number of expendable healing Whoa. healing things, it's fine. But uh, unless we want to rest for an entire hour, I, I, I think we can just keep forging ahead. I, I do have a quick question, Rox. I'm so sorry Indeed. to interrupt. Um, I have but one little cantrip on here, and it's, mm -hmm. I am pretty sure there's supposed to be more than that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. I uh, I, I added, uh, I checked off spells. I forgot about your cantrips. Yeah, sorry about that. Not a problem, not a problem. So, uh, because this is my first time playing Roll20, uh -huh. I, I know that there's a, there's like, you know, temp import spells, items, classes, and stuff like that in the... Uh, in the uh, yep, yep, stuff. yeah, you can, um, you can uh, temp import uh, a list of spells, just type each spell, check it off, uh, and then once you click import, uh, you can drag them directly onto your character sheet, and they'll stay on the character sheet. Um, okay. The number of cantrips that you have access to, are, uh, you have three of them uh, on top of light, which you know uh, as a racial ability. Okay, okay. So I'll go take a look at that, and if I have any problems, I will interrupt again. Do you <laughs> have a good. healing? Do you have a healing spell as a cantrip? 
That's what I'm looking for. Uh, no, right. no healing is a cantrip, unfortunately, in right. this particular edition because cantrips are infinitely yeah. castable. How many? Um, okay. So many healing are... generally requires a spell slot. Now, keep in mind, um, Tass does also have the innate ability to heal himself. Um, and it I recharges be... whenever I take we take a short rest, but a short rest is an entire hour. Yeah. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, so, so yeah, I'm my... basically sitting on a D, D10 plus one uh, self heal. Yeah, so once he gets low, he's able to heal himself up. Um, also, I believe um, I believe that both uh, Alton and Faraday have the ability to, uh, like, a, a sort of limited ability to lay on hands, if I'm not mistaken. You both have, like, innate healing powers. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, some Asimar stuff oh, that goes on. Wait, where oh, is that again? Uh, on your character sheet. <laughs> uh, in your list of I'm, uh, abilities. Oh, um, light? Oh, here we go. And everyone with magical healing and me, I'm just a guy. Yeah, so you have yeah. a single... I am healing light. That's why I was getting, I was getting healing. healing light mixed oh, up wait, with shoot. pure wounds. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, so healing light is... You have a, a two D6s. You can either spend them both with one action or spend them each individually. So you can heal two D6. Uh, Altan can can lay on hands for like a couple hit points, I think. Like four uh, or something. Number five. hit points equal to your level. So yeah. Okay, just one, one HP. A, a hit yeah. point? <laughs> yeah, uh, Well, that's point. the well, difference between zero and... and one hit points... Uh, are uh, drastic um yeah. so that is a very very useful ability to have um yeah so you guys all have some sort of different healing abilities at the moment um you know tobias I, is just throwing open doors um and in I, doing I so if you wanted to uh, to top up my hit points with hit point of healing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i feel like we're like let me use some let me try to help you and he just walks away so I yeah pretty much <laughs> he's like help <laughs> kicks a door open uh dust and cobwebs um shroud an elegantly appointed uh bedroom um there are uh double doors set with panes of stained glass that look like uh you can see sort of like the you know the mist swirling outside of them uh, and then, then there's another little uh, little side door in here. Um, the uh, the bedroom, there's like a large bed, a couple end tables, a wardrobe. Uh, there's a full-length mirror with an ornate wooden frame uh, that, uh, you know, kind of looks like ivy and berries. Um, and, uh, yeah. Sweet. Um, mm -hmm. if you want to check out the room, they're welcome to, but I'm searching. I'm going. <laughs> uh, sorry, which door? Uh, You're opening the double doors there? The double doors. Okay. Did we also go up at the same time? Uh, so they, uh, they lead out to, um, uh, a balcony that overlooks the front of the house. Um, the mist <laughs> kind of <laughs> enshrouds the town. You can't see, you can only see maybe... Five, ten feet away from the house itself before it's just thick thick opaque mist um but although it's chilly and like you can kind of feel the moisture on your on your skin out here there's um it's not sort of uh dangerously uh chilly uh on this balcony i don't know what you were talking about it's really not that cold out <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what happened that's weird it was, it was cold earlier you know <laughs> Just a little bit of movement warmed you up. <coughs> Why don't you yeah, do a yeah, long sure, rest sure. out there, and then. Uh... <laughs> so, um, there a uh, door right under Altan, I believe. Um. Yes. Yes. Uh, Altan is standing directly in front of a door. Um, there's also uh, a window into that room from outside. Um, but it's um. Uh, you can't like really see through it. Did we okay. open the doors going up? Oh, uh, you guys are opening the doors up there? Sounds yeah, good. Going, uh, up. Um, so, uh, the double doors uh, that lead to this room have, like, dusty plane, panes of stained glass set into them. Um, and uh, this room, it's like a dusty, cobweb-filled master bedroom. Um, there's burgundy drapes covering the windows. Uh, there's a four-poster bed with embroidered curtains and tattered gossamer veils, a matching pair of wardrobes, a uh, vanity uh, with a wood-framed mirror and jewelry box, and a padded chair. There's a rotting tiger skin rug that lies on the floor in front of the fireplace. Uh, the uh, And the fireplace has a dust-covered portrait of who you now know to be Gustav and Elizabeth Durst hanging above it. 
Um, a web-filled parlor uh, is in the southwest corner, uh, which contains a table and a couple chairs. And uh, resting on the dusty tablecloth is an empty porcelain bowl and matching jug. I'm going for the jewelry box. <laughs> uh, sounds I'm good. Not in there, so I can uh, the, there's a little door that faces the foot of the bed that has a full-length mirror mounted on it as well. Uh, there's a little dumb waiter in the corner. Um, opening the jewelry box, you see uh, the jewelry box itself looks valuable. Um, it's got Ooh. like it's made of silver with gold filigree. Um, and opening it up, you see three gold rings and a thin platinum necklace with a topaz pendant. Okay. Um, all of which look uh, valuable. Um, if you are planning on pocketing that, I will place it in chat there so that it can be added to the party before. loot or your inventory yep. or whatever you'd like to do with it. Yep. I'm taking this. <clears throat> just grab it before all time gets over here. Yep. Sounds good. <laughs> no, we are just doing fine now. These people are dead. And so uh, I want to check this closet down where we are, or this room, whatever it is. Okay. So uh, it's a room attached to a bedroom. So what else could it be? But. Indeed. Uh, so you open it up, and um, there oh. is a. Uh, uh, hang on, I'm having to jump around a lot because you guys are in different rooms. <laughs> no um, yeah. So there's. Uh, it looks like a nursery. Um, the. Uh, uh, it contains a crib um, covered with a hanging black shroud. <laughs> Where? Oh, the stillborn. Oh, nothing kid. in here. <laughs> no. Um. So you uh mm. you step into the room, okay. And yeah, I do. something happens. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, um, so, so so so. I did step into the room, but just oh, okay. walking so away. That, but that happened if something happens, then we can right. handle this. <laughs> um. So from in the room uh behind you guys, uh an apparition appears, and uh flies right at uh the two of you um roll initiative oh my gosh oh uh, hell do we hear okay. anything um, um i shriek and you would hear that <laughs> <laughs> yes there's two shrieks um one from this creature and another from uh tobias, tobias. should we roll initiative as well Two Absolutely, yeah, yeah, hundred well. percent. <laughs> okay, uh, real quick. So I imported the the cleric cantrips. Where are they, and where do I drag them in? <laughs> um, so uh, you you probably closed that little window um, that it first did. opens. So if you click the temp import button again, um, uh -huh. it'll pop open, and it'll have the list of spells already imported there. And the little green spells you drag them into your character sheet. Yeah, anything with a green okay, background okay. is drag and drop. Sweet. It'd be great if, like, damn, I have to keep adjusting this thing. It's weird. And and just just so you're aware, I do have the ability. Um, when I'm aware of the creature and and stuff, may uh, attack. I can impose attack a ally next to me. I can impose mm -hmm. disadvantage in that role. Excellent. So that's that's a shield of fighting style protection. Uh, yes, that is very good so to I know. I can help protect other people too. Uh, yeah, so this this apparition appears. Uh, we got initiative. Um, and uh, Tass, you are you like see this thing and are uh, quick on the draw. If you like, you okay. can roll a religion check um, to try and uh, see if you know what this is. Otherwise, uh, you know, I don't. You, either way, you can <laughs> act know. as normal. Um, yeah, it, it resembles like a terrified, skeletally thing, thin uh, young woman, and uh, it it sort of like just shrieks mindlessly at you uh, when you step into the nursery. There is no doubt in our minds that it is uh, aggressively going to attack us. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no doubt whatsoever. Yeah, you're just like this is. Needs comfort. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you suspect. You don't feel like you could reason with this, even you know, even with your intelligence. This thing's, uh, you know, the look of of like a, a predator, you know, or a, you know, something that is hostile. All of your training awesome. has led to this moment. So, oh, okay, is it my turn right now? <laughs> yep. I see. Well, I'm going to. Uh, can I walk? Yeah, I should be able to walk over that difficulty uh, through all time space and over here. 
without provoking the attack of opportunity. And then, do do do. Let me just make sure. <laughs> Okay, so I, I apologize, by the way, to all those uh, in chat. I am reading chat, um, but it's very, very challenging to, uh, you know, <laughs> interact while doing everything else. <laughs> I will uh, take a swing with my Warhammer. Attempt to uh, bring the shrieking creature to its uh, proverbial knees. Um, all right. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? Um, uh, yeah, okay. So you uh, swing at this thing and... So you, you sort of hit it with your Warhammer, and it's like your swing doesn't just go through it. There's resistance, but uh, you're, you're not, like, hitting an opaque thing with this weapon. Um, kind of so, you them. know, you feel like this, this attack is, is certainly harming it, but this isn't like when, you, when you've been smashing on a suit of armor. Um, roll well, damage. Dark. My uh, Warhammer continues passing through it. Want to make sure you don't uh, get caught in the crossfire. Uh, yeah, there's enough resistance that you're not uh, you're not following <laughs> okay. through and harming an ally. <laughs> um, Whoa. Yeah, so you uh, you do some damage to it. Um, uh, Faraday, you hear shrieking from the other room. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> go like, for it. You I have could... 30 feet of movement. Every square is a five foot step. So you can think of them in terms of uh, five foot squares and you with 30 feet, or you can think of them as tiles uh, and you can move through six of them, uh, whatever makes most sense to you. That uh, was five, go for right? it. Yes. Okay, um, and can I attack in the same turn then? You absolutely can. However, uh, if you get that close to where you're adjacent to the enemy, if you make a ranged attack, it's going to have disadvantage because of your proximity to it and just the fact that you have to, you know, cast the spell while defending yourself. Oh, is there a way to? But I, yeah, but I wouldn't be able to hit it from here, right? Um, you could, but it would have a bonus to its armor class quite a bit. Um, it would have a plus five bonus to its armor class uh, from all of the cover that it's got. Um, but Plus five AC, disadvantage, I don't know. It's hard to say which is worse. Um, you could also make a melee attack if you like uh, when you're up close. Uh, but, um, oh, roll, roll religion if you like uh, to see if you know anything about this creature. Sure. My intelligence is garbage. So. Uh, yeah, you're like, holy fuck, this is some kind of spirit. Yeah, you, yeah, you could. That thing uh, yeah, if you attack it in melee, you won't have disadvantage. Um, so that's an option, okay. uh, but either I mean, either one, it's totally up to you. Yeah, I mean, I can I can hit it with my dagger or attempt to hit it with my dagger. That's fine. <laughs> Couldn't hurt, right? Or it could. Supposed to. Anyway, how'd I do? Um, you absolutely, yeah, you go to stab it with your dagger and it just, it kind of passes through it, but you're, you can tell it's like, it's somewhat harmed. Um, yeah, for, the, you can uh, roll damage. Roll damage. Yeah. Roll damage, roll damage. Click on damage. Oh, oh click on the word dagger. Do. Yeah, exactly. Ah. Yeah. Max damage. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right Criminal scum. <laughs> Fight it late at the law. So uh, the uh, the apparition um, attacks Alton, uh, who was the, the sort of nearest person. My reaction to impose disadvantage. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you took the uh, disadvantage one as opposed to the reduced damage one. I, I never changed it to the reduced damage one. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, cool. So as it goes to attack your ally, you you kind of get your your shield in there um, to uh, aid him, and it uh, reaches out toward him. Um, and it, it's just sort of like, as it goes for him, uh, your shield just gets in the way and it, it's just sort of like hits the shield and, um, it doesn't manage to harm your ally. Um, uh, Robin, you can hear, uh, all kinds of, uh, you, you hear some shrieks and then like, you know, the shouting and drawing of weapons from the other room. Okay. I'm going to head that way. Um, you said we have 30 feet, right? Yes. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to make it there. So it's 10, 20, 30. Yeah, I'm going to make it just to the door. Uh, yeah, 25 feet would put you there. Um, and you can attack it with a ranged weapon. Um, it'll just have plus 5 AC because you're, you're having to shoot past the wall and past an ally and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a tough shot. Um, uh, if you like, you can roll a religion check to see if you know anything about this creature as well. Okay, why not? Why not? Um... 
uh, yeah, so you don't have advantage, so your seven is, uh, you're basically like, wow, this thing's floating and partially see-through. This is, yeah, some kind of apparition, right? I've heard of these. Um, go ahead and, uh, make your attack. Okay. All right. G good luck. Cross your fingers. No. <laughs> I tried. Uh, I tried. Yeah, so unfortunately, uh, your arrow just sticks into the wall, um, like sort of right next to it. Uh, um, but uh, you were close. Um, Laszlo, you're in the other room. Yeah. You're also hearing the sounds of battle occurring. So I move... Ah. I move here, which I guess is the furthest I can go. Uh, yeah, it's about 20 here? feet, so you're you're kind of um, at a bit of a choke point. Um, I believe you have a ranged weapon of some sort? Yeah, I just got a hand crossbow that was given to me right. from the loading. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I believe... I'm not sure that a monk is proficient efficient with a no, hand I'm crossbow not. um so I'm you not. can absolutely attack uh but you don't add your proficiency bonus and yeah, it's got plus five ac um yeah but um. uh you know <laughs> go ham right i mean do i roll religion oh yes yes absolutely yeah you can roll religion to see if you know anything about what this thing is oh. ah so this is a specter yeah you um you're certainly familiar with the uh, concept. Uh, thanks for the host, Kim. Uh, you are, um, yeah, you you know, so these are like undead creatures and basically, uh, yeah, they're just like angry spirits. So, that, you know, oh. this is someone who's been like prevented from going to the afterlife for some reason. Um, and, you know, just like, uh, you know that it's, it's a creature that's like incorporeal, you know, it kind of okay. exists in two places. And so just like a mundane weapon, uh, or even your fists are going to, uh, you know, it, mechanically speaking, it has res re resistance to, uh, non-magical yeah. attacks. And so, okay. um, you can still harm it, but, uh, yeah, you, you'd have, um, uh, a tough, you know, you don't have access to any magic, so it's about all you can do. Okay. Um, you also know these things, like, they can, like, move through walls and floors and shit like that. You know, it's, it's like, because of its sort of dual nature. Okay. So, I'll, can I talk to the party during my turn? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can say at least a little bit, for sure. Yeah. Wait. Whoa, there's a specter here. Spirits between worlds. I wonder what's wrong. Be careful. Uh, we sh if anybody can, maybe use magic. And then Kill I just take out my... Then I just take out my crossbow and I and I shoot. Well, you guys, let's use magic. I... <laughs> <laughs> Roll an attack. Well, defending with my shield. I wonder why they call it the spectator. Yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, I added a hand crossbow because that's the one I got, I think. Is that what it yep, was called? Yep, exactly. Okay. Yeah, you can also click the little uh, cog in or, and uncheck uh, proficient yeah, and it'll I remove your proficiency already, bonus. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I yeah, you're, you're on it. You know what's up. Okay. Um, <laughs> sick. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Time <laughs> wound. <laughs> so in oh, uh, sort of <laughs> grabbing your crossbow and, uh, you know, trying to get everything ready, um, you your uh, lamp drops to the ground and uh lights the carpet on fire um and you don't yeah, even get the opportunity to, to fire a shot <laughs> off um so you're you're stomping out that fire uh and we go to alton's turn <laughs> all right so, so you uh, may want to file I'll, into the room to give give people some room if you uh you have the chance uh could be in just a second um because there's something else i gotta do that would that would make that bad you can also make a religion <laughs> check uh thank you so much hibiscus yes. i really appreciate that by the way all right, wait, I'm on the wrong... Okay, yeah, I need to be core. Okay. Yeah. Um, boop -a -doop -a -doop. Religion, work, religion, religion, religion. <laughs> Just up in this guy's place, fucking up his rugs. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Some creepy paper, creepy paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 16. Um, so, with with what? religion oh uh yeah yeah so you know this is a specter um yeah it's resistant to non-magical attacks um and but uh yeah magic would uh would probably do just fine on it um uh let me know what spell you're thinking of before you cast it uh i i think you'll also kind of know a little bit about what there's a couple elements that might not uh you know harm it all that well oh do i know that right off the bat 
Um, well, like, only if it's pertinent. Here, so, like, um, let me know. Uh, <laughs> or let me know what uh, what okay. you were thinking. And um... oh, I'm 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 about to I'm about to I'm about to burn him. I'm about to burn him with my hands. Oh, mm. is that like a uh, fire damage or? That is a fire damage. Yes. Uh, so, um, yes, you uh, you actually do happen to know uh, that a uh, a specter is resistant to fire. Um, Son of so, a biscuit uh, eater. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go radiant then. All right. <laughs> ah, now radiant damage. That's a whole other thing. Okay. Go for right it. Right on. Well then, good because that's an, that's a cantrip as opposed to a first level spell. Yay! So, <laughs> yes. All uh, right. Kermit so, uh, GM here. Yeah, Kermit, Kermit, EGM. All right, Kermit. All right, so uh, I uh, uh, so, uh, hold the holy symbol lock. Ah, oh, back specter and uh, sacred flame it up. Um, so excellent. Uh, well, why don't you uh, go ahead and roll an attack then? Okay, so wait, do I how do I roll that attack? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, one moment, please. There we go. Boom. Ah. Oh, yes, that's right. It's a uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so the dex save, uh, it fails. Um, you uh, oh, wait, you do your fails? eight yeah, radiant fails. damage, and... Um... Yep, <laughs> ah, yes, thank you. Yeah, yes. Uh, hard to keep track of um, whether I'm a frog or not. Um, <laughs> but I can, in fact, confirm that at the moment... I've got someone's hand up my ass. Um, you... Uh, <laughs> You strike the creature with radiant damage. Um, it uh, it seems to uh, wince at the uh, the bright light that you create. Um, it uh, it doesn't seem to like it at all, and uh, it is absolutely harmed. Uh, would you like to move mm. during your turn, or are you finished? I do. I'm going to be going back and around over here. Um, here, yes. Mm. Ah, perfect. All right, uh, Tobias. Yes. What would you like to do on your turn? Um, moment, by the way. I want to just shift over right here, and uh, my best option is to continue to use my Warhammer. And so this way I'm gonna, going to be within uh, shielding anyone else who's walking into uh, where Altum was. So. Uh, good call. Awesome. With that, let me... Badoop. There's the Warhammer. Uh, yeah, you and... strike it with your Warhammer. Uh as much as possible and uh yeah you feel like ah oh, man if only you know you you kind of like hit it right in the head and it kind of passes through and the thing like you know you could tell it it, it feels it. it it turns around and and uh, wheels in your direction uh oh. faraday okay can i like move over here without it getting me can um I, like... if you do move out of its range like that it will get a free attack against you yeah uh, the problem is, like, I I get a disadvantage if I'm within Five melee, or if, yeah. right, if I, I get a disadvantage using spells if I'm within melee range. Correct? That's true. Okay. Yeah, it's, Even uh... Even if I move, can I, I can't move over here, like, next to his shield or something? Um, since it's not my turn, I could give it disadvantage on... Potentially. On what? Right. Uh, on its attack. So if you like, uh, well, if you if you provoke an attack by moving out of its range, uh, I think uh, what Tobias is saying is he could he could get his shield in there and and uh, and give it disadvantage. So it it it'll make it a little harder for it to hit you. Yeah, because at this right now I've got a disadvantage to hitting it with my magic because I mm -hmm. am too close to it. Correct. Um, the For range, uh, range spell attacks. Oh. Yeah, spells, you'll you'll I have a ranged attack. Yeah, you'll have disadvantage with like Eldritch Blast. Oh, or or Sacred Flame. I have as well. Actually, Sacred mm. Flame's not a ranged attack. That one. Oh, it's not. Okay. So that that's the one that Senator just used. Yeah, I just I just decided oh, to do a dex. Okay, but that's not a ranged attack. Okay, sorry, I was mixed up. It it okay. has range, but it's not like a, a a bolt that you launch at it. Okay, well mm -hmm. then I'll just stay where I'm at and use that. Unless okay. I'm in somebody's way or something. Uh, sorry, which which uh, one are you using? I uh. I want to use Sacred Flame because that seemed to do real. I saw I saw Senator do it, and it seemed to look 
<laughs> like it did something good, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, sounds good. Yeah, you you've got sacred flame. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, you can use it at range. However, uh, it's like the opponent trying to dodge as opposed to you trying to hit. It, it just functions a little differently. So, yeah, you, uh, you're you going to fire it off. Uh, so, yeah, uh, throw it down. Okay. Um, and so on. it uh, it fails its dexterity save. And so, yeah. yeah, you create this, like, brilliant radiance and uh, the thing, like... <laughs> disperses um from uh from within the light oh cool oh killing blow it seems that way nice oh. i look yeah. around and sort of inspect the floor knock on it a little bit to see i guess this angle... seems sturdy yeah uh oak fire heavy out? Uh, yeah, yeah. So he, uh, uh, Laszlo is able to stamp out the last little bit of flame. Okay. Um, okay. There's other uh, lanterns, you know, um, in, in just even this foyer, there's unlit lanterns. So he's able to quickly, you know, replace the lantern, relight it. Maybe switch it to his offhand. Um. <laughs> you need me to light, you need to bless, bless that for you. Yeah. You know, I guess this good guy stuff isn't so bad all the time. I mean, at least I was able to use that. Yeah, it's, I, I knew you'd come around. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, I mean, like, if I can journey... use it to kill stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so was this? Yeah, specter... that's kind of the point. I'm You're... sorry. Go on. <laughs> was the specter? I bet they're called spectators because it was hangs it out in this protecting bedroom. Protecting something, or was it that was, it was an adult specter, right? It wasn't the child. Uh, yeah, so it seemed to be like a, a young woman, but not a child. Uh, she was like skeletally thin, um, mm. and. Uh, yeah, seemed like uh, terrified and and angry, um, and uh, yeah, you weren't here when it manifested, so you're not quite sure sort of what what caused that. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, it's it, it came about when we opened the door. Mm -hmm. well, we should probably check out that room with in, yep. in here. In okay. here. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Here. Well, you go first. There. I'll follow. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm dumb. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there's a crib in here that's covered with a hanging black shroud oh oh and that's pretty much it born kid oh 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 yeah so oh, let me go we'll let me go him. i yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna look at it and see if i can um if i can <laughs> like toll the dead or anything uh like so you uh you part the shroud and you see a tightly wrapped little baby-sized bundle lying in the crib mm. Ew, I wonder how long that's been there. <laughs> Gross. Uh, um, let's see. Oh no, that's that's damage. Okay. Uh, I, I uh, or something? yeah. So the so is it, we cannot see the kiddo, right? It's wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a little. Uh, okay. Okay. Little bundle. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say some words. Because we're not going outside of Barry yet. That just can't happen. Um. Oh, what was the there's something I can do that'll prevent it from like it's it's just a it's funeral rites, funerary rites. Um hang on. Kazoo. Was it I mean, can uh, we tell if it was like, used in some kind of a ritual or something? There's like gentle repose, uh ceremony, um Yes, ceremony. Yeah, you go to uh sort of like you go to to do so uh to start this ritual and uh you need to unwrap it enough to sort of see uh the, mm -hmm. the you know thing to cast it and but when you unwrap the blanket the there's room. nothing inside of it it's just a little tightly wrapped oh. little baby sized bundle that Guys, that's just no, a blanket there's no baby there's no baby right. i can't do i can't do rights no no corpse no rights so. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Right there, bud. Yeah, totally. Uh, so I'm gonna poke around in the uh, in the crib itself uh, for see if there's anything else floating around. Any... That's Just it for loot. <laughs> That's it. Okay. No, yeah. Go, right. I got any possessions that I want. Yeah, any of the ba I gotta run through the baby's pockets to look for loose change. So. Oh my! <laughs> How much experience for the commoner I killed? Um, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> But yeah, so nothing, nothing in, in the here. baby's inventory. Hello, and yeah, I push yeah. open the next door. <laughs> sure. Um, My so God, dude, where are you going? <laughs> this dark room Every, contains everywhere. He's he's everywhere. <laughs> this dark room here. contains a wooden tub with clawed feet, a small iron stove with a kettle resting atop it, and a barrel under a spigot in the east wall. Uh, a cistern on the roof, um, you know, is likely uh, 
you know, used to sort of collect rainwater to provide, uh, you know, um, some running water to the place. Uh, but when you go and, and check out the spigot and stuff, the, the plumbing seems to no longer work. Do the claws look anything like wolf's claws? Just curious. <laughs> Mm. Do those are bear the... claws. Those are bear claws. Okay. Sorry, bear claws. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of resemblance from what you know about uh, about wolves. Uh, that yeah, you're like this. This is these are probably wolf claws. Totally. I eyed the bathtub suspiciously, and then I. Then you what? Leave the room. Oh, okay. cool. Okay. May I open the door? Below? Maybe I shut the door behind me. Um. Yeah. So you open that little door. Um. It's a, uh, just an empty dust choked closet. Uh, there's a, a full length mirror mounted on the, on the door that you open to, to, um, uh, there's a mirror on the door. Yeah. Okay. And we have one more door over here. Uh, or yeah. So that is just, um, itself. just leads to an, uh, an outside balcony. And again, People you know, really you can't. Like their balconies. You can't see far and through the mist. That's nice to have, have a little bank balcony you... off the bedroom, you know. Oh, oh it's nice. I like, I, I like her. Work around the bedroom. Oh, I'm in the bed. No, I don't want that. I'm really gross. I kind of this... look around the bedroom and see if there's. Oh God, it was the... like looking over at you and and seeing that horrifying. Like I'm looking away. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I like see if there's any like? Oh, dear Lord, can I see if there's any? <laughs> <laughs> anything like <laughs> so disturbing um any like interesting stuff or like uh in the room oh. yeah i know that uh you see that back. there's like a uh, um a uh, a dusty vanity and there's like a spot where it looks like something once sat like there would have been a jewelry box or something there where there's no dust I was um, in the room when that happened, so I know. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's a pretty sneaky rogue. Um, the, uh, I was like, you should take that. <laughs> yeah, you kind of start investigating, looking around. Um, you you notice... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, not not much really. There's not much going on in this room. You know, there's... Um, uh yeah i think uh there's a little you know dumb waiter uh you know you open that up it's a there's a little button on the wall next to the dumb waiter um is there anything and, in the dumb waiter uh oh, no it's waiters. just like the dumb waiter column like it's uh you could see the little uh rope and pulley system That's uh the weird. dumb waiter must be below we didn't, here, see that we didn't see an downstairs. entrance elsewhere no yeah. no there were there were uh there were two on on the the, the two levels what? below us. There okay. was one in the kitchen and then there was one. Oh, really? <laughs> Wouldn't it be weird really? that went to the was basement? There, was there a way to get to the basement? Because we no. went upstairs. No. Not that we found. No. I'm going to bring the dumbwaiter up. We couldn't go down the stairs. It's a good idea. I'm going to see what's in it. Um, sure, yeah. It, it's uh, There's just a dumbwaiter. Yeah, it's um, a little less dusty than the rest of the place because it's been like closed, uh, you know, closed door. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, just a dusty little, little dumbwaiter. Um, you suspect maybe if you were smaller, you might be able to kind of like squeeze in there, but um, yeah, yeah, it's but not. If I it's bring not it up, there's mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. in it. Nope, nope. It's an empty dumb okay. waiter. Yeah, um, okay. yeah. The little uh, button, um, sort of on the wall. You suspect probably like rings a little bell or something like that um, down in the kitchen. It's kind of like a common uh, design. Common setup. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I investigate the walls? Maybe find something in this random room that's completely empty. In the closet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You you okay. thoroughly investigate the closet. Um, it is the yeah, just dust. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh. The. Um. Uh. Yeah. Uh, Altan. Uh. Sort of wandering around the bedroom over there. You. Uh, yeah. You notice, um... I'm, they're, not, they're not getting anywhere over there. I'm going down here. <laughs> you notice that when you, you... You're just kind of looking around, inspecting stuff, and you see the, uh, yeah. the mirror on the, uh, on the east wall has, um... You know, at it's first nice. it looked like there was kind of ivy and berries, um... Uh, around it, um, and... Okay. But looking at it closer, you start to see there's, like, little eyeballs among the berries, almost like a weird little, um... 
uh, you know, like a hidden, just strange. They're just like weird kind yeah, of something, eyeballs something's up somebody. instead of being berries. Eyeballs move to follow me. Well, when you're looking at some, you see one, at least one of them is kind of like a. Uh, it looks like it's um, squishy. It's like a, it's been placed there. Like there's like a separation, like as if it's like a little button or something. Um, and all right, so uh, I'm gonna call everybody over. I sure. Just call them. Hey I'm guys, like looking guys. over your shoulder. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna look so over your I, shoulder I, and be like, "What the hell is that?" I turn, I turn around and uh, and 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 Kim is there. I'm like, ah, what the? <laughs> <Don't sneak. laughs> this mirror only has I eyes for you. Being particularly sneaky, yeah. buddy. Like you're just bad. No, I'm just. Kidding. Yeah, I yeah. <laughs> I have a um, perception. So pushing on right, one of these yeah, little so eyeballs, um, there's a little like clunk, and the. Uh -huh. uh, the mirror kind of swings in to a cobweb-filled wooden staircase that leads upward. Ooh. Hey, Tobias, That's you want to go, want to go check about. that out and want to take point? I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello! <laughs> okay. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm not very smart, but I also know that, like, Tobias really thinks he's smart, so I'm going to let him. Well, I got this. We're just trying to find the people who live here so we can help their kids. Yeah, exactly. Hello, and I uh, once once I get to the door, I push it up and uh, step inside. How do I get? I'm trying to figure out how to get in there. Sounds good. Oh, um, uh, it says to put you there. Yeah, this so this bare hall okay. is like is choked with dust and cobwebs. Can you get me into wherever I'm supposed to be going? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, I, I I moved you, but yeah, if you're moving your tokens around when I move you, then it it like undoes it. He has to steal it from you to move you to a uh, section. Throw the cleric down the dumb way just, holes. <laughs> just gonna go to this first yeah, door and push it open. Sorry, my head. Uh, so is that that one door uh, is the only one that seems to have uh, a padlock on it. It's held shut. Well, this is Wait, impossible. Robin? <laughs> be nice if we also had a key. Huh. Oh, we don't need no sticking looking key. at uni. Huh. <laughs> oh, is that a locked but, but door? But don't say looking at uni because I have no idea. No. Well, there's a padlock. Also, it could be picked, probably. But... Yeah, I yeah. could do it. I lost. Do you and meanwhile, you just <laughs> go and, and push another door open. Uh, your which one? The one that's uh, above or below your your token? I go up. Same wall. Hi, Cal. Um, <clears throat> same wall. Okay. okay. <laughs> so uh this web filled room contains a slender bed a nightstand a rocking chair a wardrobe and a small iron stove so web filled room pose a fire hazard let me keep my torch back a little bit <laughs> um no not like a massive one uh you suspect um you know if you were to light any of the cobwebs they'd probably just like like flash fry and and uh okay probably go so quick that there wouldn't be the opportunity for anything and you know there's nothing super combustible in this room okay and um we can see how the uh the lock's going uh yeah I, okay. I i take the key and i try to open it using the key perfect yeah it opens a little padlock oh no one no one questions that like why do i have a key <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even there yet i'm still did anyone see if they got the key or no makes sense to me keys go in goes keys go in locks <laughs> Uh, so you're opening up the door? Yeah, I'm opening the door. Like I live here, just like put the key in uh, the door. Cool. <laughs> I'm actually going to be... Uh, so this room oh. contains a bricked up window flanked by two dusty wood framed beds sized for children. Closer to the door is a toy chest with windmills painted on its sides and a dollhouse that's a perfect replica of the dreary edifice in which you stand. These furnishings are draped in cobwebs. Lying in the middle of the floor are two small skeletons wearing tattered but familiar clothing. The smaller of the two cradles, the smaller of the two cradles, a stuffed doll that you also recognize. Look, just because they're a spirit does not mean they're demons. I know that your background makes you prejudiced. Okay? I don't know. Do we right. know that it's the same kids from outside? I feel like your background makes you prejudiced. Oh. They, didn't, they didn't look like this outside. I don't think it's them. I sit outside of the room. It's them. <laughs> Tobias, right, can I don't... we give them their last rights? Can we? Yeah. Can we uh, put wait, them I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even in there yet. Do you, do you guys say anything? 
hey, hey, we we need the cleric. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll pop on in here. Call the locksmith. Oh my uh, god! You're like, no. You're like, oh my god! So oh. And I'm like, ha ha! I fucking told you, man! I told you. They're dead. Oh, well, good thing I got the. Good thing we stole those crossbows. Um, um you <laughs> can. <clears throat> If you like, uh, Senator, you can make a religion check. Anyone can make a religion check. Um, yeah. But you can make a religion check with advantage, if you like, because of the fact that you worship uh, sort of a god of like life and renewal. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Do, 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 do. I will take it. And a second time. Okay. I mean, yeah, oh, wait, you, you get advantage. Time. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So the first one. Oh, that was medicine. I'm sorry. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> It can be extrapolated. You got it. There, you go. there we go. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So you think, like, obviously, you have seen these children. They must have been some sort of apparition, ghost, spirit, specters of some sort. There's a lot of different different things that that could be. Um, you do suspect that if you were able to sort of lay these uh, remains to rest, that that might be helpful uh, or at least respectful. Um, however, you that would require uh, leaving the house. Yeah, like you'd have to find some soft earth or something, you know, like to okay, uh, okay. to lay them to rest. Um, well, and that's not I, something uh, you have access to at the moment. Gotcha. Well, I will. Uh, um, I will. Oh, sorry, little ones. We can't, can't do anything for <laughs> um, you. Now. You. Uh, I mean, you could bring the remains with you if you wanted. Um, but uh, well, we did find these balconies. <laughs> No, no, way to get no, 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 no. <laughs> we are not, we are, no. <laughs> um, so we can't, we can't, we can't do anything for you now, but, uh, uh if, we could do a quick okay. cremation in the fireplace. Is that, is that acceptable or is that unacceptable? Um, I don't know. You guys have lots of rules. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the uh so the will that you have for the parents sort of details what's to be uh done what's to be done like you know there's all these different things okay, written okay. and uh it uh it sounds like they have like a family tomb mm. somewhere yep not in the house well we have there's deeds. there's no the there's no details beyond that fact Okay, so how how heavy are these? How there's are, like there's a deed to a windmill. I don't know. You haven't been in the backyard, okay, uh, like okay, you know. Okay. Uh, how how uh, how heavy are these remains? And and are they like skeletal or? They're skeletons. Yeah, they're, they they they're it looks skeletons. like they've been dead for a long time. Skeletons. I'm packing them up. I'm packing them up. If they could be if they could be packed up, um, I can I can. Take okay. Care of that. that would that would uh, really that would really sounds good. Me and and my. We could probably happy. use like the oh, bed like clothes. Yeah, use the yeah. bed clothes just, to yeah, wrap yeah, them up. Just make sure it's well sealed. Yeah. So Tobias starts yeah. going to just gather them all up, and and Altan's like, whoa, 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 and like make sure they're separated into two distinct. Yes, thank you. Know, you. Uh, remains. <laughs> um, um, you uh, yeah, you 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 pack up the uh, the remains in a very respectful oh, manner. You can tell which one's which by how brittle they are. Just. <laughs> Jesus. Oh no, that's the one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, given that the padlock to this door was on the outside, um, you suspect yeah, um, they must have probably starved in here. Yeah. Oh, Since yeah, the dollhouse is a replica, I'm going to look at that and see if it can give us any clues about the actual house. Sure. Um, yeah, so you uh, go to um, Maybe it's check a out house. the dollhouse. Look um, <laughs> out windows. You... Um, yeah, there's a bunch of, um, ba, 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 ba. make a perception check for me. Okay. Uh, or uh, investigation, if you prefer, if you're uh, more proficient uh, with that. I imagine David, perception is probably David something David. that most of you are better at, just given that, um, David, awesome. David, yeah. David, so you go through and you, you find, uh, you see, uh, one, there's like a second secret door to that little staircase that you guys uh, went up. But like, there's like a door there that that uh, that you guys haven't discovered. Uh, there's also you see clear as day the door that leads to that little uh, room with all the occult uh, writing and stuff like that. Um, fake occult. <laughs> you oh, yes. also <laughs> see fake occult. that there's a spiral staircase uh, in the house, um, which you guys haven't seen, but the, which you're now uh, aware of um, just over uh, like here to the. Um, uh, and there's a 
Where's a uh, a door that leads into it uh, from the uh, the room that you haven't opened the door to yet, um, like over here. Oh, over there on the left. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So through that door, there's like another little door that leads into a spiral staircase um, that you okay. yeah you uh, you weren't sort of uh, aware of before. Yo, oh, thank you. Great. Um, uh, while you're checking out the dollhouse, um, and you're like turning it and checking it out and stuff, uh, the, um, ghosts, um, of the children appear in the, uh, in the middle of the room. Oh, shoot. Malevolent? Now I know why you didn't need food. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, they don't seem malevolent. They seem to have the same sort of personalities. They, um... Just um, level it. They seem. Oh, I guess they're not demons. They seem they're depressed. Yeah, really, really. They seem pretty sad. <laughs> oh, um, I, so, and. Uh, oh no! I'm so sorry. What? What? Happened? Yeah, the little girl is like, yeah. you know, is like, no, don't take my dollhouse. No, I would never. We're just looking. <laughs> Can you tell us about your dollhouse, kid? <clears throat> <clears throat> Just like it's it's one of my only toys. Beard. Be nice. <laughs> so we heard there are monsters in the basement. How do you get to the basement? Um, she points at the dollhouse, and you uh, you sort of ascertain that, that that spiral staircase that's accessed from up here in the attic seems to go like all the way down through the entire house. Okay. <clears throat> Still not convinced. There's monsters there though. I'm pretty Mon convinced. Monsters, monsters aren't real. It's bias. Don't worry about it. But monsters um, are real. I looked into the heart of them. Uh, the the little uh, uh, girl says, like, you, you're not going to leave us here, are you? And the little boy starts, like, looks like he's going to cry as soon as she says that. We would know. Oh, we're going we're gonna to take little care buddies, of Little buddies, I got you in here. Pointing at the back. Oh, no. <laughs> Rocks. They don't. Yep. Yeah. Can we do an intermission at some point? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Is that something that you'd uh, you'd like to do? Yes, I've had a lot of coffee and I've been sitting here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, you so know. you guys have discovered the staircase that leads downward. Wait, you wait, have wait. um. For a minute. We, you, we, 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 missed uh, a, uh, we missed a secret door uh, mm -hmm. one level below, is that correct? Yeah, but it, it's just a second door that leads into the same staircase that you discovered behind the mirror. Oh, um, like on the other okay, side. Okay, and okay. so, oh, yeah, why don't we that, take okay. uh, a short break? And um, you guys also, having discovered that door, are able to uh, go to level two, if you like. So we could take a short little break. And in that time, uh, if anybody wants to, uh, you know, well, you know, whatever, taking a bio break, grabbing a bite, grabbing some something to drink, um, you can also level up your characters, if you like. Uh, if you guys want, I can quickly add the levels themselves, like the, just the base, like the, the hit points and like all the, all the pertinent uh, class features and stuff. Um, but, you know, if you get new spells or whatever, you'll have to, you know, either whatever, so figure that out. they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That real quickly. Um, sure. Why don't I uh, throw on some song requests so we can uh, just sort of like listen to whatever tunes people want to while we are chilling and we should, working we on that. Give a really big thank you to chat, by the way. Yeah. This is, yeah. And absolutely. Is thank here, you all. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I really ready? appreciate the, 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 like how many people have turned out and are chilling and watching and uh, and just uh, yeah keeping us company during our our uh, sort of. Uh, test stream basically our, our first uh D, D stream here um yeah i'm i'm stoked about all the new people as well thank you so much for all the follows I, i've seen i've been seeing and hearing all the follows uh, i really do appreciate it i apologize for not acknowledging it um i uh yeah i've got i got a lot on my plate <laughs> while running the game oh, and doing on. the stream is are you doing great there's, there's nothing great. going on <laughs> yeah you're not allowed to apologize because um, you're doing amazing you like have done so much work like I holy love crap you're like oh i'm not doing enough work like, yeah. dude chaotic throwing 10 gift subs down oh, into the community nice, thank you so nice. much my dude what? Thank you. uh <laughs> Rolo Sen Phoenix, Lethal Dine, Sun vs. the Moon, uh, Genie Z, Lord Humanity, uh, Super Cricket, uh, Wendy, Buttons and Brews, and Gemini all getting themselves uh, some gift subs. Thank Holy you cow. so much. Holy crap, dude. I really appreciate that for session hype. Uh, yeah, so uh, take off, grab whatever you need to do. I'm going to quickly uh, add, I'm going to drag and drop a, a second level sandwich. of each of your classes onto your character sheets. Tell me if you're doing that Thanks, yourself, everybody. otherwise I'll do that. I'm doing mine myself. You can do You're doing yours? Okay. Doma, 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 Doma! I have a, uh, eight intelligence, so... Um... <laughs>
All right. Oh, it's a hype train. Uh, hype train. Oh my god, you guys! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, Black Roses nice. with the five gift subs. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, Distinct about. Cone, Keegan Nine Souls, uh, Douglas Quaid, Merc Show, Smizzlefritz, <laughs> all getting themselves some gift subs as well. Nice. Uh, Turtles and Arclight and Chaotic and Ren with the biddies. Thank you so much. Holy Tell crap. Me, 666 Yikes. biddies, Ren. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. Um, I'm so happy. I, I, I kind of suspected that a lot of people would just be, uh, you know, just kind of like throwing up a passive lurk, like, oh yeah, I'll support you guys during your during your stream. <laughs> um, I really uh, appreciate that that y'all are are like totally f hanging out and seemingly chatting and engaged and, and uh, being super supportive. See, they have in this world their time. Jesus, black roses. We have level five completed, you guys. This is ridiculous. Yeah! <laughs> Black Roses with a gift sub to the Lone Brit, J Matrix, Phoenixer, uh, Marcy, Ditsy Disaster, and uh, Giblet. That is... Wow. Wow, 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 y'all. Um, and we got a raid. Check crap. it out. Penny Dragons. <laughs> Penny Dragon with a big old raid. Dude. Uh, welcome on in. I see you're also rocking some D&D. Chaotic &D. just got 10. Look at that. Chaotic <laughs> with the 10 gift subs. I tr literally can't keep up. This is this has just gotten out of control. It is official now. Uh, welcome in, all, everyone. Uh, Miss Jawbreaker, uh, Xanfia, um, Rock Rid, Penny Dragon. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. We are in the midst of a hype train. I apologize for all the chaos. Uh, I have a lot of different uh, alerts um, that it's going to cycle through. I've got something like... Uh, uh, 50 alert variations, um, so God. have fun listening to those. Um, we are currently taking a brief intermission. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Arclight, for the uh, redemption. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are currently in the midst of a very brief intermission while a few people take a uh, you know quick bio break. Uh, and in that time, I'm also uh, taking it upon myself to um, level up uh, the characters as they've just hit level two in our we Curse did. of Strahd campaign. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi there. Uh, Penny Dragon, uh, I, I see that you were streaming D&D. Were you the dungeon master as well? Are you also, uh, kind of juggling all the roles? Um, here we go. We're just, uh, importing the... I, I can handle my too wrong. close. You Senators were almost a jiggle sandwich. Info. And your light domain, so let me drag a second level of light domain on there. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Holy crap. Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? Uh, yeah, welcome into the chaos. The next intermission is the next hype train. <laughs> Uh, stream and Strahd is amazing to hell with critical role. Yo, Machine, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. Ah, man, I appreciate all y'all. Holy crap. Well, yeah, what is everyone playing? You guys, why don't you introduce your characters to all of those who... There's the raid alert. <laughs> the alerts are so swamped. Uh, yeah, why don't you guys introduce your uh, characters? Holy Jesus, Black Roses with another 11 gift oh subs. God. What are you doing? Yeah, no, absolutely crazy. We're at like 500% of a level 5 hype train. Oh my god. Rox has a better Kermit voice than Matt Mercer. <laughs> Does he do a Kermit voice? I've actually, I've, I've very, watched, watched very little uh, Critical Role. Um. Oh my goodness. Hang on, we're, we're, uh. Okay, I'm leveling up Kim now. Do, 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 uh, level two warlock. <gasps> Fortunately, I've done this so many, so many times um, that this is uh, this what is, is a, a pretty man? quick process for me. A miserable little I've pile of own. secrets. Uh, we'll add the class variants here. Um, oh, we have to manually do hit points. So I'll, I'll just uh, for those who uh, don't know how that works, let me know. For those who do, feel free to throw on your new hit points. <laughs> oh my god. Leveling up a bunch of characters and... and Oh, there's so much chaos. I, uh... <laughs> god. This is, this is chaotic good, this kind of chaos, by the way. Um... <laughs> 
Kim needs to open the door for the cat. The music's so good. So, um, by the way, all of those who are arriving or hanging or whatever, um, song requests are enabled. So if you have any music you want to listen to, uh, throw it on. Um, you, uh, you use the exclamation mark SR song request in order to, um, uh, attack on, uh, some tunes. Um, Warlock, level two Warlock, do they, do they get a thing at that Ooh, level? Do they get their, like, domain or whatever? Their, um... I can check. Their specialization? I oh my god. Uh, Rogue gets theirs at third. Uh, what is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. Uh, how long do you plan to run this tonight? If we go my stream and just host you tonight. To hell with critical role. Uh, okay, we huh? are probably going for uh, I I think we were gunning for about another hour from now. I think we were going to end at about three o'clock my time. Um, but it depends, you know. Uh, yeah, sometimes things go a little late. We'll, we'll see. Honestly, like, this is kind of a perfect stopping point in terms of the the, the content, uh, but we'll, we'll we'll probably move forward a little bit more and uh, and find another another good uh, breaking point. Uh, thank you guys for all the ludicrous uh, channel point redemptions as well. Uh, the stream now has 100% more Osiris. <laughs> the real star. Um, yeah, for those who are coming in, um, all of these wonderful people are also streamers. Um, I specifically tried to get together kind of a dream team of folks from the community who are um, fellow streamers and just people who I think are fun and interesting, who I wanted an excuse to game with. And um, no, so, yeah. uh, you know, I think it helps that everybody's got professional me, quality, Hunter. you know, uh, mics and cameras and uh, personalities. Um, so I'm hoping that it's, uh, makes for a compelling campaign. Uh, the game itself is occurring on Roll20. Um, we have, of course, um, dynamic lighting and, um, uh, dynamic fog of war and stuff like that. Uh, the other thing that we've got going on is, um, I am streaming the player view. So it's kind of all five <laughs> players' views combined as the, um sort of what spectators see so you guys have the same info and about as much info as the um as the the players themselves uh that's kind of my my goal um uh yeah i noticed a lot of people stream the dm side of things because it's simpler it's easier to do but i don't want you know for folks watching to know where all the little secrets are so if only i could be so grossly um, the uh, characters Io train Sorry, what was that? Do we want to run through the characters real quick? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to introduce your characters to the to the new folks? I mean, I uh, you know, I don't know how many of the raiders are uh, sticking around and and hanging out, um, or how many people have arrived since we very first started the stream. Uh, I imagine quite a few. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to introduce your characters and maybe a little bit of your backstory, um, uh, we kind of tied all the backstories together. So, I'd like to go first. Uh, I think Kimmy should go first because it's easier than to explain the backstory. Okay, um, no, yeah, that's a good idea. So, uh, my character Faraday grew up in a cult. Um, to insert name here, what's would you say? <laughs> Asmodeus, the the ruler of Thank the nine you. hells. I have it written down and and it's everywhere. And I, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. this is why we can't have nice um, things. Asmodeus. The ruler of the nine hells, and and um, so she was got fed up with the cult telling her what to do, and uh, decided that she was gonna bounce and made a deal with a celestial being who is making her do good work and shit uh, <laughs> in order to get out of the cult. I, I like the way Rox put it. You're plagued by good. I'm plagued by good. And I'm like really annoyed with that. And and of course Senator is this cleric and I'm like, dude, shut up. Oh my god. So yeah, I mean it's not that I'm a it's not that I'm a good guy. I'm not, I would say that I'm pretty neutral. It's not that I'm a good guy by by choice necessarily. It's a good that I'm a good guy by, because uh I made this deal. I needed to get out of that cult. Um you know what I mean? 
Does that make sense? <laughs> the not a cult uh, emotes coming out the not moment that you discuss it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. So, who else? And there was a there was a monastery affiliated yeah. with this cult, actually. <laughs> Bas yeah, there's a, there's a monastery which uh, Laszlo was a part of and very dedicated to, but he started realizing there was some suspicious undertones to it and everything because of the cult. And basically <laughs> was like, hmm, this is mad sus. So I'm gonna find my own way. So he just he just went out to the world, find finding his calling, and he ended up finding himself with a party of people fighting ghosts. <laughs> but you had some help getting us we had some help getting us out of here too especially you. yes 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 uh i believe uh it was in the form of myself and uh and and robin mm -hmm. um what did i did i hire you at some point is that what happened is that we've i, I, know, I thought, I thought the, I thought the soldier that. what how the soldier yeah, well, helped too just everybody the, kinda, yeah, or was yeah the soldier involved and then how how did that go exactly Involved well, in the Tobias, escape or to, Tobias sort of found out when uh, when shit hit the fan that, that things weren't on the up and up and uh, um, traumatized, further traumatized by some of the ghastly sights there. Um, you decided walked to, in to on some with everyone rituals. else. Yeah, yeah. It was very embarrassing for everyone. He saw the things he should not. <laughs> Being a, a, a soldier who sort of washed out due to a, a developed phobia of blood. Um, I thought I thought life at guarding a monastery would be a lot more than it uh, turned out to be. Yeah, then you stumbled into our area of the uh, monastery. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, those of you who uh, have now been leveled up, which uh, is all of you, uh, hopefully those, you know, um, uh, uh, Uni and uh, Tass mentioned they were going to do their own. Um, uh, so Vitriol, Kim, Senator, you may want to take a quick look at the bottom of your... <laughs> you may want to take a quick look at the um, bottom of your uh, of your list of abilities um, in order to see what your new powers are. Um, as Ooh. you all have some uh, some new uh, skills, talents, abilities, you know. Um, thank you so much Where for do the we uh, see webcam that? redemption. Oh, uh, that will be the, found... Uh... Just uh, down at the um, uh, your list of abilities like sneak attack and um, and oh, whatnot. Okay. Um, at the bottom there is uh, you know uh, cunning action uh, for you. Um, I'm also going to um, uh, yeah, I'll make sure that you're you're all updated. Channel divinity, hell yes. <laughs> action surge. <clears throat> Um, yeah, you're yeah, looking good. Got you. Okay, I see it. I see it. Yeah, well, I love the monk because now I can do more hits with the lantern, more punches. More yes, lantern. yes. I'm seriously going to bless you. You're going to need a steady point. supply of lanterns. I didn't know how effective that was going to be at combat. Lanterns oh, for everybody. <laughs> Stop party with dual wielding lanterns. <laughs> oh, there's the domain stuff. Okay. Also, I can walk more, which is cool. <laughs> Does this get us more um, skill points? No. Okay. Those don't change. What you, what will happen at certain levels is that your proficiency skills you are better okay <laughs> your mic cut out just perfectly for no one to hear any of that yeah, yeah, yeah. oh really yeah what will happen is that your are and then you're oh, better that's what we heard <laughs> it was pretty perfect actually nice yeah nice your proficiency bonus will increase at cer certain levels which will cause the skills you're proficient in to uh, improve Okay. Yes, uh, at level five will be the next time that everything you're proficient in, saving throws, skills, attack rolls, spell saves, spell uh, attacks, uh, all of it will increase by one when that proficiency bonus increases. Everything you're proficient with. Um, yeah, it happens at level five, level nine, level 13, and level 17. Um, but uh, I don't okay. think our campaign is going to go that far. <laughs> um, okay. We should also, uh, you know, during this, this brief little break, uh, which I think coming to an end now, I, I think everyone's mm. pretty much ready to resume. Um, I think what we should do is uh, discuss, uh, are we going to be playing again uh, the Sunday after next? Is that the current plan? I think that's, um, 
Uh, is there anyone that doesn't work for? Uh, uh, let me check. At some well, because we've got we've got uh, 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 an American holiday coming up here. That's oh yeah, when is when is yeah, uh, yeah. market day? Next 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 uh, um, next Thursday. <clears throat> um yeah but this uh, thursday the 25th or yes correct so it the would one... be uh sunday the 5th of december okay okay oh my at, at some point uh if we could but like it's fine um uh the, the, my kids are with me on on this sunday but if mm. if 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 we could flip the the weeks mm. you know to like just shift it you know, sure. Do two the of, other yeah. alternate Sundays. Yeah. So right, not necessarily right, right. Uh, next Sunday, the twenty eighth, but the the uh, Sunday after yeah, next, the twelfth. It, it's it's not a huge deal. Yeah, it's all good. I just figured maybe we could yeah. uh, whatever. We'll we'll figure that on, on group chat. If it, yeah, if yeah, the, yeah, the Sunday yeah. after the following one doesn't work uh, perfectly for everyone, then we won't yeah, announce yeah, that as our next day at the moment. Stuff like that. We can we can try to yeah. if we can try to that that would that would make everything a lot easier. Yeah, we'll figure. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, back into the uh, the house. So uh, you guys are muted. Um, the Eldritch <laughs> invocations. Yes. Did you pick some for me, or am um, I, I them? didn't uh, because. Okay. Should I just pick those next time? Yeah, that might be the way to go. I mean, honestly, the invocations. Um, there's like. Um, uh, there's a bunch of them uh, that are good. One of my favorites personally is um, Agonizing Blast, which is, uh, it makes it so that when you Eldritch Blast, you add your Charisma modifier to the damage it deals. Mm. Um, so you'll add like plus whatever, I think your Charisma modifier is three. So it would be plus three damage on your cantrip. Okay, and that is where... Um, I'll just add three damage to your cantrip for now, and we'll just say that's that's one of the ones you've got, and you, we can yeah. look at them between sessions. Later. Um, yeah, but you know, it's basically like just plus three free damage. So let's let's just tack that on right now, um, and um, yeah, I mean another one. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of good packs, and so um, we could like for this session uh, add something like. Um, does your character currently have dark vision? I think they do. Uh, yeah, whatever. I, I don't know. Whole, we'll, yeah, I do. Let's go Eldritch Sight. You were wanting Detect Magic earlier. Um, you can cast Detect Magic at will without expending a spell slot. You just have Eldritch Sight. You have Magic Sensing oh. Sight if you want. Oh, cool. That's, that's so that'll good. be... Yeah. And we can change those uh, between sessions, but for the moment, that's those are your new powers. More damage on a cantrip and, um, and Magic Vision. <clears throat> Pardon me. I mean, that's the advantage of the Warlock is being able to just cast stuff whenever instead of having more... Mm -hmm slotted spells right yeah yeah um yeah your invocations can can be used for all kinds of different things enhancing your spells adding new spells adding abilities that are almost spell like yeah uh, eldritch, eldritch sight, sight is eldritch. active you have to cast it so you do you do, you do declare that you're casting detect magic um but you can do it at will um so you don't necessarily want to walk around all the time trying to like be on and assessing and you know you just fucking uh you know to be just like you know, a little bit taxing, um, but uh, but yeah, you can you can toggle that on whenever you like, basically. All right. So, yeah. uh, real quick, I don't need to. Uh, um, I don't. Just I, I have an extra spell slot. I don't have a uh, uh, on first level. I don't have to. I don't have to pick any more spells. Right? Um, you do get to memorize one more spell at the start of every day. Um, you'll be able to start doing that as soon as you have a long rest. Um, okay. because you can okay. memorize a number that's wisdom plus cleric level. Uh, and you, you will also, uh, yeah, you have one more spell slot and that's available to you right now. Um, okay. I believe okay. that, uh, uni now has key points. Um, I believe that, uh, Tass yeah. now has, uh, action surge. I totally thought that was a different um, kind of key. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are the yeah. monk of keys. Yeah. yeah, yeah so, well, uh, he was the one that picked up the key from downstairs to let us into that room too. So yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, Uni's mm -hmm. all about. Get a bunch of keys in between my fingers and just like throw them. If you if you <laughs> want to have a key party, you invite Uni. That's um, so. Hey. The key. We, no, no, no. We were. Oh, I was expi explicitly told that this was just because I'm here does not mean it's horny jail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ev everywhere that you are is horny jail. Um, <laughs> horny jail is more a state of mind than a location. Yeah. 
the real horny jail was the friends we found along the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so Tobias, am I am I taking it that you're you're just leaving the room and throwing the door open? Yep. Um, so as soon as you go, <laughs> when, when when you're ready, as soon as you no, go well, to the leave kids, the, the room, said... um, the uh, the um, the the girl goes no, and uh, and sort of flies over toward you. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so then I didn't. I didn't actually step out of the room then. Okay. Yeah. So or, or are uh, they stopping me from opening the other door or from leaving? The they're just leaving the room. They're like they basically. Okay. They're like you guys aren't going to leave, right? Like you're no, no, you're no. here to um, you're here to help. Tell, tell you what, little buddy, we're going to leave this door open, and we'll just be in the vicinity. <laughs> um. Why don't you make a uh, persuasion check? Gladly. <laughs> That's a plus four. Twenty four. Whoa! Jesus. <laughs> what Jesus? Natural twenty. Yeah. So <laughs> you 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 tap into your you're like great at speaking with children. You're like on their level. <laughs> you you really have this sort of empathy with kids. <laughs> um, and you tell them like, yeah, you know, we're just we're gonna be just in the other room. You know, we're here to help. Don't worry. You know, I'm leaving the room, but you'll be able to hear me. You know, and and you kind of calm them down, and so they they uh, allow you guys to leave without um, without trying to um, forcibly stop us. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not forcibly stop you, but well, she was about to uh, ride along. That's all. I, no, because I was gonna. I, I was absolutely gonna say, hey, can you can you can you guys leave this room? Can you come with us? Do you want to? Do you want to come along? They they uh, they don't seem to believe that they're able to leave. Um, however, when they were sort of agitated, uh, it looked like they were basically going to. They're ghosts. They were going to. Uh, you know about ghosts. They were going to possess you. Um, which you know they would be riding along, um, but <laughs> not, not the passively. ride along you want. <laughs> yeah. So, no, fortunately, Tobias no, has talked him down. Take the crazy ghost kids with Yeah, yeah, but we, we will, we will be back. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we did see sure. them outside, so that's confusing. Hello, and I pushed the next door. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, they did. They did like manifest outside. Is true. Um, so this dusty chamber is packed with old furniture. Um, that's all uh, draped in dusty white sheets. Um, and your, uh, uh, your, your yeah. marker for secret doors shows up on our. Uh, on our yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely does. You're secret aware of the secret door. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh, oh, we, that was delivered. Yeah, 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 you've we, discovered we, we, the we, secret we doors the, uh, in okay. the house by studying the okay, I dollhouse. That was an error. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, actually, I have no idea about this. Someone else. Someone else. Saw <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's all really kinds of different what? things. There's these dusty white white sheeps that are dressed over or draped over with different things that that uh, some uh, of these shapes are like you know low and squat. Some of them are, are tall and so one of them kind of looks almost humanoid. Um, there's uh, there's an iron stove. Um, yeah. Can I detect um, magic? Uh, yes. Um, so detecting magic, you sense uh, a bit of magic coming from underneath a, um, a sheet near the iron stove, like a, just a very dim faded, pardon? There's some, there's some weird over there. Everything else seems oh, I, yeah. not as weird, but over there, there's some weird. Which one? <laughs> this one? And I pull the sheet off of it? Uh, yeah. So, um, nice. there's a, an unlocked wooden trunk. Uh, underneath the sheet and uh, opening it you find um, wrapped in tattered bed sheets stained with dry blood are the skeletal remains oh. of a woman uh, who looks like that um, that so uh, specter that, that, that assault specter that specter that attacked us yeah. I, uh, I step away from the, uh, the chest leaving can someone else please look in, into that Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, because oh, oh, yeah, blood. the, the right. blood is yeah. dried, so it's just sort of a stained sheet. But you're, uh, yeah, you're, so. your, your stomach not, turns a little bit. <laughs> yeah, as right. uh, as yeah. someone who's not not a fan of blood, you're, uh, yeah, you're not wild about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally, uh, I'm, I'm totally a fan of blood. I'm, I'm basically a surgeon. So uh, yeah, so you inspect it, you check it out. Um, uh, you know, I'm surrounded by eldritch rituals, it doesn't think. <laughs> Um, checking out the like body, it, it looks like the woman was uh, stabbed to death by like multiple knife wounds. Mm. 
Oh, this is was... this is not an accidental death. This is definitely a, this is this is a, a either a murder or or something something is is not Wait, right. With that. What was magical? The bones? Uh, yeah, there's sort of a faint, vague kind of uh, magic to it, um, which you assume is kind of probably connected to the fact that this person uh, is Being like w- connected to the specter. Okay, um, okay. I, I tell them that. So the, the specter itself <laughs> would give off a powerful <laughs> kind of like uh, necromantic magic, and this is tied to that. Okay. Okay. It, can we undo that to put her at rest as well? That's somehow. <laughs> The, the uh, again, you're not bones. quite sure how you'd lay it to rest. You could you could try burying the body um, somewhere. Uh, that might help. Now this is this is a, this is these are skeletal remains again, correct? Um, or, is that, or, or, or is this some kind of mushy? Just throw them on the yeah, pile. yeah, yeah, yeah. Skeletal, mushy? yeah, yeah. You can you can see the damage though uh, that's been uh, done uh, to the like Not to the torso and stuff like that. Yeah, like, there's all these like little. How, uh, how uh, old does this all look? Like how long has? I mean, long enough for uh, bodies to completely rot and decompose into skeletons. Um, okay, that's happened. Would... That happened naturally. Yeah, you would think like uh, you know, like a century more. Yeah. Like old. Okay. Lots of dust. Okay. Not such a great wow. spectator, okay. are you? So, like downstairs looked fairly new. Then as we ascended this place, things got older and older. Yes. Is that what you're saying? So yeah. do we want to yeah, add the, the bones Up here, to, uh, everything does kind of look bones? like it hasn't been touched in in yeah. like decades or even centuries. Uh, okay. Super dusty, old. Uh, the The bottom couple floors seemed like, like uh, you know, almost normal, um, which you're beginning to think might have been kind of like a, I don't know, more like a, a, almost an illusion than anything. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. Okay. Draw okay. Where thing. was the um, spiral staircase? Um, there's the a little uh, secret door in this room. The S on the oh, wall. Yeah, the S, the S, oh, the okay. I see. I see. I see. Tunnel. Got you. Let's go. Let's go to the basement. Sure. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Somebody sounds good. Uh, more durable should go first. I will take the lead. Hold on. Are you guys going to try to bury these remains or something? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. We, we did add the remains to uh, Bias's. Uh, this room on the pile. Yeah. <laughs> Just a pack mule. He's like, like yeah, no, I don't know. Fucking... Do he was wanna... trained as a soldier. Before He's we... used to packing bullshit for a long way, you know? Yeah, and by bullshit we mean dead bodies. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All this <laughs> religious me. whatever, you know? That's fucking. <laughs> The cleric shit. So, I mean, are you guys? Hold on. So we're gonna go straight to the basement instead of like trying to go outside to bury your remains. Well, I'm we saying. can't go outside right now. You're kind of yeah. hemmed in by this cloying, freezing mist. And and okay. uh, we we don't think we'd actually be able to stay out. Oh no no that, that's right. We want to set rest. Right. That was that was something that yeah. we gathered. So so we don't want to like try to bury them. But... Currently, currently. currently. Right. We, we, so you're we just gonna schlep them along? Is that what we're doing? Is it the plan? Yeah. That's the plan. Right now, yeah. They'd be no worse off if we have to dump them. If, yeah. if we have to dump them somewhere, but uh, I, mean, I don't like I don't like that idea as a character, but as a as a player, I think that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you like theoretically? I mean, you might be able to bury them in a basement, I suppose. If it's dirt. Yeah. If we, if we set them right. in the basement, are they they're technically underground? Does that oh, count as there's, there's a family tomb? No. There's a family tomb, you guys. We got to Right. Gotta so we have to figure out. Oh, we could ask the kids yeah. where that is. The kids might know. We should I ask them. I don't want to interact with those kids anymore right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they don't they don't uh it's not great. They don't know anything about it. Let us okay. descend. Okay. All right, let's go. That's what you said. <clears throat> okay. Um <laughs> so <laughs> uh you uh, yeah, you, so there's a narrow spiral staircase. It's made of creaky wood uh, that's contained within just this like five foot wide shaft of mortared stone. Uh, it obviously starts in the attic and it just starts descending. Um, there's thick yeah. cobwebs that fill the shaft um, and they reduce visibility massively. You can only see about five feet ahead of you. Um, the, um, Wait, you said, you said the if, we exposed, if we exposed the spider web to flame, it would... F- Loof 
and, and clear yeah. out quick. Yeah, so you, you're kind of like burning away the cobwebs as you go. Um, uh, which of you, uh, by the way, have light sources? I, I can't recall. There's um, uh, the... I have uh, my trusty lantern. Yeah, Uni's got the... the he replaced his oil lantern that he uh, destroyed on a on an animated suit of armor. Um, I think Taz had a torch, too. Mm-hmm. And I, I've got dark vision, so... Dark vision. Uh, Wait, what, does... what race are you? Asimar. Oh. Uh, does Tass have a torch? Yeah, yeah. So I've got a torch on Tass. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. So you you keep going down. You descend. You'd estimate probably about fifty feet. Like you you feel like you're you're going down way below the, Before we go down the house too itself. Far, mm-hmm. Um, Laszlo should be able to grab another lantern because there were a bunch that were hanging in various rooms. Yep. On our way through here. Um, yep. Did you want to do that, Laszlo? Grab a, a lantern. Uh, he did. Oh, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, he replaced his lantern. Perfect. Yep. Um. Yeah. So you guys uh, head down the spiral staircase, and you um. Uh, you emerge. Uh, doop 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 doop. Oh. And I'm oh, just gonna. Oh, cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Jump over here. Make sure kind of most things fit within the frame, and then. It freezes everyone's webcams when I switch over to the other uh, screen, unfortunately. Um, Yeah, so you uh, descend down the stairs. And let me just grab... Oh, I've got so much on my screen. Okay, uh, so... Uh, yeah, the wooden spiral staircase from the attic ends, and a narrow tunnel stretches southward before branching east and west. Um, from the moment that you arrive and and kind of head into this this little corridor, uh, you hear like an eerie, incessant chant echoing throughout the place. You can't really tell where it's coming from. It's just kind of like bouncing around corners. It's just in the background. You can't really discern any words or anything. Um, but there's just this weird kind of ghostly chanting happening. Okay, so so it. Tobias takes in a, a a deep breath to shout hello. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> do, does it, do any of us recognize I try, it? I, do I recognize I do try it? Stop it? Do you recognize <laughs> what? You have, you have ample stop. opportunity. Okay, oh, the yeah, chanting? Yeah. No, not at all. No. I mean, you recognize wow. the concept of chanting. That's something you've done a fair amount well, of. Yeah. But you can't yeah, even yeah. make out words. There's just this kind of like okay. Okay. So in it's the like background. So playing playing eyes wide shut in in a in a room like three, door, <laughs> three doors down. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Are there torches like on the wall that we can light as we go? Um. But if you can, uh, I can cast light. Like if you need me to, I have. Yeah, I got, I got, I got a, can, I got a light cantrip too. Yeah, so I can totally do that. We just yeah. don't, haven't done it because we're both dark vision, but it's fine. Yeah. If you need light, I can just cast light. More like dork vision. Um, <laughs> so yeah, as far as the the actual tunnels themselves, um, there's uh, it's totally unlit. Uh, it looks like it's been carved out of like earth, clay, and rock. Uh, the tunnels are about four feet wide by seven feet high, uh, and every like five feet there are timber braces. Um, and uh yeah there's no uh light sources whatsoever um only what you brought with you which is a lie i think a bunch of you have like a bunch of torches mm-hmm. and stuff like that you know yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah. all 10 right, stops me from shouting so that everybody can see all 10 <laughs> should stops me from shouting hello in the uh, yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I, is probably light for the better holding a ball of light or can it come out of my staff because i got a staff yeah, so you actually cast the light on something. So you can choose what you cast on. You can cast it like Gandalf, just on the tip of your uh, staff. Uh, you could cast it on, um, you know, I, I uh, one of my warlock characters. Cast it on the staff. That's fine. Yeah, sounds good. My last warlock character, I, I had like an amulet that I kept with me, and I would cast light on it, and also I cast darkness on it sometimes. Uh, and the nice thing about light and darkness, both of them, if you cover the source, then it it stops the effect so i could cast darkness on it and then like tuck it into my shirt and it wouldn't it would basically turn off and not blind everyone but i wouldn't lose the spell duration um so you could do that with like something that's like tuckable stowable hideable with a light spell in case you want to you know but you could also just turn it off it's a cantrip yeah yeah just the tip um 
uh, so yeah, you um, you cast light on the uh, on the tip of your staff and just the tip, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me um, just your token here. The light spell, I believe, is. Oh, let me just double check. Uh, the spell a light is 20 feet, so uh, you are now shedding uh, 20 feet of bright light and 20 feet of dim light. There we go. Cool. Uh, just updating your token. Uh, yeah, so Tobias, you, you stumble out into this big uh, kind of hallway that moves, you know, east to west. So I'll start moving down. Okay. Um, yeah, so through the little walls to the sides there, you can see... Um, what looks like uh, s crypts. These are like crypts that have been hewn oh. from the earth. Um, they, there's these big stone slabs that you can see uh, just to the left there um, uh, that have... Um, uh, they've got what... Uh, they've got some writing on them. Um, can I make up what they say? Uh, yeah, when you walk up to it, you sort of shine a light on. Um, so the one that you're standing in front of um, is etched with the name Thornbolt Durst. This is the crypt. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Dump some uh, bones in here. There you and go. And this one over here? Okay, hang on. Uh, that one is labeled um, Rosavalda Durst. Okay, so we do we... Is anybody in the Rosavalda crypt uh they're they're um sealed so they're sealed with oh. a big uh stone slab that's like fitted um so you would need to pry them open um which okay. would be like an athletics check if you used a crowbar you'd have advantage on it that would be pretty much mm -hmm. the only way to it'd be uh, a despoiled do we remember check, all their names <laughs> yeah uh, well you I happen to know that out. there's no remains in those particular crypts so i don't know whether uh i, I don't think that that would be particularly um uh, well, we you saw know. the names. Did somebody write? Yeah, no, we I have that. Oh, the names of all the people yeah. were on that portrait, right? Yeah. Like all the people in the house. Uh, Gustav was the the Fox. guy that was um, the will, and then Liz Durst was the female, and then Rosawalda and Thornbolt. Oh, yeah. yeah, Rosavalda and Thornbolt. Uh, Rose and Thorn for short. Okay. Oh. Were the, were the kiddos? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I so... hate I hate theme names. Let's distribute the remains in the right places if we can. Are we assuming are... that we are holding Liz? Um. And the kids. Uh, I don't believe you've. Uh, I mean Maybe. that. We know, we, know the, we know that we've got the kids. Yeah. And and. We don't so know about you have that. seen the specter of the remains that you have of the woman, um, mm -hmm. and that specter was not the woman that you've seen in all of these portraits. Okay. Um, so is Elizabeth. this the mistress? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, okay, so we might, we might slightly letter. upset her. She was very Draws protective. Uh, obviously, she manifested and, and uh, when you opened the door to the nursery. Which right. just had a little, uh, you know, the stillborn kid. bundle of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of yeah. Uh, a blanket. Maybe okay, problematic to put her in uh, in that tomb. So <laughs> abandoned love for madness <laughs> took solace in the bosom of another woman. Okay, so that was yeah, yeah. So that wasn't that wasn't to him. All right. That um, Alton, by the way, the the um, slabs that you stand before are uh, the one above is labeled um, Gustav Durst, and the one below is labeled Elizabeth Durst. Okay. The okay. children. Awesome. Uh, those so we, are the are parents. Those are the parents. Yeah. That yeah, the guy that, 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 that died in the treasure chest is the dad. Oh yeah, there was a dude who died in the treasure chest. Because That's then we would have to bury him too. But oh, it looks like he trapped, so I don't think he would live. It looks like he died and then was just kind of like half-ass crammed in there, kind of thing, and then like just rotted and over time. Yeah, yeah, and also he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have fallen victim to his own trap. I don't think. Well, if he was, yes. Yeah, Imagine there. being that incompet incompetent at setting up a poison dart trap. You just poison yourself <laughs> and die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I exactly. mean, unless he I mean, wanted worst way to, to go. die, maybe, maybe he wanted <laughs> to die. People making bombs blow themselves up all the time. 
Yeah. Got to be the same with poison dart traps, right? True. True. <laughs> well, we know where the kids go. Okay. Do we? Yes. Somewhere in here. Yeah, those two, those the, the these ones over here where Tobias is. Shall we uh, crack the seal? Rose and thorn. Uh, we didn't sure. See um, those. Oh, rose. So, yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, we didn't um, see those. An athletics check to pry open. The, uh, the big uh, stone slab. Um, but as I say, if you have a crowbar on you, uh, crowbar gives advantage for athletics checks to pry oh. things. So that's like the purpose I... of a crowbar. That's a good point. That's literally what it does. Uh, do I don't I appear it? to. But if said anyone else does. I'd be very do surprised I? if uh, nobody had a crowbar on them. Because um, sure it is a part of a, some standard adventuring kits. Um, not all, not but some. Oh, wait, where do we, where do we, where do we find that? Uh, your inventory is located okay, in the is, center is bottom. I'm, I'm strong. Tass, here, use this crowbar. Okay, perfect. Center so, uh, bottom. my second roll for, uh, advantage. Yeah, so you, uh, second. yeah, so you pry this slab out of its fitting, um, and, um, uh, yeah, that is, uh, Rose's, um, crypt. So there is a, an empty coffin on a stone beer. Um. All ten. Which one? Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, can I make a check to see which one is... Okay, so, wait, the... You know, you, you tracked which one you is know which. which one is. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, well, one of them one is older, one of them is younger, one of them is gonna be bigger or smaller. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, you... You literally you... saw the kids sitting next to their corpses. Like, yeah, you've been gonna... careful with I'm them, you've been very respectful saying, like, of them, um, you've got them, yes. you know, separated in okay, these, in these so... two different things. Well, let's um, put her in I the coffin. I suggested a pile. But so you, you lay to rest oh, uh, Rose's remains in the coffin, and you feel this sort of almost sigh that, like, kind of moves past you. Um, and uh, and um, you, uh, yeah, you, you feel good about it. Mm. So Yay. walking to the other door, <laughs> I say, how, how cruel would it be if we only put one of them to rest? <laughs> No. So uh, you know, you you eventually you pry open the other one, uh, you lay to rest uh, Thorn's remains. Uh, you all gain inspiration. Oh, oh yeah. ah, okay. So we got to we got to click that on our thing, right? Yeah, inspiration mm -hmm. is a toggle. It's binary. You either have inspiration or you do not. Um, you may spend inspiration in order to do a couple different things. You can spend inspiration to uh, re-roll a failed check if you like. Um, Okay. And uh, you can also use it to re-roll, um, to like force an opponent to re-roll. Basically, like if you get attacked oh. and you like you get crit or something, and you're like, "Holy fuck!" Like, you can, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. So basically, no. just any any roll that surrounds you, any twenty-sided die, um, can be affected by inspiration. As far as I'm concerned, does you get that, critted that... in the face, then it's a good. It can yeah. be. Now, it can does, be. Does that does that have a does that have a uh, an expiration date? Like, um, does it, it does not have an expiration page? date. However, <laughs> if at some point you gain inspiration again, they don't stack. So, um, yeah. okay. it is a thing of, you know, sort of, uh, use it or lose it to a certain degree. <laughs> Although inspiration only happens when it occurs to me. So it doesn't happen very often. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the definition of inspiration. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right, right, right. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready to take a step into the Southern room here or the Eastern <laughs> <clears throat> the big open room there um sure yeah so uh this room contains a plain wooden Tell table me, <laughs> could this be joy <laughs> thank you uh zach i appreciate that i've got an alert and uh and a uh a sound effect going on uh yeah thank you my dude uh so this room contains a, a plain wooden table flanked by long benches um and there's like moldy humanoid bones that lie strewn on the dirt floor. Um, a table for hanging out in the crypt. Yeah, yeah you know how yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah it does seem like a, basically <laughs> a dining <laughs> hall. Um, kind of, kind of sucks that there's humanoid bones everywhere. That's like off-putting. It's huh. fine, whatever. <laughs> no. Ugh. There's, there's no way we're putting all these to rest. Is that correct? Is how would we know how to sort yeah. them? Yeah. yeah. They don't yeah, have yeah, their yeah. own rooms. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> take like a 
week to well they should have made out. a reservation okay <laughs> <laughs> they're unnamed they uh, well, get... so i forgot to open those little uh crypts uh, right so i deleted the doors yeah, on them now i want to look around at the crypts and see if we there can go. find the ones the other ones for the people i'm betting that the uh um the the woman that we have uh is the mistress is is the mistress slash yeah. nanny Wait, slash whatever there? you know gain inspiration um, there over here <laughs> like across from there yeah uh, yep. yeah. yeah can you guys come with me over here those okay, ones are labeled right. with gustav and elizabeth um which you know you know are, are the parents you've seen portraits and, of them um oh. gotcha and there and those are we... those ha those have bodies in them is that do we know or no we can I detect ma can I detect does we, detecting magic help with that or no? We don't know. Uh casting detect magic, uh you detect no magic. Let's pry one open. Do they do they deserve to rest in peace given they padlocked the children in the room? We don't know yeah, if it was we them. Don't know. It was them. We don't know the children and were padlocked in the room. All right. We don't know it was them. <laughs> and then she went and stabbed herself, like <laughs> Yeah. It could have been the mistress that padlocked them in the room. Uh, or the dad. Or the stroud but Someone guy. needs needs to have stabbed the mistress to stuff her in the chest. Yeah, I cut out again. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, so, someone uh, needed to have stabbed the mistress and stuff her in the chest. I, I mean, it could have oh, been no, the dad. That could be her. Oh. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't put the... Yeah, yeah we, we don't we know should, who's remaining. We should so not so. put the uh, the mistress in the wife's. No, thing. that would be <laughs> the, the ultimate cuckold. You know? oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Um, that's not that's not how it works. But uh, um, okay. So it, it, can I can I determine that if if we pry one of these open to see mm -hmm. if there is a body there? Would that, in fact, defile this? Um, I think as a cleric, uh, you feel that if there was a body in there, it would be a bit disrespectful. Um, <laughs> right. it wouldn't right. defile it per se, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's not necessarily the you know, something, uh, it's not something I would proper... suggest. So I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Uh, well, can I examine the outside and see if this is? Does it look the same as as the other ones? Or does it look like it's been? Does it look like it's been used? Can I make a check for that? Uh, they're sealed. They're sealed with a stone slab. Like again, you'd have to like pry them open. Um, yeah, they're just sealed. They've got a little inscription on the front. Uh, anything other than the name of of interest on the in the inscription? Um, well, no, yeah. no, that's that's it. They don't that's have all. dates okay. like died nope. on this day. Okay. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no uh, live ticking time since death counter. <laughs> oh my god. Now I, I know what I want for my gravestone now. <laughs> <laughs> ben dead for it. Just after this many <laughs> seconds since, since Senator J. Butts died. <laughs> In my will, I ask that someone change the batteries on my tomb. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> no, you, you, you provide for that with you know all your 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 bitcoin fund or whatever you know? <laughs> <laughs> i asked that my bitcoin be spent on somebody winding my tomb <laughs> <laughs> honestly you have no idea how much i want to do that now um, <laughs> all right i say we keep moving because we don't have enough information to to know right i'm i'm, not, we about, I'm not about we didn't see the son's tomb though it wasn't no, with the yeah. with the dot it was there. The son and the daughter were in the same room. Oh, you! Oh, we put them both in. Okay, I'm sorry. Correct. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. We don't know who the lady is. Yeah, or she is of questionable mistress, problem. likely. Yeah, yeah, likely. Yeah. Could it could have been angry? Could have been angry wife, but. Yeah. yeah. It could have been the well, because like I don't know. I was thinking that could've it could be the wife because like the like the wife probably didn't kill her own kids. Like she's well, hey, mad when we try somebody to like... is down here chanting so oh okay, yeah damn it, it. all right <laughs> i'll listen <laughs> to the one with the, with the decent intelligence okay yes. all right so <laughs> i am all about that <laughs> so do we want to go left or down or we can go back up what's in this little i'm gonna check this out this little, this little area right here 
little alcove to the right. Let's, yeah. let's look around the table uh, area. Cool. So yeah, you uh, you approach, uh, and as you do so, uh, something uh, lunges out at you. Oh damn it! <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, yeah, you go to check out the larder. It's essentially empty except for the creature that attacks. Um, <laughs> it's a goddamn mimic. So help me God. I'm gonna... <laughs> so what the is last, that? I think you were wrong. <laughs> oh, what? what? You... About what? The, the monster right here. Oh yeah, there's the monster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we don't know this is what they were talking about. <laughs> oh, I'm with you. <laughs> Job done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's head out. Finish the campaign. Are, are we rolling initiative? I assume we. Uh, are. Yeah, yeah. Case. Click on your token and then click on the initiative. Uh, uh, the word initiative. I have been oh, rolling, God. rolling below ten every single initiative. <laughs> yeah, this isn't going well 3. for him. one. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So <laughs> you uh, yeah. The thing kind of lunges out, and as it's doing so, um, Robin uh, sees it immediately, and like before it can even strike, is is ready. Oh, nice, I'm, Robin. I would love to shoot it with my bow. I'm a quick draw with the bow. It's my uh, sure. Most comfortable so, weapon. Um, yeah, I assume you guys all have your weapons out, right? You got light sources, you got weapons, you're like ready for a fight. Um, uh, you, um, if you like, you may roll a uh, history check um, to see if you know anything about what this kind of creature is. Uh, and then. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, I've never seen this before. Oh my God. No, you have no idea. It's off-putting. Right. Robin, no. Well, it's not. What? It, I hate it. I'm gonna shoot it with my bow. I'm assuming this. I'm assuming this is the monster. Um. Take that monster. And I could also, uh, oh, I could shit. show you guys. It, it, unfortunately, these little handouts have the name of the creature on it, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. Um, I can, I can show you <laughs> what things look like as you encounter them, if you like. Oh no! no. Oh, you. Garrett. Um, <clears throat> so you you shoot at it Kill and uh, you hit it with your short bow. Uh, roll damage. Hello. I have to just click on it, right? Yeah, you click on the word short bow in that uh, text box there. Mm, it's not doing anything. Uh, yeah, that is weird. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, click on click on yeah, the short bow th thingy. Maybe, mm -hmm. like maybe it wasn't okay. put up right on the character sheet. No, no, in the in the chat might be the. Hang on, hang on. Yeah. I'm, I'm on it. I'm troubleshooting. <laughs> uh, short bow, blah blah blah, piercing D6. Uh, yeah, there's no reason that shouldn't be working. Uh. Yeah. yeah, it's just sort of leaving a little... It's not like uh, dropping a thing into chat. That's so fucking weird. Okay, <clears throat> that's fine. So it's a... D6 uh, like right in front of you? you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a 2d6 <laughs> plus 3 because it's a sneak attack, right? So... Uh, there you go. Oh, nice. So, yeah, you can slash R... Uh, can you not be capable for uh -huh. half a second, please? <laughs> um, you can also get oh the sneak gosh. attack damage on there. So, uh, yeah. So you hit the thing. Um, it's got these kind of... Um, uh, almost like armored kind of plates on it or whatever. And so when you hit it with the arrow, you can tell it hurts the thing, although uh, you do feel as though it's like kind of, um, it resists some of that damage. Um, okay. Uh, next up is uh, uh, Tobias. Ooh. Well, charging up ahead to be up at the, uh, the front lines and to be able to use my shield to help defend. Mm -hmm. uh, I will immediately drop a, a warhammer on its face. Badoop. Please do. Uh, you can also make a, a history roll if you like, um, or if you prefer ignorance, uh, go for it. Uh, roll I damage. know nothing about this. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> yeah, your damage is working. Weird. Okay, um, then, yeah, so you, uh, yeah, you, you smoke this thing with a, a warhammer. Um, and you also, when you hit it, you kind of feel like there's this kind of like... Um, uh, you know, yeah, these like weird little kind of like plates on it or something that you're that you're hitting. It's just got this um, almost rocky exterior. Um, and uh, uni, <coughs> pardon me. Yeah. 
Um, and so keep in mind for its turn, um, mm -hmm. I can grant disadvantage uh, yes. if it attacks. Yeah, like yeah, absolutely. I I hit it with my my spear. I try again with the spear. Yeah, uh, go at it with the spear. Yeah, Do yeah, it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, the spear glances off of this thing, uh, without quite damaging it. Well, have you, have you for like my above... ultimate attack, I punch it with my... <laughs> <laughs> I, I punch it with my, my lantern. Have you rolled above, like, a natural five with the spear yet? <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm just... Oh my god. Um, so you, uh... Unfortunately, the lantern also doesn't quite have the uh, the intended oh. effect. Um, oh, what a tough enemy resisting time. my ultimate attack. Uh, oh, so the uh, the creature <laughs> lashes out uh, with these little tentacles uh, that are on its face at uh, Altan or Altan. No! Uh, it's given disadvantage on this attack. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. Appreciate and uh, oh. yeah, fails terribly. It kind of like wraps its little tentacles around the shield, uh, and then it releases them and kind of tries to wrap around it and come at him with his beak. And I believe you only impose disadvantage on one of the two attacks, um, so meaning the first that, one. Uh, yeah, this hits uh, for four damage to uh, the senator's character. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> um, and Faraday, you uh, you sort of come to your wits. What would you like to do? Um, I want to kill it with with um an eldritch blast probably I'm, sure do i know anything about it can i look uh, at a history it check like... uh, will uh, let you know yeah. if you know anything about this creature about arcana instead of history hey, hey. uh no yeah. this is not a magical yeah. creature <laughs> okay it's fine it's fine <laughs> So this is, uh, I've, I've basically, I've divided all of the intelligence Holy skills shit. into right, archetypes, uh, depending on the type of creature. So for a monstrosity, these are just things that naturally occur. Um, and, uh, so they're, they're sort of history checks. Um, this, yeah, you okay. know about these, these, this is a Grick. So they're like a worm-like creature, uh, that generally live in like caves and caverns. Um, and they're able to like kind of blend in with like rocky natural surroundings. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're just like massive predators that are, uh, they're like, you know, they're kind of, they're, they're like, uh, passive, uh, in the way that they, they hunt. Um, so they just kind of like, they're, am they're ambush Do predators. I know why yes, yes, exactly. It? Ambushers. Should we keep fighting it? Can we kill it? Um... Yeah, yeah, you, you're like, oh yeah, th these things, because of their kind of like stony exterior, um, like most weapons, uh, they're kind of resistant to, but you know, you, you could blast this thing and, uh, yeah, magic, uh, is kind of works against anything, you know, generally speaking, unless it's like specific things, like some things might be resistant to fire or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you, you do force yeah. damage. You, you could absolutely, um, teach this thing not to fuck with you guys. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, yes, yeah, so you fire off an Eldritch Blast, uh, oh, and the yeah. thing kind of like, you know, snakes its head over to the side, and, uh, and it, it, it strikes the, uh, the dirt wall behind it. Um, the thing's moving around a lot, trying to find a good spot around the shield, so you unfortunately miss it. Um, Altan, um, what do you, uh, <laughs> Altan? Altan? Yeah, Al Alton? Oh, he doesn't want to be I, I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Altan, what would you like to do, sir? Altan, well, very good, sir. I find myself in a very good situation directly in front of the danger, which means I find <laughs> myself in a target-rich environment. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I am going to... I had my dagger in my hand. Is, that, <laughs> is showing that a free action? Um... Uh, oh, I guess. yeah. Yeah, well, okay. yeah, dagger, I mean, if you wanted to switch weapons, um, then you could just kind of, like, toss weapons. it aside, grab I'm, it later. I'm, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let me make the history check first. Is that history? Yeah, go for said? it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, this thing's a big fucking worm. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I think I'm a big fucking worm. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it's neither bear nor wolf. Uh, yeah, you know nothing you know. about these. You've never, you've yeah, never yeah. seen one. You've never heard of them. You never read about them. Uh, right. Worms don't usually get this big. You know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fucking nasty, and I don't like it. So uh, I... we are. I was gonna ask. Can I see him looking so confused that I tell him what's going on? Well, on your <laughs> next turn, yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, I have to... Okay. He's I not really facing say, you. Like I. 
I would yeah, feel no. bad for you. And okay, no, yeah, fine. I don't know. Any, you know, what are you? You got all kinds of different ways of dealing with things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. You got I'm a dagger. Gonna, you got uh, magic. Uh, you got lots like, of different things. Yeah, well, do, I don't even have do to drop the dagger then, for this. I'm, I'm gonna sorry. sacred flame it again. You know. I'm just worried about you. Thank you. Do it up. All right, sacred flame. It is. Well, um, there it is. You hit it for three radiant damage. Still got yeah, there's sort of a, like a bright flash, and it, it sears the thing a little bit. Um, it doesn't seem to uh, really uh, notice the light. It doesn't really care about it, but it, it is um, it is damaged by it. They're definitely burny burn. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, Robin, okay. uh, why don't you go again? Um, am I going to be effective at all if I don't have a magic weapon? Um, did you make a history check? Mm, I think I did. I don't at, remember. At the very least, uh, you did see that we were hurting it, just not as much as we could have. That's yeah, you're kind of right? seeing... Oh, yeah, yeah, you shot it, and you saw your arrow, like... Yeah. Kind of, like, uh, it definitely harmed it, but it, it okay. you know... Yeah, you, you like do feel as though this thing is resistant to your weapons, but absolutely you're hurting it. Um, is it resistant because it's armored, or could, like, I aim for its mouth or something to be more effective? It is just kind of resistant to, okay. uh, to, to like mundane weapons, basically. Okay. Well, I'm gonna roll again, and we'll see. I, as long as I'm doing something. Absolutely. Oh yeah, right, I smoked it. Whoa! Holy mess! Okay. Yeah. And then I guess yes, um, <laughs> slash R two D six plus three. It definitely does something. Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So you get this thing right in yeah. one of those little squishy tentacles, and it uh, is not happy about it. Um, uh, Tobias, at least you don't think so. I don't know. It's kind of hard to um, project empathy onto something so alien, but <laughs> I'll just swing it with the warhammer, and that's probably a hit. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Another few damage. <laughs> Jesus. Just this like tonk on the side of this like hard fucking thing. Uh, definitely hurting it. Uh, Laszlo. Tonk. Okay, this is it. I will I will spear again. <laughs> oh, let's give it go. Oh I'm, I'm believing you. No! <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Never hit with the spear, not yet. <laughs> no, not, not even once. Well. <laughs> just, just main the hand a lantern. The spear is just the distraction. Just what about your offhand? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, spear pressure. I like it. Spear pressure. I'm oh my god. You on it. Uh, yes, all the rolls are happening through uh, roll 20, um, and uh, they should be visible down the uh, sort of sidebar there. Um, you know, at the far Rini, end. What's your, what's your address? I'm going to send you a lantern for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Grick continues trying to nom 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 um, um, the cleric. Um, Making every effort. So I'll, yeah. I'll pose disadvantage on... Excellent. Um, I, I mean, do, do I get the sense that it's going to attack with the, uh, the beak and its claws? Oh, I'll just yeah, yeah. It comes at you with tentacles attack. and then bites with the beak. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, so you you impose the disadvantage there with your shield. Uh, the tentacles. Uh, yeah, you turn what would, or me, what would have been a hit into a definite miss by getting your shield in there. Uh, but then again, the beak it gets on uh, and uh, and gets a good bite, and you take six piercing damage. Oh shit! Yikes. Ouch! Oof! Yikes. Oh, yeah, uh, right. Faraday, I? this thing is, uh, you know, starting to really, uh, really take some chunks out of your cleric. Um, how is he doing? Is he looking real bad? Wait, where am I? Um, where's my hit points? <laughs> uh, his hit points should be shown on the token. Can you guys see them? Yep. Yep. No? Nine out of 19. Oh, nine out of okay. 19. Yeah. Okay, okay. I I'm can just, heal I'm, him. I was, looking at, I was looking on my, uh, um... The magic is oh, what... Okay. Is. Uh, this Grick, by the Does way, is looking real healing? damaged. Like, this thing is looking, what? uh, like, uh, you know, it's starting to bleed. Its tentacles have, like, uh, all kinds of gashes and stuff in them. Um, okay. Uh, Tobias is kind of getting his shield in there and, like, looking away. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, oh no. Well, I mean, oh, if no. it looks really bad, I can, I can, I can keep attacking. I'm just wondering if I should try to heal... Well, I have another turn before it does, so... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I can always disengage. Um, and heal yourself, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, oh. well, I'll just attack it then. Blood that I know isn't human. Oh, 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 oh,
Holy shit. Awesome. Else, so, right? <laughs> what's that? Plus something else, right? Because of my... So it's got the five Charisma. damage that you're from your first roll, and it rolls an extra d10. So that is the crit damage. That's the... Okay, okay. Was, yeah, I so you, had you fire this huge blast. Uh, you know, it's like... Uh, you know, like Goku, just like you, you, uh, and you, uh, you fire this powerful blast through the, the, into the Grick's mouth and it blows out the back of its head and the Grick collapses to the cavern floor. <laughs> well done. Thank you. you have destroyed the creature. Uh, welcome in the red silks. How are you this evening? Kermit. Yeah, thank you so much for the Very follow. Uh, there's a temporarily a, a, a little Kermit cameo. Uh, I hope you don't mind. Uh, welcome on in. <sighs> Look away, Tass. There is some explosion. Uh, yeah. It's all right. If, for, for blood that's not humanoid, it doesn't really bother me quite that much. And I'm glad we took okay. care of this thing or those kids could have gotten hurt. Yeah, yeah, really. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, we gotta take care of those kids. Gotta make sure they're, yeah. they're probably still yeah. outside. You know, I have a feeling they, they already got... Yeah. Um, I think. Do you guys? Did you guys not realize that? Uh, I, never mind. You know what? Just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know what? They're probably with those bears. That's what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for bears. Yeah, because uh, if they see one, they that might end up uh, in an unbearable situation. Oh. oh. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. That was funny. You that's barely it. got that well, in there. Womp, womp, womp. Well, don't wolf down the jokes, guys, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so <laughs> Altan synonym, has right? been uh, definitely harmed by the Grick. Uh, welcome yeah. in, by the way, Raiders. Uh, we are currently running our first session of Curse of Strahd. Um, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're mostly uh, sort of interacting through uh, Twitch chat. So I apologize. I I, uh, I hope you don't feel as though I'm ignoring you, but uh, yeah, I'm jumping around between a lot of different windows here, running the game and and the stream. Um, yeah, our, our fearless heroes have uh, have just finished killing the uh, the Grick that ambushed you mm -hmm. from in the larder. Yeah, because I was super yeah, I feel smart. Like a mercy like... kill is probably in order. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mercy kill. Yeah. <laughs> you can heal yourself, right? You're fine. Uh, yeah, I've got a, uh, uh, I've got the, the healing hands thing, right? Hang on. Um, Cleric, heal thyself. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on. Uh, yeah, chat. Yeah, I don't want to have to heal you, so you take care of that. Yeah, I don't have any cantrips that do it, but, um. <laughs> Oh no no no! That's a uh, um. That's the Asimar thing. Okay, Hang on. You should have one hit point of that left since you gained a new hit point of it uh, with the level up. Yeah, I get I, I get two. I can I can heal myself for two hit points for free. Well, so, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just trying to do this. I'm, I'm I'm thinking about the economy of of this because I can I can totally heal myself with the spell slot too. Uh, See, I have it nine out of nineteen. All right. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> what source of health would you like to use? Yeah, exactly. So I think that I'm actually still at sixteen. I think uh, uh, Kim word. still hasn't spent her first level spell slot. She's got a potential heal. Uh, Senator, you've got three spell slots with heals. Um, you've got. Uh, I think that's basically it. Rocks. Yeah, 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 and I've and, and and my my two points from healing hands if I need to use that, but that's that's once once until a long rest. Um, all right, well I'm gonna go ahead and uh, healing word it up. That's a one d four plus my spellcasting ability, so Rocks! that'll expend this, which means I don't have uh, that one for anybody else, which is <laughs> not happy. Okay. About. So once yeah, you I mean, uh, reduce have... your spell slots by one, um, you can also click uh, in your uh, list of attacks. I, I uh, there should be each of your spells as well, including cure wounds. You should be able to just click that, and it'll roll the the health recovered. Sorry, what was that, Kim? 
Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, I've got Cure Wounds. It's right there. That's a DA plus three. That's that's fantastic. That's exactly what I needed. Yeah, sorry, if that was the one you were using, I I didn't I didn't catch if you had a different plan. I was looking at uh, Healing Word, which is a D4 plus three. Yeah, Uh, Healing Word is less healing. The nice thing about it is it's great for combat because it's a bonus action, so you could attack and heal. Um, And it also has a range instead of having to uh, to get all gropey. Yeah, it's less healing, but it's a bonus action and at range, and your your other one is. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's. Yeah. I'm. I'm cure wounds and real cure. I imagine that wounds. you guys have all kind of consented ahead of time to uh, cure wounds, lay on hands, all those sorts of, uh, you yes. know, uh, touchy feely yeah. spells. <laughs> that is. Like, uh, no, please don't heal yeah. me. No. 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 Except well, it involves we like, laying on hands. Consent is important. Like, so, <laughs> you know. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I said it involves laying on of hands, so like it's kind of, consent is kind of important. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> But we don't we don't we don't do that you have our right. informed consent thank you thank you <laughs> i All mean right, when someone's ahead unconscious ahead. you know you don't want to have to have to feel bad about uh about healing them up yes all right so cure wounds clicking now all right let's see uh cast it well uh, i mean it's 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 just a level one spell right oh god i yep. can cast it at a higher level if i want to uh but yeah you only have first level spells though we have first level spells um so yeah if you click cure wounds uh there you go you gain uh sweet. nine hit points boop you're at 18 out of oh, 19 sweet. hp leave me alone i'm great <laughs> um so you, you guys uh, that's it that's it <laughs> yeah you're you're in this sort of uh, uh this dark room surrounded by humanoid bones um the uh the grick that slithered out is now laying slain on the ground can we assume like they, that humanoid bones were from the Grick, like the kids had previously sent people down here? Question mark. Um, Very dark assumptions about these kids. The <laughs> bones are all sort of littered around the table. Uh, it kind of and like on the table and stuff like that. It kind of looks like uh, this was used as a place to like sit and and eat. Um, Mild cannibalism. Um, what kind of bones. At first glance, it kind of appears that way. Is it considered Wait, cannibalism more? if a human eats an elf? Yes. Yes. Oh, so you said these were humanoid. Yeah. Yeah. Does that yeah. mean they're like goblins or what? Are they a uh, humanoid people? meaning yeah, human elf. Uh, you know, uh, these. Uh, you know, it's you can't tell, right? Like sure. the bones of all these different races are basically the same. Um, okay. But you know, yeah, you'd assume human. But it, you know, yeah, they could be, could be elves. It could be, uh, you know, okay. half orc maybe. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, your general human shape. Do they look gnawed upon? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gross. Not mm. happy about this. <laughs> well, I uh, poke my head down. Uh, I guess that was east. Sounds good. Yeah, the uh, the sort of ghostly <clears throat> chanting that you hear throughout this whole area is uh, noticeably louder. Um, as Guys, you the uh, coming, from over, coming from over here. Okay, shh, be quiet. Sorry. And I will go south again, or this way again. Sure. As you step into the middle middle of the intersection and kind of assess your surroundings, um, oh. you mm-hmm. see four shapes rise up out of the sort of dirt ground uh, covered in cloaks not unlike the ones you found in the closet of of the house Uh, and the four uh, shapes rise um, to attack Uh, why don't we roll initiative once more hold on we're we're wearing the robes me and yep. Uni. Well, some people, some people are. I've Can I try out. to like talk yeah. to them, or I guess, I guess I have to roll a higher initiative to talk to them, huh? Um, they look like not. Um, they have not. like uh, their skin is like gray. Their eyes are white. Um, they uh, they have like their fingers end in kind of like claws. They look like distorted and. Uh, um, if you wanted to make a religion check, you might be able to tell a little bit about them. Um, and I'm like, going to roll initiative for like them. That? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're right here, okay? <laughs> Bill Gross. Yeah, they, they definitely look unpleasant. <laughs> Holy mess. Um... Yeah, so you have uh, your initiatives rolled. Who doesn't have an initiative? Um, Kim. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you rolled yours down the line yeah, a little I bit. Uh, so, Way at the bottom. 
Alton, um, you are sort of in the mouth of this hallway and uh, can see sort of through this little elbow in the hall. Uh, you can see this sort of figure rising up. Okay. Uh, can I religion check it up? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Uh, a 12? Yeah, this is definitely an undead. This is for sure an undead, and you suspect it might be a ghoul, which is like mm. a... Like a Flesh-eating, uh, undead, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, so... Something? Are you gonna tell us about it? I, I, in just a moment, I gotta read something real quick. Sorry. All right. You, uh... All right, because I, I can, I'm a cleric. This is, this is what I live for. Um, you are now a second-level <laughs> cleric, yeah. and you, you do have a new feature. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm reading right now. The turn um, undead? So... Yep, turn undead. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, scream, ghouls, and pop on. Well, I'm not scream, but like ghouls, guys. Let me let me take care of this. Uh, do you want to uh, on that turn undead feature? Do you want to click on the little uh, uh, text bubble when you mouse over the name of it and click on that? Uh, just pop it in each other. Holy shit, yeah, Morty! Yeah, um, um, I just I wanted to check awesome. uh, and yeah. see. I think it's a wisdom save. Yeah, wisdom it saving is. throw within thirty feet of you. Uh, cool. Yeah. So you uh, do you do you use a shield? You do, right? I have a I have a holy symbol. Okay. Uh, but do you, do you wield a shield, like in your offhand? I believe you do. You use a... Uh, uh, I've got scale uh, mail and a shield, yes. I've got yeah. a shield. Um, so okay. I imagine um, one of the ways that you can carry a holy symbol is to be emblazoned on your shield. Oh, I imagine shield, that's kind yeah. of your offhand, just kind of always has a holy symbol in it. Um, mm -hmm. So lifting your shield aloft, it kind of glows with the uh, the light of Lathander. And uh, and yeah, you, you shout out, uh, you know, to the ghouls uh, to, you know, Fear you them for being feared. Yeah, um, they each monster. roll <laughs> Go ahead. wisdom saves. Uh, your DC is like 13 or so. Um, let's see, uh, I believe eight plus, plus proficiency bonus, which is 10 plus wisdom bonus, which I imagine is three, so it's 13. Um, how do, how do I find that out? Okay, so I see, yeah, yeah, wisdom is wisdom is a three, and then proficiency is two, so uh. Uh, yeah, so you call out and uh, and you rebuke them in the name of Lathander. Uh, and then we will go to the next turn, which is Robin. Wait, wait. Oh, what? Do they, do they make their How do they respond? Do well, they respond to him? you guys are like in a hallway around an elbow. How many of them can you even see? No, that's what I was, I I was think... trying to move. That's what I was trying to do beforehand. Like, and like I was trying to like go through people um but okay so you're, you're gonna move through your allies yeah, uh, through and my allies to it's get just into the, I, I saw the dude popping up i'm like i gotta get in the middle of this basically you'll dead. they'll get like free attacks on you um if you do move yeah. into them move but you can see at least one of them and you know that your voice will carry through yeah. these halls okay. Uh, okay. okay and so you you can just kind of trust that um, you know, the might of Lathander is in going to carry yeah, your voice absolutely. in a way that will make them tremble, <laughs> you know, tremble and, and, uh, and flee. Gotcha. Okay. So I don't, uh, gotcha. All right. So I do, I do that then. And I'll, I guess I'll stay right where I am. Uh, and Robin, you, as you were heading down the hall, sort of saw one lifting up in front of Tobias, but you can't really see anything, um, where you're at. If you were to back into the kitchen, you might be able to like sort of fire an arrow down through this kind of elbow and uh, you know, they'd have increased AC, but you, you could probably take a shot at one of them. Or what if see I go one like over this side? So you could do that, but you'll have to pass through this intersection where, uh, you know, as soon as you move over uh, to where uni is, you'll be able to see that there are, they'll, they'll get attacks of opportunity if you move through and, and to the left. So you'll, you'll get two different attacks on you if you, uh, if you move through there, just because it's such cramped quarters, so there's like a major choke point going on. Okay, so I can't use like my disengage skill because I'm not really engaged yet. Um. Oh, oh yeah, you can absolutely disengage. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, that's an ability that's that you have. Um, as a yeah. bonus action, as a rogue. Yeah. Um. I. Yeah, it's cunning action. Right. Yeah, you're level two uh, now. Yeah, it's a bonus action. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can disengage, <clears throat> sort of okay. tumble through them. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and come up bow in hand. Um, if you go a little bit further, you won't be in melee combat, so you can also uh, you know not be at disadvantage to make a ranged attack if you like. 
That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so then I will make. I forget about everyone's uh, abilities. You know, it's every class is just an exception to a series of rules. It's yeah. Um, so I do not get sneak attack, right? No, because <laughs> they're close. You do because they're adjacent to an okay. ally, and so that's all you need. Um, the one that's like down the hall and on the other side of Tobias, uh, you can see it. It's like still kind of like just like freaking out. It, it doesn't seem to have been affected by the turn undead, um, so okay. you don't have to worry too much about it. Um, okay. <laughs> Oof. All that, and it's only a twelve. Uh, you hit it. You manage to weave an arrow through your ally. You strike it. Ooh. Ooh. Um, oh. A chunk of damage oh, okay. uh and then um laszlo you can see that the the uh the one that's kind of um down and to the right that you can kind of mm -hmm. partially see uh it would get half cover against you um so plus two to its armor class but you can attack it if you like um okay um yeah well i mean there's nowhere else to go so i'll just uh, hit it with my spear <laughs> Is it a spear redemption time? Let's see. Yeah, let's find out. There you go. You have struck your first enemy with this just beautiful, shining, unused spear. Um, Completely unblemished. This thing is freshly sharpened, freshly polished, and you finally get it into uh, a creature. Uh, roll your damage. There you go. Okay. okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Uh, do you want to follow cool. up that attack? Yes, of course. <laughs> One your careful loner. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh. Uh, so the unarmed strike, unfortunately, uh, you're not able to get the, the lantern kind of around the corner. Um, you got your spear in the right hand. It goes around the corner easily. And then you're, it's just kind of too janky to get, get through this corner here. Um, the uh, ghoul in front of Tobias um, comes at you with its, uh, you know, sharp dirty claws um it, it it rolls uh it 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 hits you unless you have any ability that'll bolster your armor class um i do not it strikes you for 7 slashing damage um yikes and Ow. uh yeah leaves these shallow uh sort of cuts along your arm that that absolutely gross you out um make a, a constitution saving throw oh no <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, Ooh, nice. Hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. You uh, you feel this sort of uh, this burning in the wound, um, but uh, but you're unaffected. Uh, one of the ghouls in the back uh, flees, and I'm I'm just gonna take it out of combat instead of tracking how many turns it's running forward. You guys have to chase it through corridors and shit. You your turn undead has made this thing. It, it's it's gone. It's out of here. Dissolved. Nice. <laughs> nice. Fuck this shit um, <laughs> as is this other one. Two of the ghouls have completely fled from battle. Uh, Faraday, um, you hear a lot of commotion in the uh, hall ahead. Um, it's pretty densely populated. If you wanted to fire like a, <laughs> an Eldritch Blast or whatever, you, you'll probably have to do so from like in the room you're in. Are you um, muted again, Kim? Oh, no. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. Where is it again? Which one is it? Hold on. I see two there. Which one was the one that... I thought she, there were three of them and two left? There, no, there are two grand. of them currently. Yeah, you... Uh, you uh, two of them have been uh, just incinerated by the light of Lathander. Okay, but there were four. I'm sorry. I didn't see Correct. the fourth one. I'm sorry. But I can I can hit the one that's that I can see down the hallway, right? Um, there's like a wall in front of you, uh, like in between oh. you and and Uni. So the I didn't realize that that was a wall. I thought that that was yeah. So like if you go here, then you've got line of sight on one of them. Like you could like jump up on the table and fire an eldritch blast over everyone's heads and try and hit a ghoul like down this like elbow in the hall. Oh, okay. I thought that that... I'm sorry. I thought that I was, like, at the end of a hallway. Yeah, because you all can see each other's... Uh, sort of from each other's perspectives, it, it makes it a little bit tougher. I think if you click on your own token and you hold Control L, it'll show just your own token's view, and then you can kind of oh. see the weird little narrow okay. vision. 
Yeah, I didn't realize there was a wall there. Is what yeah, I was yeah. Okay, I actually... Oh, Sacred Flame is... Is... Yeah, it, it, is, it, it, uh, it ignores covers, Sacred Flames. Yeah. It just bursts... Um, birds. that's not entirely true. Uh, what? half cover gives you a bonus to your dexterity saving throws and your armor class. The so, sacred flame, the spell description specifies it ignores cover. Oh, well, then, it, <laughs> never mind. Um, ah. yeah. <laughs> another <laughs> exception to another rule. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, no benefit from cover. Sweet, yeah, right. so you can, you can weave that in there. Uh, you could use your Eldritch Blast too, which does a lot more damage, but it will have a plus two to its armor class, so, um, you know, uh, yeah, it's, oh, it's, it's up okay. to you what you use. Uh, both I are... I was thinking this one because of the, because of the type of damage against, mm -hmm. like, what's it damage does better against? Uh, have you rolled a religion check? No. Yeah. Go for it. I, I did I say did ghoul. I said poorly. ghoul. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I mean, I... Yeah, yeah, you said it was a ghoul. Uh, yeah, and you said that... it's a ghoul. Yeah, you have no idea. You're like, yeah, force damage affects everything. Uh, radiant damage, uh, could hurt some undead more, but you have no idea which or how, you know, uh, it's up to you. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, okay, I thought that... Okay, okay. Never mind then. I don't know enough about ghouls like I yeah you don't ghouls. you don't really like, they're not in ghouls, your uh but... your sort of mental rolodex you're just like i don't know some sort of fucking undead <laughs> zombies ghouls ghasts whites i don't know they're all you know they they feast after flesh right <laughs> okay 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 um in order to burp, 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 burp. okay sorry i was uh, a little mixed up here in time i will learn um... to forgive <laughs> Uh, Alright, well, I guess I'll use... <laughs> hey guys, thanks. Uh, so to you, Eldritch Blast does more damage, but might be a little harder to hit. The other one, uh, Sacred Flame, yeah. um, ignores cover. I'm gonna use Sacred Flame. Roll it. Because of the cover. Hmm? Uh, it fails its dexterity save, okay. so you do... Oh, did you... Wait, where is it? Uh, click on it in your attacks. Your list radiant. of attacks. There. Radiant. Yeah. Okay, sorry. There we go. Whoop, too radiant. There you go. Whoop, That's whoop. a shame. Yeah, it's pretty low damage. <laughs> like, your minimum damage for an Eldritch Blast is 4 now. It does between 4 and 13 damage. Okay. Um, so, but yeah, you absolutely, you, you hit it with this like searing flame, um, and, uh, it doesn't seem to enjoy that at all. Uh, the one that's to the right of Tobias, uh, I know, I sure do. Attacks with its jagged little claws, um, uh, yeah, it goes to like claw at you, and you don't even like move to intercept it. It just, it just hits your shield, and it, it does like doesn't seem to understand that the shield is different from you. It's just kind of like scratching at your shield. Um, <laughs> uh, Tobias, metal, you can act. All right, um, I'm going to start with uh, attacking the one that was attacking me with the warhammer. Yeah. Or is it, sorry, the, the one that we've dealt damage to. Uh, uh, yes, yes, absolutely. The one on your right. Uh, you've actually hurt both of them now, but the one on your right is much more badly down, wounded. The, oh, okay, uh, you absolutely hit it. Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Which, whichever <coughs> one is most wounded is what. A good I little think. chunk of bludgeoning damage there. Absolutely, yeah. So you you smash this thing in the in the face, and its jaw like busts partially <laughs> open. Um, oh yeah. Uh, and it's about. it's still like kind of scratching at your shield. Um, Alton, okay. you're in oh, the back so, there. So, sorry, give me justice. Um, so, so oh, sorry. What's yeah, yeah. You now. also might have other things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I have two things I could second wind. Do. I or... can knock one prone, or I can attempt to heal myself. And since I didn't take one out, I'm thinking healing myself is actually more. Appropriate. Might be an idea. You yeah. Um, uh, your maximum healing from second wind is like basically the amount of hit points you're missing. So I would say that's a great idea personally. I. Uh, I'm up to seventeen. Sick. Okay. All right. Nice. Sorry. Now good. Um, yeah, so Altan, you're you're uh, in the back there. You've you've just got line yeah. of sight on one of them down the hall. Do I have line of sight on um, Tobias? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, and so like I, I say, you can click on your look. token and hit Control L in order to see from your tokens perspective, so you can okay. see exactly which tokens are visible gotcha, to you gotcha. uh, and how the contours of the dungeon a little bit more clearly. Sure, sure. How's how's he doing right now? He's he's at. Uh... 
Uh, he, uh, yeah, you feel he just hit this second surge of adrenaline. He looks great. He's like, uh, you know, swinging a, okay. a hammer at things. Um, yeah. <laughs> adrenaline heals all. Yeah, yeah. I'm down. I'm down. Okay. Let's see here then. Um, <laughs> gotcha. I'm going to then, if, if he's looking okay, I'm going to word of radiance that, uh, um, that uh, uh, the one that I can that I have line of sight on. Awesome. Do you want to throw its description into chat real quick while you uh, absolutely, absolutely throw down whatever kind of roll is required? Yeah. Uh, uh, a divine word, burning radiance erupts from me. Save. Each creature that I choose must make a range. You know got, that got you can see. Save. Damn, that's a shame. Yeah. So you can only see yeah. one of them. Um, um, okay. So wait, wait, wait. So if I, I can't. If I move. In, I can't occupy the same space. Uh, so if I well, you can in, briefly. Yeah, so you could move yeah. into the space with an ally as long as you move out of it mm -hmm. afterward. Mm -hmm. So you can, and, yeah, yeah, you could I overlap an ally. And I can grant Throw disadvantage on the, on the attack opportunity against you that you'd in invoke from the guy. That's true, too. Across, if you would. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'm, 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 a, I'm a good, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. and then. Uh, and so roll, roll damage. Um, you, uh, yeah, you utter a divine word and... Uh, and yeah, uh, immediately after, poof, you uh, you emit this glow, <laughs> and both of them tss, get seared a little bit. Um, do you want to step back into the hallway you came from, or do you want to move through and provoke both attacks of opportunity? Oh wait, oh so I can pop in like okay, so I hang on just a second, not not there. I can. So this is where I was. Yeah, so you could kind of um, pop over here to like where Uni is standing. Utter that uh -huh. word of divine radiance and then step back. And, then and back. Um, one of them will get an attack of opportunity against you, but through partial cover and with disadvantage. Boom. Love it. That's exactly uh, what's going to happen. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, its its claws are totally ineffective. Again, uh, it's more worried about that shield in front of it. It's just yeah, yeah, coming yeah, it at thinks, that shield. It thinks it's food. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so he moves the shield in front of you, and, and it, it redirects its attack slightly, but it's still focused on that shield. It misses you, and um, you can step back. Uh, yeah, the word absolutely did did some damage to them. Um, is that that's a first level spell? No, cantrip. Oh, cool. Cantrip. Absolutely. Cantrip hits multiple dudes. I was wondering why it was such a low damage. I was like, man, for a yeah, spell yeah, slot, yeah. that it's, seems because it, it can it can be lots of damage. <laughs> I am a there's banana. Like 50, there's like fifteen kobolds around. You know, it's a lot of, um, a lot of points. so. Uh, Robin, unless uh, unless the senator has like a bonus action he wants to take, which um, I think um, I don't think I do. Yeah, I mean, healing word is like your only bonus action, and everyone's feeling fine. Um, Robin, what would you like to do? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can finish off this last uh, this uh, undead that I hit last time. Same one. Nice. Short bow. Uh, fire away. <laughs> All right. Good good luck. Hello. What's it didn't work? There you go. Oh, uh, nice. yeah. Yeah, that's so weird that the damage doesn't um, expand anymore. That's so odd. I don't know. Um, let me... <laughs> so your, like, minimum damage uh, obliterates this thing. You fire an arrow just through its head, <laughs> and uh, it's it just collapses. No problem. Rocks. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. Nice. Uh, so, uh, after your turn is going to be, uh, Laszlo. Yeah, so I move into the... Can I hit from here and then move into the corner, or is that not... Because I'm using melee, I have to hit from the corner. Um, you... Sorry, what, what was your question? I was slightly distracted. While I move to the corner, can I attack while I'm in the same square? Um... Well, or that's... It's only for magic. Kind of, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I would say you could make one of your attacks kind of while, while like, moving through your ally. Um, you could, like, get your spear in there, but it's a little bit tough to throw a punch. Okay, so the spear. Yay! Hey! Nice. There we oh, go. Oh, bam, 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 bam. You uh, it Yeah, it do it up. Okay. <laughs> nice! Uh, okay. Try clicking that... Second short bow attack, uh, Vitriol, just to see if the other attack works. Um, yeah, your damage. Sorry, I'm I'm uh, multitasking a little bit here. Uh, yeah, so you you shank this thing, um, and then you move through into the other hallway. Now make your um, offhand attack. Put up your spear, wow. ghouls Ben. There you go. You um swing your lantern at the enemy and you strike him. Uh, roll the yeah. damage for your uh, your offhand lantern attack. Oh damn. 
Hey, there you go. Yeah, you smash it in the face, and uh, it it looks briefly blinded. Um, and okay. uh, yeah, after that, um, it does continue to uh, claw at Tobias. Um, Wonderful. However, uh, yeah, you uh, you're extremely proficient with your shield, and you manage to block its claw attacks. Easy. Um, Kim, Faraday now uh, uh, has the gonna... opportunity to act. Can I just, like, run up in here and... Oh. That's right next to it. Can I run up right next to it and... Or no. Hold up. Um, there's an empty space right here if you wanted to, um, stand, uh, just down the hall from it and oh, fire away. I can away. go here. Okay. Yeah, Sorry, absolutely. I'm, like, a little confused <laughs> by this hallway, I think. Uh, it's yeah, all... it's... It's, uh, it's <sighs> a little bit jank. Uh, you know, people's tokens are kind of occupying most of the, uh, the space, so it's, yeah, it's hard to, de yeah, to determine where the walls are. And I'm too vain to put on my glasses, too, so that doesn't help. Um, uh, so, uh, it reflects. I don't, anyway, I don't know how you guys do it. Uh, I want a Eldritch Blast at it. Uh, do it up. Yep. Uh, yeah, Never unfortunately, <laughs> uh, you're trying to, like, fire around your ally, and it just paths into the, into the ceiling, and a bunch of dirt sprinkles down. Whoopsies. Uh, <laughs> Tobias. Bad. Now you're dirty. <laughs> it off. I got stuff in its eye. I saw my helm, so it's fine. Um, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, you need wolf, wolf helm. It's a bear helm, excuse and me. Yeah, it's a, it's a small bear. That's right. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a miss. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, okay. uh, the thing sort of jukes out of the way of your warhammer. But I can use my bonus action to try to knock it over with my shield, and that sure. is one of these opposed by athletics or oh uh, acrobatics. Uh, oh. yeah, you, uh, you clang, and the thing just could have drops onto its back. Well, okay. Tobias lifts. And, um, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Alton! Uh, anyone, does anyone need me to shift to the side so they can, uh, get in here? Oh, yeah, you can shimmy over. Um, shimmy, shimmy. Alton, the cleric, this thing is prone. Um... It's getting a dagger in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Roll with advantage. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, you yes. hit. <laughs> That's how you do it. So this thing right. is falling onto its back, and you just come at it with a dagger. Uh, roll damage. Roll advantage. I just did whatever. All right. So. Oh my God! Solid, solid down. Yeah, you. Uh, you just yeah get the thing. It's like biting at you, and you get the thing in its mouth and up, and uh, and yeah, it it stops moving. <sighs> Perfectly I done. Thought. <laughs> I don't really like okay? him dead at all. Really I'm really pissed pretty, off about him. You're pretty bloodthirsty for a cleric, you know that, right? <laughs> hey, undead doesn't. No, no, no. This is this is anathema to Lathander. We are not happy about this. We are about life and renewal, and this is the worst possible thing you could do. So, absolutely, I will be ending them. That's so. true. That's true. <laughs> Terrifying. Yeah, he does worship the god of life and light, and uh, yeah, undead are, are uh, yeah, absolutely an antithesis to that. Do we still hear chanting? Yep, it's louder uh, it sound where like you are. It's coming from the In fact, right uh, side Vitriol, of the um, you, can, you can see a little, uh, a little set of stairs uh, near you, and it sounds like uh, these sort of ghostly chants originate from somewhere down below. Oh my goodness. Mm. I would like to point out the clock. Yeah. The IRL clock, yeah. <laughs> right. It is a bit um, late, yeah. yeah, actually, this is a good uh, breaking time. I mean, if you like, I can kind of um, uh, show you guys the stairs down that you hear this chanting from. Okay. Ooh. And uh, with that, shall we uh, convene again next time? Yeah. Um, down for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh session God. two... Uh, is probably going to be on another Sunday, though I'm not certain. We're going to have to uh, get everyone's schedules together and everything, but I will be posting uh, in my Discord when it is, and for that matter, I imagine most of uh, the, you know, lovely folks playing are also going to post in their Discord. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're in any of our Discords, you should be set. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll you'll get the, uh, mm -hmm. the schedule, the promotional materials, you know, follow everybody on uh, Twitter, uh, be sure to subscribe to their YouTubes, uh, you know, be sure uh, to throw money at their OnlyFans, 
Um, and, yeah. uh, you Mine's know, just turtles talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we will hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping maybe we can convene again in, in two Sundays from now, but I, I don't want to write that in stone just, uh, uh, just in case, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, yeah. This uh, is great. Thank you. For yeah, being. random pasty dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Roll twenty is a great way to uh, to sort of check out how to do things. Uh, I've heard that. What's the the other one that's not roll twenty? It's called um, fantasy grounds. Yeah, is fantasy grounds the one where uh, there's like the plutonium script for it and stuff as well. That's like uh, I'm I, I have foundry, which is pretty foundry. Cool, foundry is the one that I've been told about that is just like roll twenty has all the same features and stuff. You do have to pay for it once uh, with yeah. roll twenty. It's a recurring monthly payment unless you um, you know get around that, um, which would be unethical. So that's not something that I have done. Oh no. Um, <laughs> DM me for details. Um, tell me how to make sure you don't accidentally do it. We'll give you the steps. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. We don't want you to do accidentally do uh, gain access to features that are locked behind a paywall. So uh, be sure to DM me if you'd like instructions on how to not accidentally do that. Um, yeah, thank you everybody. Thank you everybody oh, for yeah. turning out and, and throwing so much support at the stream. I mean, my God, they're, they're like, you. how many, I don't even know how many gift subs there were this stream. I really, really appreciate that. I appreciate the raids, the new follows, uh, just people hanging out and watching and, and taking part and stuff. Um, watching all the memeing happening in chat was, was awesome. I, I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. I'm honestly really, really happy about it. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for, uh, for DMing. Yeah, I do really intend fun. to cut this and put it on probably YouTube. Awesome. Um, at some point. Yeah, Just yeah. After. I I can. Uh, oh, I forgot. I was gonna um, locally uh, uh, record it as well, and I, I spaced on doing that. So I will. No. Uh, but yeah, as soon as we're done oh. the stream, I'll just download it from Twitch and I'll send it over to you. Okay. You like? It's Question uh, for the ladies. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have any disconnects or anything, so it should be uh, great quality. And thank you for this Holy Jesus! Time, Black roses. What a oh, massive wow. cheer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice. Oh my god. Y'all are just amazing. I really, really, really yeah, look appreciate it. you. look at it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Um, <laughs> that's flowing a lot. Fantastic individual. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god, machine. A lot of uh, support. I like it. You know, oh yeah, Rately, thanks for stopping in. The senatorial yeah. fans. Yeah, do it up. <laughs> oh, and, and, that, and really, thank, thank, thank each and every one of you. Thank oh my god, firing off another hype train. train. You guys are ridiculous. Yeah, thank the thank you. so very much, and thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 if anybody, uh, uh, who, which one of you is going to be streaming tonight? Um, I, I think I'm probably going to skip tonight's stream just because I've been, um, uh, I, I don't know, I'm a little, little taxed. I might stream tonight, I don't even know. But, yeah. uh, I'm yeah. I stream tonight starting at 8 p.m. Pacific. So yeah, be sure once again, these are the people who are in this, uh, this, uh, this D&D campaign. They're all great streamers. That's why I invited them. Um, go follow their no channels, need. check them out, um, give them some love. Um, thank you again. Oh my God. Black Roses with some more gift subs too. Yeah. You're crazy. Oh Holy crap. <laughs> Machine with some bits. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all that the support. It's insane. Close. Honestly, I, I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm humbled by this turnout. I'm really, really, really happy with this. I mean, it's outside the hours that I ever stream. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, I felt like it was kind of an experimental thing to do. Um, and I'm just stoked that I feel like it turned out pretty well. People seem to be pretty into it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just awesome. So, yeah, I guess, unless one of you is going to start a stream right now, um, I'm probably going to go and raid, um, somebody else, sort of from, uh, our community, uh, pass the love on. Um, Strahd has zero chance against you awesome folks. Um, oh my yeah, god, dude, J-Butts, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Senator, oh for the gift god. subs. One love oh my Roxy, god. One love Roxy, one love Chaotic Roxy, with one love the pits. Yeah. Hey, look, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my god, you I'm a senator. What? I'm a dude. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm a duly elected public official, which means I am absolutely bribable. So I assume that the DM is also bribable. Absolutely. <laughs> and might have some roles in my favor every now and then. 
<laughs> Absolutely. I think uh, the only one of you guys that I'm wow. not uh, currently subbed to uh, is uh, is Tass. And I was looking for you last night to uh, throw my prime at you, but you weren't streaming. So uh, if if you're on tonight, then uh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing. Um, yeah. Domo, Domo, thank you guys Domo, Domo, Domo. all so much. This is this has been so much fun. I really, really had a lot of fun tonight. Um, yeah, I'm stoked about the next one. I'm looking forward to you guys heading down the stairs and, and then, you know, investigating uh, Barovia, exploring the world. Um, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I have a what? feeling we're not even kidding. there. <laughs> I think this is just the... <laughs> oh I'm going to come in costume Spoiler. next time. I'm going to do it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I uh man, I wish I had like how does a DM even dress? I don't know. I need like a giant white beard or something. Like do I need to put up a bear <laughs> helm? Wizard's hat, all right? That's what we do, all right. <laughs> a I bear helm. A small bear. I'm yeah. pretty sure you're gonna cosplay. Don't worry. Yeah, you gonna put on your robe and wizard's hat? Oh exactly. yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Staff. I have a staff. Oh wow. Things. There you go. I need to get I a lantern. Legit. <laughs> lantern. So, like, I will be Check the DM out. from the Dungeons and nice. Dragons no. cartoon. Yeah, I do not like that you own a crossbow, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it is not for you to like or dislike. It's, <laughs> it's, just, for, it's just for me to go hide and try to keep my friends and family safe. That, I, uh, cool. I've never really cosplayed outside of just, like, obviously uh, uh, Halloween, you know? Um, I have, like, a pirate costume but um mm. i mean it's literally just like a big heavy leather duster that i already own that looks like it's you know super old um oh, yes and uh, and of course a, a, a tricorn uh, pirate hat there you go well that's mm -hmm. um that's pretty much the uh, the extent of my cosplay ability i mean i could be a pirate dm but that that doesn't that doesn't really make any sense whatsoever so you know maybe i'll uh, maybe i'll go and, and try and find a nice uh nice sort of uh robin wizard hat to uh go with the ensemble <laughs> uh, I do have a really sweet ass witch hat. Oh, that's nice. perfect. Blonde, 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 blonde hat. Just get yourself. That a fits club. perfectly for a. I have uh, one you can borrow. For a warlock, I'm into it. Yeah, yeah, there there you go. Go. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for all those bits. I really do appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll borrow your uh, your your cloak. I'm into that. <laughs> uh... <laughs> And uh, you want to yeet that cleric? Wow. Wait, who wants. To, what is this? Who? Again? <laughs> what, what did you say? Oh, God. Of course. <laughs> thank you, Black Roses. And thank you, Literary Shoes. And everybody, everybody from my community who came who came in. I, uh, yeah, y'all are some, yeah. some super uh, supportive uh, folks. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Even those who, who don't, you know, have the. Uh, the the money or inclination to uh to you know sub and, and throw bits and stuff like that I really appreciate yeah, just so just hanging out yeah yeah don't don't sub irresponsibly don't spend your money if you don't if, <laughs> if it's going to be bad for you you, please, you, you please, need more exactly right? yeah. you know Thank you. <laughs> yeah sometimes self care yeah, no is not subscribing to all the people who you like watching <laughs> correct oh God, yes <laughs> um awesome well uh yeah should we um. Should we look at at, uh, at sending the love over to to someone else from the community? I don't know many people who stream at this hour. I'm 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 usually yeah. uh, rating folks yeah, in the yeah. DGen hours here. Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, we could just look for other uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, streamers and just sort of pass the love to someone else who's uh, who's oh, rocking sure. some D and D. Um, sure. At the moment, uh, hey, holy yeah. crap! We're on the, like the front though. page of the D and D thing. We're we're Thank stream balls. number five. That's that's nuts. Damn. We're pretty awesome. Heck yeah. I mean, I mean to be fair. yep. Yep. That's I mean, uh. That's oh, hey, so fucking cool. <laughs> well, if uh, if if nobody else is around, uh, Sunny Fung is is uh, is streaming right now. He's, oh, nice. He's know. doing his thing. Well, I was thinking yeah, yeah. that we go and I mean, Dude, we got rated by man. exclusively D and D streamers. It might be fun to kind okay. of okay. Uh, pass the love on to uh, another group. There's some folks playing Rhyme of the uh, uh, Frost Maiden, and they've got like sort of a similar setup to us. They're only an hour in. Let's let's go raid uh, Miss Magitech and uh, and her D and D campaign. They're pretty deep That's into true. Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, so. Uh, uh, yeah, we can at least you know swing by, say hi, do do a drive by other community, um, and uh, oh, Sunny's ending soon anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, I always okay. try and check how long someone's been going at it. Um, oh yeah, he would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That makes that makes a lot of sense. 
Um, yeah. Oh my IG, god. You know? I've no, never. <gasps> I don't think I've ever done a stream where I've like kind of ignored this much of chat. I, I kind of feel bad about it. Um, it's but, okay. Uh, we got you. We got you. This is a uh, yeah. We were we were we were covering for you, and and this is it, what you're what you're doing is is important, and everybody everybody knows. The amount of effort <laughs> doing doing Lathander's work here. Yeah, um, <laughs> doing Lathander's work. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, what thank you, you once again. Me? Holy crap. What a fun time. I really, really, really enjoyed yeah. this. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank each and every one of you for not, uh, bailing out at the last second. That would have just fucked everything. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> thank you all for being responsible individuals. Um, yeah, I will send the, uh, the file of this, uh, this session to better. anyone who wants it. So if they want to kind of find their own highlights of themselves or just of the campaign or whatever, uh, you know, if you guys uh, do that with, I'm just with things you take part in. in my room on a loop. And <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Pure. That's, that's, uh, you know, for when it's business time. Yeah. Pure aphrodisiac right there. You're trying to say, girl, you're trying to say that it's business time. <laughs> uh, I've got a little raid message if we want to uh, copy paste a raid. I mean, we could make a new raid message that involves the the fact that there's more of us raiding, um, but that's the one that I've got a command for, so. Um, uh, feel free to just write anything. I don't know, whatever. We'll go over there and uh, yeah, thank you so much. How much do I have to pay you to torture the cleric? Oh, don't worry, it'll happen. Uh, I will I will see you guys next time. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, sleep Hi, well. Everyone. Uh, or, well, don't sleep Bye, well. I don't know, it's daytime for a lot of people. Thanks for uh, leaving but, in my uh, <laughs> Nap, no. Stay hydrated I and, I and uh, you rock. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. 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 Oh,